Anybody? Anybody? Anybody out there? <laughs> and you're here to me. You out there? Hello. <laughs> oh. Mm -hmm. Well, I have some fun painting papers to use. Hmm. Fun beads, fun painting papers for some. Fun. Come on, hurry up so I can mute you. There you go. It's waiting for the video over here to start so I could mute it. There we go. Okay. Okay. But I have the uh, Angelina, the fibers, and then also the film that I had bought, what, four years ago at the expo? <laughs> so I'm over here. I haven't opened them. Okay. Yeah. So I guess I probably should try them. Maybe. Uh -huh. <laughs> fun. Oh my god. Oh. Hi Kimberly. Oh, Ohio. Yeah. Hi, Kimberly. In Ohio? Hey. I looked at I looked at some houses. I was looking at some houses in Ohio when I was looking for a house. What part of Ohio? Uh, who me? I don't know. I was just looking all over the place. At, you know, in oh, Ohio. Okay. I was looking anywhere. Yeah, because we what? What was um? um uh, I'm trying to think of the power plant. Uh, we, right. You know what? He's got so many of them. I don't even remember. But uh, uh, so we lived in Ohio life. for a while, right? Uh, huh? You lived in Ohio too, right? Yeah. Yeah. In fact, yeah. Columbus is where in Ohio, I, you know, when I went to school for doing oh. hair, I had to go and then I went to Columbus oh, really? there for a second state board. You know, I got huh. to Pennsylvania. Second right. was Columbus, and uh, but lived in Ashtabula for a while and Painesville, Ohio. Yeah, Ashtabula. How are you doing? <laughs> well, we're doing pretty good. Yeah. Yep, Columbus. That's a that's a busy place. Yeah. Was, yeah, I had to go to school longer and then go. Take another state board. <laughs> hmm. uh, I'm going to grab some painting papers here in a second. And mm -hmm. see what I got to use. Take, I'm going to get some dog. Why a dog hair always float where it's not supposed to? <laughs> That's what it does. It's changed. Oh. What's, hmm. made, it, what's made it change? The people moving there or? Moving out of there, moving yeah. there. It's been a long time since. Like, yeah, you, you, yeah, it's been a long time since you've been there, I'm sure. Yeah, 1981, because we were married in 80. So 80, 81. And then we came here mm -hmm. in 82 for a year and then started moving around. <laughs> and yeah. that was it. That was it. So much fun here. <laughs> Right, we have to go over here and grab some. That's okay. Like, they're not. All right. They're over yonder. Over yonder. Over yonder. Well, there's a few in here, I think. But no, there's not. Mm -hmm. Hi, Diana. Oh, here they are. Are you? <laughs> Diana. I'm just taking these from the box because I spilled them a while back. And uh, I don't want to spill them again. So I'm just putting them in <laughs> this container here. No rhyme or reason, but. Uh, population has doubled. All fancy now? Oh, cool. A lot of probably cool stuff and there's people, I'm sure, that, you know. Nice. Yeah, it's been a long time. And then there, uh, Linda, she's what? She, I don't know if she's in Toledo or close to Toledo. I don't know. Yeah. Don't know. Well, all fancy schmancy, huh? <laughs> huh? All fancy schmancy. Yeah, that's the same with Nashville. Nashville's really past few years has been crazy. 
grown and yeah get more and more and more and more sure no well, they say like where they're living and I say in the next couple of years, it's going to even grow by another million people. I'm like, geez, I'm glad I'm getting out. Yeah. Um, yeah. That's a lot. This is not where my big painting papers, my regular painting papers, I might have to go grab them out of my closet because I thought they were here, but they aren't Ooh, waiting for you. Yeah. Smaller pieces. <laughs> Me yeah, wait for you. Okay. These little beads in here. I don't know how or why. Unless I dumped them in there. No. Yeah. You're good at dumping beads. Good. How are you there, uh, Diana? I haven't seen you in a little bit. You've been busy. Yeah, these tiny, I don't know where these came from. I mean, maybe they were always in there and I didn't realize that they're real little. Look <laughs> how tiny. Eh. Mm -hmm. A bunch of them down there, but if I start separating them, yeah, I'd be about two days sitting here. And <laughs> hey, get out. Get out there. Oh. Get out my. Some kind of order so I can. Or else I usually just dump everything together and move on. But that's how things get. That's <laughs> 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 my dogs. Do. <laughs> They're like, hey. Mousy. Oh. oh, yeah. <laughs> it's a little bit of noise that she's like. <laughs> no. Going. I know. I can. No, I just went to, in Pennsylvania, I just went to the school there and then in Ohio. Um, just, I don't even remember what school it was because it was so long ago. Hi, oh, Diana. <laughs> favorite places. Oh, Kimberly said that Nashville is one of her favorite places. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, well, not mine anymore. I'm leaving. <laughs> no. I'm here. Oh, this came out so pretty. I forgot all about that. Oh, that's pretty. Oh, oh, glittery. Oh, very glittery in person. Yeah. I'll play with that later because that looks fun to play with. Yeah. The yeah. so lighter after I'm doing beads or yeah. something. Oh, looks like everything's breaking or needs to. Oh, that would make yeah. Good oh. so that would make a fun paper bead. Oh, nice. Yeah. There's a lot of customers at school here, yeah, but not many beauticians. Oh, really? Uh oh. <laughs> They're short on beauticians. <laughs> wow. There's a lot here, that's for sure. Arizona. <laughs> Everywhere. Wow, you do have a lot there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, sorry to hear that. I do not know. We didn't like Nashville's taxes. Oh. Yeah, the taxes here are terrible. It's ridiculous. Yeah. Well, they yeah. tax on food. They tax on everything. Oh wow. Illinois, not too. It's not that much better, but it's better. Definitely better. I'm going to notice a difference on food and stuff like that for sure. In, uh, oh. in in Ohio or in Illinois, I mean. Ohio. Yeah. Oh, so it's a little better than yeah. Uh, let's see. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's yeah. Good. Oh my gosh. I'm saying I don't know where these beads come from. The little ones. They were probably always in there with these other ones. I just never noticed. But boy, are they tiny and they have static. They're static. Staticky. Okay, get out. Get out that there. Little tiny. Come on. Hi, Mary Jane. Hi, Mary Jane. Taxed on food. Oh. Yeah, no, it's crazy. crazy. In New Jersey, we didn't have that much tax. 
That's unreal. Oh, yeah, I remember my collage paper I made with the vintage papers. Oh, that's cool. Little vintage collage paper. I made that a long time, a while back. Not that long ago, but a while back. In a while. Okay. <laughs> Beads back out. <laughs> Let's try some different papers and see what we get. whatever boxes it's like super wide oh that one They're yeah really, like, i real, real wide i love those uh, that's the ones i had all the saris in i had separated them and i i had four i think four stuffed and i put them in one of those 18 gallon one and they just fit oh wow <laughs> separated them yeah put them all in one and then i couldn't find them i was looking for those that's what drive me nuts the other day trying to find them. I had forgot that I did that. My sister sent some those pictures and like old pictures and some few little pieces of jewelry, but she put them in this box. It was pretty cool. I'm like, oh, but it was hard getting the tape off. I'm like trying to heat it up, filling it really. <laughs> it's like darn it. Well, no, but I have most of it. Hi, Linda. This is a drop paper that I can use to make these with. Oh, I that, I think. Um, I can't move that. I can where to stick them. Okay. She's better. But um, she stayed here last night, and they just said it was a muscle spasm and you know whatever she was doing she opened her mouth really wide and then it caught and then of course the muscle spasm went and it was clearly you know i mean i didn't see her in person when she first did it but and they were in the emergency room of course for like three or four hours and um but Dwayne, when i showed him those pictures that she sent he goes oh it was a lot worse than that when i saw her I'm like well um but the volume did release, you know, make it so it was more right. relaxed. Yeah. You know? And then they gave her another prescription for it. And and I'm like, well, and then she's like telling us she's going down the Salt River tomorrow. I'm like, uh, I don't know. I wouldn't do that. How are you? Yeah, I don't think she should be doing things like that. No, no. Uh -uh. Um, <laughs> she needs to stay and, home and stop trying to and rest. <laughs> yeah. You got issues. But, mm -hmm. You know what that is, though. Is she still going to go? Oh, I'm sure. I'm sure. You have to get it, you know, go and get her, get her and do all that. Like, I don't know. I know. I'm like, okie doke. So next time, then call somebody else, then, because, you know, if you're not going to let yeah. you call people and you're going to waste our, everybody's time. Right. <laughs> now, that's what we've been, well, I've been saying forever but you know huh. mm. I'm figure this out I'm trying to cut this down a little bit okay oh put it in there I just put backward lines put these aside oh 
found some more crystals here. Orange. Hmm. Hi, Linda, by the way. Diane and Mary. Anybody I didn't say hi to? Mm -hmm. Oh, let me take you right there. What, Linda? I want to hear something funny. Need funny. <laughs> yes. Kimberly does too, see? Spill it. Spill the beans. Spill it. <laughs> Spill the beans. Water. Take her a little bit in. Oh, no. Now, I can't go too wide with this because it's not as wide as my other thing. Hmm. Oh, I'm so bad now. I just take and just cut the paper. <laughs> I was, I'm like, I was, you know. Oh, one really? With scissors? Yeah, uh, either no. with the scissors or just <laughs> with, with that. But I, I know I'm not doing them, you know, like... <laughs> We were I mean, yeah, we were... you'll still make be it'll still make beads. It'll be fine. It's yeah, little, I feel like they're a little harder to roll when you do that. I mean, I don't measure anything. I just cut at an angle. I don't bother like at an angle. You don't have to be like real precise with it, you know. But I like yeah. to do pieces because I like them to be a little fatter. It, so yeah, exactly, that's in order to do that, <laughs> pieces of paper, especially yeah. if it's a thinner paper. Like this is a thinner drop cloth. True. Yeah. And then I just take the small end from the first one and I just measure it to the second one. And I start there yeah. and then I just taper it all the way to the edge. I forgot that's when I do the multiple, you know, strips. And I, yeah, you have to kind of do that. Wrap, wrap drawer? Oh, open a drawer for foil. And he has the drawer exactly like my wrap drawer. <laughs> Like mother, like son. Can you feel good in the same brands? Oh, <laughs> yep, yep. <laughs> That's when you know they paid attention, right? <laughs> then I'll roll the first piece and add on the second piece. Keep going. So I'll cut a That's piece, pretty. few pieces to begin with. Right, Linda. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> That's cute. <laughs> See? Like, oh, they paid attention to that. <laughs> really? Okay. <laughs> Things you never thought they did, but. <laughs> Really surprise you. Okay. It's funny how I, you know I do the same thing. Like my mom had her stuff a certain way, and I do it exactly the way she, pretty much exactly the way she did it. Because you know, there's a few things I do differently that I used to try to get my mom to convert to. Like she used to use a rag instead of a sponge, you know, to clean the dishes that she had to wash dishes, and that drove me nuts. And she uh -huh. used a rack to like, wipe the counters down. And I use paper towels and spray because to me, wiping the counter yeah. down with a dirty rag is gross. But my yeah. mom, you know, always did things like that, you know, like, or if she was hand washing the floor, you know, I still do this. You know, if I hand wash the floor, which I haven't hand washed the floor in a long time, but I used to always get down on my hands and used to wash the floor. I never use a mop for years and years. I never did that until I couldn't get down on the floor anymore. <laughs> um, oh, then, yeah. But now I use like a ring out string mop. I love it. It works the best. But my mom would right. use like an old sponge mop if she ever mopped. You know what I mean? Oh, uh, yeah. And I'm like, no, I can't do the sponge mop thing. That one's gross. Yeah. Sponge yeah. mops are just weird. Now, 
I got one probably four, no, four, yeah, four years ago. The, uh, the, is it the reveal? Um, the thing that it's, it's the same thing oh. that, like the one that gets squirts like that and then you wop. Yeah. But it's a different brand name. And I'm telling you, I'll never get another mop. I just love that thing. And then you just, you know, tear off, tear the mop part off and throw it in the washer. I throw it in a bucket first, of course. Yeah. And then, yeah. And then put on a new one. And boy, that's nice. Yeah. That's a Carl. She wants to know the. Oh, this is a Carl cutter. They're awesome. Yeah. They are pretty amazing. Still get on. Oh, Linda. Linda still gets on the floor. Jeez. Yeah, see, I can't anymore, but I used to. So I used to do my floors yeah. all the time. Now I, I, I like the, the mop with the string because it gets in all the corners and stuff really well. And I, you know, I, I, it squeezes out real easy because you just twist the thing on it and it twists and squeezes it out. So right. That's yep. What I do with that, but mm -hmm. I don't use corned mops because they're just gross. They don't clean anything. They just push the dirt and nasty germs around. Is what I feel. No. Oh, you have a steam. And I had a cleaning business for many years, and so you know, of mm -hmm. course, I had to use a mop. I couldn't get on my hands and knees for all my clients. That would be by the end of the day, I'd be dead. Right. <laughs> or I'd be like, oh, yeah. But, so I, of course, had to adopt using a mop. Even then. Oh, how do you pronounce your first? How do you pronounce your first name? J A C Q U E. Jackie. Darn, sorry. Jackie. Is it, ja Is it just Jackie? Okay. <laughs> I thought there was like going to be a certain name. I'm like, oh, okay. Jaquai. <laughs> yeah. Jaquai. How about that? <laughs> the fancy one. Maybe I'm wrong. Jaquai. Who knows? But I would think that was Jackie. I seen somebody else with that spelling though for Jackie. So that's how I figured. Yeah, I it's been a while, but I don't think she's over here. I've been appreciated. Hey Jody. <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah, we just kind of grew up again, huh? <laughs> okay. Got those out. Zip up the bag so they don't out. I just left everything from last night. <laughs> like, hey, since <laughs> we're gone. So. Just say Jack. Okay, great. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> we remember that. Jack. <laughs> oh, is it not Jackie then? Maybe it's not Jackie. Maybe. Gotta get some more air back here. We had gotten last week when we were doing all that packing. Remember, I said we the air the central air ain't working right now, and so we had that little tiny window air conditioner in the the only one we had was in the living room. So mm -hmm. um, we ended up finding another one for like I think it was like seventy five bucks on on it was like brand new too. It was only, like, this guy bought it for his garage, but then he ended up getting a different thing and all together for his garage, so he didn't need it anymore. And it was a it was a six thousand BTU, so another small one, but putting one in the in the master bedroom and one in the living room. So they come together. It actually works really well. And it was 90 degrees today. And oh, it, I had to literally have a sweater on all day. So it was fine. But because I just opened the door to this room, we keep all the other doors shut just right. to you know make sure that the air goes where we need it. Well, I didn't open the door to this room uh, until like 10 minutes before I was starting a live stream, which was dumb. Oh. So that's why it's like a little warm in here because you're warm like, yeah. in the middle of the two air conditioners, you know. So yeah. like, oh, boy. I'm in here now. <laughs> Oh, yeah. So it'll take a few minutes to kind of cool off. <laughs> cool off, yeah. I mean, it's not crazy warm in here, but most not normal that, people are fine with it. But I'm just, you know, always hot natured. Yeah. 
I'm just, uh, I had this, I was cutting paper and bringing out some paper to do the, the beads and to start putting some of my uh, words on these other beads I have done. And so that was, and then we got off here. I'm like, okay, just leave it. Cause then yeah. we went to visit my friend and was, was there, you know, cause oh, wait, you I tried to to uh huh. Yeah. That's oh. where we were. Yeah. Oh, um, okay. Cause she, I didn't really she went back to the visitor. Yeah, yeah, not too. It's not too far from from here, and then where she's going will be even closer to me. It's just a mile away. Right. But she, um, when we went there, she because she had called me, and you know, when we got off of here, I of course I was what sleeping maybe three hours, and then um, I didn't really even hear the phone ring. And Peyton's like, "Mom, mom, it's Noreen," and I was like, "Oh." I didn't know I wouldn't be able to think straight. And, and so then she's like, did she wake you up? I go, that's all right. I said, that's, you know, and uh, so she says, well, you go back to sleep for a while. But when you wake up, will you come visit me? I have um, a list for you because I told her, you know, because her cousin's gone back um, to Connecticut, to, right. or, you know, to visit and stuff for five days only. But that's who was doing all the running for her. Um, because she's closer down right. by her house. But now I'll be closer to where she's going. So she gave me this huge list. And <laughs> tomorrow, <laughs> Dwayne and I'll go and get it um, and get it ready for yeah. when she goes to the place. I mean, she said, you know, they don't technically, they can't really release you until like you quit when she was passing out or whatever, because right. then it would be, you know, they could, it'd be their fault. So anyway, she goes, it could be Monday, but I'm not real sure. I'm like, well, I'll just get the stuff and, you know, yeah. get together. And then she said, if you, and she goes, close your ears, Dwayne, just here, close your ears. She said, because <laughs> She says, is there anything that you want? Because if you saw, but she's she's neat about everything, but um, she calls it the shed, but it actually it's a huge walk-in pantry type thing. It's huge. And right. it goes to the ceiling. She's got anything. You, and she used to cook all the time. And said, Noreen, I thought you got rid of all that stuff. Well, you know. <laughs> like her crust. Yeah, like, in other words, she got a lot of food and stuff in there. It's like, no, she's got the food in another one. Oh. <laughs> and in her kitchen, this is like in a sunroom and then in a big pantry where it's just um, all the extras, a lot of the snap containers and things that uh, massive stuff. And oh. <laughs> she's, did you find, do you, is there anything you want in there? And I, I'm, I said, you know, and she, that's why she said, don't listen, Dwayne, because, you know, containers and all that. <laughs> and I'm like, well, <laughs> so, no. so, but she has, yeah, hmm. she has a lot. Hey, Jane, welcome back. We had lunch at the barbecue place, garage sales. When it was nice out, how was it for the day? Oh, nice, Linda. Arbor, Ann Arbor, Michigan. That's a favorite job. Oh, nice. Oh, you had a blast. Good. Good, Linda. My mm -hmm. husband probably passed you. You went through there today delivering. He's in Cadillac, Michigan tonight. Traverse City in the AM. Beautiful up there. Oh, cool. Yeah, because I, uh, um, Linda, are you near Toledo? Is that, I mean, because Kimberly's in Columbus, I was just saying about. Glue, let me make sure it's not clogged. You're right, Jody. Hi, Luann. Hi, Luann. It's our strong weight around nine because of very strange looking stir up. So, oh boy, yeah. Stormy and cold. Hmm. 
It was windy here. I was looking for that roach. <laughs> Every time I go out there, I'm looking for the stupid roach. <laughs> oh, <come out>. on. <laughs> like, if Dwayne thinks, oh, he's having somebody come out and spray around the house because two or yeah. three houses down, they're gutting the place. Oh, well, taking everything out and, and things because there was renters in there. Yeah. And so it's probably, you know. <laughs> I'm like yeah, let's. Well, I don't think those. If it's real, if it was really big, I don't think those are household kind. Those are the kind that are outside that they like to live in, like piles of wood and stuff and moisture. Mm -hmm. Because oh, in, when yeah. we first moved here, um, mm -hmm. where we lived in the house that we rented outside, there was like there was like this like pile of wood stuff. And one one day I moved it, and there was all kinds of like these big like roaches. Uh, yeah. and, and somebody said, yeah, they're like. They're like outdoor roaches. Mm -hmm. I don't know what they were called, but and I, I kept saying they don't come inside, do they? And they're like, no, they don't come inside. I'm like, okay. Uh, <laughs> like, I, these do, you, unfortunately, because you know why? Yes, because what oh, they do no. is they come up from the sewers. And when we when we came back here, house? oh yeah, because yeah, through oh, the drains. Yeah, no. Now, especially if you have apartments, townhouses, you know, it's like back and forth but we don't have so much trouble because you know when you're in a regular house or whatever they you right. know you won't have that but they would dust the sewers um here and then they'd all come up Ooh. it's like wow. no yeah and i'm like uh right but, teenage ninja roaches oh yeah yuck they're gross yeah, but yeah, but that's his first one. Same with Dwayne. He's like, oh my God, I haven't seen one of those in years because <laughs> they like disappeared. Oh my God. Yeah. <laughs> They're bad. Gross. You keep and to tell you the like you're in Arizona. <laughs> right? <laughs> but really, I don't, that's where you don't see them. I do not see them, you know, outside. It's always inside because of the drainage. They come up from the drains in, right. you know, yeah. So, and, and I'm sure they're around. I just a little lot see them. Fighting, but it came out pretty. Oh, that did. See, I like that, that look. The, of course, focus for a second. What the heck? Come on, focus, dumbass. I'm all love her. Oh, yeah. See, it did one second. <laughs> You're like, nope, like that's it. Oh my god! Yeah, it's like, okay, you've seen it. That's it. That's it. Like it. Sneak yeah, peek, of course. <laughs> oh, he's gonna spray yards too. Yeah, that's. uh I hate bugs too, Linda. I do not like the buggies. Me no. Gross. Ugh. Well, they are gross. All right. I'm gonna move that. Take okay. what these are doing in here. Pretty. I think I went that's it. why, Janie, I don't I don't glue the whole thing because it's not necessary, and you end up mm -hmm. just taking a really long time to make the bead when you do that. Uh huh. You know, oh, you, the... have to, you only have to do the end because then once you start varnishing it, you know that's anything that you know it's not going to fall apart. Right. But, yeah, I only glue that. Well, I glue the piece on to the you know the end of this one, so when I'm finished with it, I'll glue that on. But that's it. Sure. You know, like, I don't glue it at all. I yeah. just go through and I just roll it up and just hold on to it. So yeah, roll, roll, and, roll. Yeah, because then it's a lot quicker. And then you just and then you're also not adding like bulky glue, which could then make your bead have like bumpy spots in it too if you're not careful. Mm-hmm. Oops, I almost like yeah. over there. Oh god, don't you love that? There. <laughs> yeah, it happens, especially when you have arthritis in your hands. I let go of them a lot more than I used to. That's why I like that <laughs> machine because it's a little bit easier. It, it on your hand. In there, yeah. It kind of holds the uh, the paper in there a little nicer, and you don't have to worry about it coming out because right. if you let go of it, they don't unravel. Yeah. See, so I'll put a little bit of glue and then roll that up, and then I'll add the paper on, and then the next time I add glue will be at the very end. Yeah. And the next piece where the seam is, and so which way I'm going to do it that way or that way because I've on these I have color both sides. Yeah, yeah. I kind of like the idea of the orange showing because given that extra color showing is cool, so I like that. So, get the best, you know, Asian what's that paper wasps? 
Asian uh, ladybugs. Yeah. yeah. We have, oh. paper, we have like uh, mud daubers, paper wasps, all that. Chris got stung by a big black wasp the other day. And it was the same oh. time that I got stung with a few years ago when I was cleaning houses. And he was like, oh, my God. And it, he was in so much pain and it made him, he was never afraid of wasps. But now he's, he was like freaking out a little bit. He was like, oh, my God. Oh. They, they, they hurt because I got stung right on my finger. My, my hand oh held up and I had to still go clean houses. He said, I don't know how you went, went and clean houses after that. I'm like, I had no choice. Wow. I have to do it. Mm -hmm. well, that's it's a bit. It's not fun. Wow, I bet. This, one. this one's a little bit more even. Fake wash that's from Amazon. That's what I do. I actually, if you take a brown paper bag, uh -oh. and leave it puffy and just like tie it with some string at the top and then hang it from a thing. Yeah, if it rains, you got to bring it in, but. That's what I used, um, and I need to get some of those ones that you can that can get wet. But yeah, the fake what ones is work. You take you, what you do is you take like a brown paper bag, or you can actually buy the fake nests online on Amazon. And basically, yeah. the concept is if, if there's a nest, if what they think is a nest outside, uh, like a lot of the wasps, they'll think it's a hornet's nest, and they'll stay away and they won't come near it because they don't oh. like hornets. The hornets and them don't get along, I guess. So the wasps oh. and all that will stay away. And it does work because every year I put a paper bag, just that, that's what I would use, a paper bag, and I'd hook it to the tree right in front of my deck there. And because I would have them all around where I would go out the door to let the dogs out, I would constantly have little wasps all over the place or little, they're huge. And I got right. so aggravated that I looked that up online and saw it and so started doing hmm. it and it freaking works. And so Neat. I would like to pick some of the ones um, if I if I have them in the new house at all, which I don't know, you know, if I'll have, if I, if they have the, I don't know if they have all the. I mean, the variety of wasps that we have in Tennessee are completely different than in in New Jersey. That's for sure. We don't have as many freaking oh. million types of wasps and bees and crap. Right. But it was amazing how well that worked. Wow. I couldn't believe it. Oh, that's like, cool. It actually works. Oh, Jody said he, her husband's deathly uh, allergic to. Oh, really? Oh, that's not good. Yikes. I wonder. I love all the different colors you get like that, all that rainbow kind of color. Oh, rainbow. yeah. That's pretty. I like that, too. Nice. That's why I like using the painty papers because, and they don't have that's to be colored pretty. on both sides. Only, only one side, but. I only one. Both sides, but, but those are cool. That's a cool. But yeah, I just love the way it turns color. out. It's really cool. When you have yeah. all bunch of different colors, that's why when people say things like, you know, how, how do you get them all those different colors? You just mm. just have paper that has all different colors on it. Like that's how I did sure. like all of these, all the papers. You know, most of them have those are pretty like, colorful ones here and here. Don't mind my fingers there. It's all because the papers were like just splotted with all kinds of colors. Doesn't matter what you do, just add color to the paper. Yeah. And copy paper works best. Any kind of thin yeah. paper for rolling works. I best. agree. <laughs> I agree. Definitely. Well, that's why your mixed media mashup one works. <laughs> yeah, yeah, all yeah. the yeah. colors. It, yeah, the mix, when I, she has a copy of the mixed media mashup and she yeah. prints it out on copy paper and you can, yeah, it yeah. makes great paper beads. This one. Yeah. yeah. Because all the colors yeah. on there just really work. If you get a chance, Jenny, send the file to me if, if you have it handy. Because I don't have it on this computer. And um, this way, if anybody wants it, I can send it to them too. But I don't I'm know. Trying to, uh, I haven't. These were from the past. I think I got them in the, you know, where you, because you put them in the um, secret oh, room. Oh, 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 okay. I think, I did, but oh, I still might. But oh, that's I, right. yeah, I do. Oh, oh, that's right. I do have them there. Okay, I can get it. I can they get it. Should be. I forgot. Yeah, I forgot okay. that I have them. Yeah, okay. I totally forgot about that. Yeah, that's where I put all my napkins when I scan them all. <laughs> when, I, when I scan them all, what the heck? Where is I know I got them in here. Do I want to show one and I can't find it? You can, oh, is this one? No, maybe. No, I don't know. Well. This doesn't, oh, it might be. It doesn't look as pretty. It's kind of half glazed. I have no idea why. <laughs> this one. I uh, don't know. Yeah. Oh, I guess so. Because look at these little marks. 
They're yeah. in your paper. So I guess this is oh, one of them. Okay. One. Real uh, yeah. They're somewhere oh. around here. Yeah. That's, what in the world was I thinking here? Look at that out. <laughs> it was a baby. <laughs> Funny. I want to make some saucer beans and some round ones too. Oh, but I'll make them all. I'll make these first. Yeah, I got uh, the things cut out just to, just to practice with the saucer, but that's the oh, all. The saucer, yeah, a little bit of a pain in the butt to do, but it comes out really nice. Yeah, they look cool to do. Mayfly, stick in more every morning. Stick like a fish. Ooh, mayflies. Hi, Rhonda. I'm sorry. I didn't see you up there. You just oh, flew up there. Flew up there. <laughs> she didn't. She no, didn't. She just flew she right up there. <laughs> Oh, you found a Carl? Cool, Kimberly. Yeah, you'll love it. It's uh... I have a Carl in, for the auction next week. Or this Sunday, I mean, this week. Um, what? I have a Carl. It's an older one, but it just needs a blade. So you can get oh, one. Cool. Up there. Yeah, I have a Carl downstairs. Nice. You're going to get Carl on Saturday. Mm -hmm. And the Carl can. <gasps> Ooh. All those That's pretty. Isn't this <laughs> a little baby? It's a baby. I have one smaller than that somewhere. <laughs> I made a few. Mm -hmm. So that, <laughs> this looks like something I got off of Pinterest, but, you know, they're only so big. And I went to, and I'm like, um, I kind of wanted the full sheet, but. Oh, yeah. I, you know, I don't. You can stretch it out. It won't matter when you're making a paper bead. Like, in other words, make it go full screen. I tried that, but this is all it did. You got to put it in a Word document and stretch it. And you got to make sure your margins are all the way set. That's what I that. didn't do. You know. That's what I forgot to do. I usually <laughs> yeah. You me. Set your margins Jeez. all the way. Um, you can click and drag them, and then do it that way. And then you can then you can drag the photo all the way out, and it'll be bigger than that. Because with that oh, one, yeah. you can use that one. Just do just cut cut the white off of it, and then yeah. um, and then just use three strips instead of two. You know, I don't know how many you usually use for your beads. But make a lot. Three for that, and I usually do one. Oh, okay. Yeah, I like to use too. Oh, I'm sorry. No, um, I said I use a lot, <laughs> but oh, I, wow. I, you know, some, <laughs> sometimes okay. two, three. Yeah, two, we'll just do three or four on that one then. Yeah. Hi, Penny. Three. It's a pretty Hi, paper. Because I was just finding out, trying to find something different. They're like really pretty too. Yeah. Let's cut this off. Cut this off. It's so quiet in the other room. <laughs> it's quiet in the other room. On the lake. Oh, you're okay. You're on the lake, Linda. Linda's on the lake. On the lake. Linda on the lake. <laughs> uh, Michigan, Ohio line. Hmm. Sounds like a good YouTube channel. Linda on the lake. I know, <laughs> doesn't Linda it? On the lake. <laughs> Linda on the lake. lake. <laughs> My name is Linda. And I'm on the lake. <laughs> and I'm on a lake in Ohio. <laughs> <laughs> oh, maybe mm. I broke my paper. It's okay. Hold it just a little too hard. And I think that's why I had a little bit of a hole in it. Oh, that's all right. I'll add it on. Whatever it is. That's what I like about paper beads. Is it's like, unless you're doing a specific. I mean, a cert. You're so forgiving. You just yeah. Put them on there. Yeah, just rip it. Keep on. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I wonder if we have that we like. We live in the country, but it's quite like that. Bats, birds keep them cleared up. Oh, the, the fly, the flies, yeah. 
Oh, I found a couple more baby flies. So something hatched. <laughs> I'm like, oh man. Yeah. Look. Baby, babies. Oh, this is me. I may be getting a new Maybe. pool when I get up to the new house. Really? Mm -hmm. Oh. May. May. Yeah. May. May. Huh. Wow. They stink bad and they're thick. Ooh. Ew. Ew. Oh, this is a fly. This doesn't sound too good. Flies? Yeah. Oh, oh, that's pretty. Pretty, pretty. Very pretty. Aren't those called stink bugs? <laughs> I've heard of stink bugs. Oh, yeah. Stink but, bugs. Yeah. Stink bugs. I cut that. Come on. Okay. You don't like stink bugs. <laughs> Let me talk about those. Remember, um, uh, love bugs. Now I haven't seen those oh, yeah. in a long time. So, do they have them out in Arizona? We used to, but I don't know what happened to them. Oh, God. Well, yeah, we used to. Mm -hmm. Oh, happened. Huh. Interesting. Mayflies, they smell like rotting fish. Oh. Uh, well, that's fun. At the new house. What did you say? Oh, a poodle. Oh, oh, a poodle. What? What do Let me cut this mm. from the sucker. Let me get okay. Oh. Another child. Oh. Two bucks. Oh, that's what my dad talked about uh, when we went for the, well, the last Father's Day. That was in Louisiana. He said the big old June bugs. Mm -hmm. I said, oh, it's a roach. Yeah. No, yeah. no, they're not. They're June bugs. Those ugly ass big oh. things that make that <laughs> noise. Yes. Yeah. Oh, God. Oh. They're oh. so freaky. They'll sit there, and as oh. you get near them, they go, ugh. They, they are. They're always on my screen. I sit there, and on the other side of the screen, I'm flicking them like that, you know, because the light's on or whatever outside, and they'll come, and they'll pass themselves to the screen, oh. and I flick them. Oh, yeah. Get out of here. <laughs> and you oh. never see them during the day, only at night. You don't even know they exist until night. nighttime. And it's like, oh, where God. the hell have you come from? <laughs> where have you been <laughs> hiding all day? Well, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <It's disgusting. laughs> Gross. Yeah, for children they're definitely easier. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ew. Oh. Okay, so, ooh, oh darn it, I just left all my <laughs> I was reading. Well, this one's gonna be a messy one. I was reading and I let go. That's why because my thing is too loose on here. Stupid ass. Yes. How are the how are your fur babies, Stacy, doing they're lately? Good. They are good. good. Oh, but yeah, I'm definitely thinking of getting another one when we move when I move. Hmm. Well. That would be the time to do it. Right. Speaking of new dogs how's mr tigger doing how's our tigger boy good. new dog pretty good old dog hmm? he's the old dog yeah oh man he's doing good he's a handsome boy though. he's being funny today he's probably we're playing with him. he doesn't play very much now because he's old you know yeah, yeah he I know. A lot, but he's when he does he's cute oh every day i try to give mm -hmm. him a little bit yeah, he will, and sometimes sweet. he just ignores me, and I'm like, "Hey, you're <laughs> your mom, boy." Right? He was being cuddly and snuggly today. Aw, he gets more attention oh. than the girls do, but the girls just push their way, especially Winnie pushes <laughs> their, their way in to hog attention. 
Oh, <laughs> yeah. What about me? Peter gets first dibs on everything. You guys are second to, second in line. Sorry, girl. <laughs> You're always going to be second in line to my tears. Mm. And then when he's gone someday, you guys will be first in line to the next yep. one. Yep. To the next one, and then the on and on. <laughs> not going to be around as long as the young ones. Yeah. Mm. Today uh, was, because Dwayne's like, well, Peyton text. And I said, oh, and he, she reminded us, uh, she forgot, too, that it was Sophia's birthday. So she just turned two. Huh. Yeah. Wow. So feels like you got her. They got her. She got her just last year. It doesn't even feel like. Oh, it's I year. know. I know it. Goes by fast, man. Oh, way too fast. Way too fast. She left her pickle because when we came home from Noreen's, there's Ricky and going a like like a yeah, with a pickle in his mouth. <laughs> it's, yeah. it's big and, and the whole thing squeaks. You know, oh, like not a real pickle then. Huh? No, no, no. It's a. Okay. Oh, by the way, you have a good night. Rest up. Yeah, it's a, you know, stuff. Oh shoot, I'm gonna stop. Yeah, pickle. Pickle. Ricky got a hold of it. He was. Mm -hmm. Oh man, his butt was like a wiggle butt. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He was running. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so excited. Mm -hmm. I got Sophia's pickle. Like, yep. Yeah. That Chloe had the other one. Um, I don't know what we're supposed to call it. It's not a dinosaur. Well, it kind of looks like a dinosaur, but I don't have any idea where she got that one. Oh, yeah. <gasps> could be a dragon. Because the other ones are dinosaurs. So that could be her dragon. <laughs> Twain's like, we'll have to figure out what to call it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Call it her dragon. Her dragon. That's right. She's so funny, though, when she has that pickle, because it is so, in, you know, their little mouths, of course. And so she lays there, and her whole body, to squeak it, it goes, uh, uh, it goes up. <laughs> she just squeaks her mouth. She goes, I'm like, you're popping. Look at that. <laughs> but she loves it. She's squeak, squeak, squeak. I'm like, oh. okay. <laughs> the love of that. Love the pickle. And let me see. I'll get a... Oh, this might work. Yes, it will. Mm -hmm. It'll work. Hey, Myra. Hey, Myra. What you doing? Put this on because I know it's so cute. Okay, gonna do my spell. Please, everyone, please donate to. Yep, go find. That really help. I thought it was good. Really so help. Helpful. Yes. Thank you, Linda. Yeah, Linda's. She's done a good job. Yeah, we just had to pick up my medicines. That was fun today. I will. Get it. I'm gonna get it. <laughs> I always tell. Uh, what's his name? <laughs> Ricky. I go get it. I'm gonna get it. Where is it? There it is. Let's see. I'll get it for you. There. Uh, okie doke. Okie doke. There we go. Okay. That one's where the bucket is there. So there you go. I'll put the link in. Go check it out. Thank you. Um, I have to go on Monday to pick up the drive or the feed board and the nails and put the. I'm probably doing it myself. It's looking like it's really aggravating because it's going to take me so long to do it alone. Oh, what was it? I'm sorry, I couldn't hear you. It was what? What were you saying? You had to pick up? the drywall and the beadboard and the nails. Oh, I have the drywall. I just need to, well, we have to undig the drywall out because the drywall isn't stuck. Oh. Back okay. of the stuff. And I don't know. Hopefully we'll be able to get it out. Because mm. I had a bunch of drywall, but it got stuck in the back of stuff. 
But either way, I got to get the stuff forward on and go get it on Monday and get that started because it needs to be done. Yeah. Uh, oh. Mm, yes, everybody that'll do it. So. I know. That's that's what Noreen says because she's like, well, well true. I have to do it. Do it. Unless you're going to pay like an arm and a leg, which I'm not doing. Yeah, right. No. No. You can do it. That's sad, Jody. I specialize in handicapped cats. And this puppy's neck had been stepped on and its balance is an mm. off again thing. When I picked it up, it laid its head on my shoulder. Oh. <laughs> oh. oh. Did you have anyone look at your house? Oh, Esther says these love their, your pictures. Hmm. Yeah, nice. Not yet. Tomorrow, I think uh, I think we'll have some people looking at the house this weekend, tomorrow and Sunday, as far as I know. Yeah. Yep. For sure. That reminds me, I gotta get that little key in the lockbox because it's Chris mm. went and got a key made today. Oh, you're gonna have a. We have the lockbox on already. It's already on the house. Oh. What do they do? Just call you up first, though, and tell. I mean, no, there's an app they use. So they they have there's an app, and what'll happen is whenever they want to show the house, they'll send me a, a message in the app that will oh, give okay. like you know, can we come at this time, whatever, whatever, and I can just click yes or no or whatever. But oh, okay. I was gonna say <laughs> they don't just want it. No, they, they they have to make sure that it's approved through the app. Like I have to approve it first, and then. And then we, we'll, I'll take the dogs. Me and Chris will take the dogs. We'll go up to the park or something, or go whatever sure. for an hour or two while they're doing their thing. Right. Like, yeah, that's the plan. Yeah, that's what we used to do too. Just take the dogs and just we'd either ride around or go here, or go there, and you know, come back yeah. and maybe go on. But but we never had a lockbox. I, you know, well, right. I have no idea why. But maybe back then they didn't have a lock rock situation going on. Could have been. Yeah, it was a while ago. Thick paper. Thick, thick. And the lock boxes they have now, like nobody can access them but the realtors. The realtors have Bluetooth on their phone and they're the only ones, licensed realtors, the only ones that'll have access to it. So it's not like anybody mm -hmm. can get in or whatever. Right. Yeah. Mm hmm. We leave. Yeah, we'll leave. We'll get in the car and go for a ride when they come. Yep. Well, I think it's going to be a quick, <laughs> quick I thing. Get it done. I really hope so. Yeah. I'm very nervous about that. I know. And he said, he goes, if, if for some reason we don't get enough people, enough bites on it over the weekend, he goes, we can drop it down a little bit. Because I don't, I didn't expect it to be over 400,000. So I'm, right. I'm fine with that. He's like, we'll drop it down. And he goes, don't worry. It, it'll be okay. And blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, okay. I'm like, is this, is this so? Oh, <laughs> if yeah. I lose that house, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be so aggravated. If I lose the house, I'm taking this house off the market and I'm done. Because I'm going to be so aggravated yeah. that, that I went through yeah. all that trouble and found the house that I wanted after searching for, I mean, cause I've been looking like almost daily for years because for two years about, because I was just like, but you know, of course it wasn't until, you know, probably the last year that I realized that it could be possible because the house, our house had gone up in price so much, but I had been looking and looking and looking, but nothing like I found lots of houses, but nothing like really was making me go, okay, this is it. We need to move, you know, Ooh, pretty. Pretty. it's just a digital. It's not a pain paper. <laughs> I think pain paper is pretty Oh, but, pain yeah. paper. Oh, I thought you said it's not a pain paper. I was like, what's a pain paper? <laughs> pain <laughs> paper. Pain in the ass. It's a pain in the ass. All right. <laughs> yeah. You know, you know, you're not going to lose it. You're going to sell and go and leave and get I unpacked. So and oh, love I it. die. I'm going to die if that house ends up. Thanks. Doesn't happen. Oh, oh God. Yeah, I'm gonna be so upset, and I'm not even gonna want to deal with it. I told Chris, I said, I'll just take that damn house off the market and just stay. 
for a while. I don't know. I'm, I'm, cause, cause I don't, cause so, you know, to sell the house then with nothing to move into, then what do I do? Where am I supposed to go then? Am I supposed to put all that stuff in storage? You know how much money that would cost? No a lot of in that garage. That would be ridiculously oh. expensive. And then what? And then what? Live out of my car? Like where am I supposed to go? You know, I, know. I find another house. It took me so long to find that house. I'm, you know, a house that was perfect. I'm not going to just sit there and take the first house I see because I have no choice and then be miserable. Exactly. No. So I'm going to take it off the market and start all over again. Hmm. And I'll wait until I find the perfect house and then, you know, whatever, if that's the case, Ooh. you know, but I'm not yeah. going to just rush through with this because I don't want no. to settle for something just because. Right. Exactly. That's stupid. Tiffany, you haven't seen in five years. Does PayPal never change your name? Was it an older name? Must have been an older name, Kimberly. <laughs> good vibe. Yeah, good vibe. Oh, cool, Esther. She's been making painting papers with her India inks and delusion pens. Oh, so I should get rid of my delusion paints that way. But oh uh, yeah, <laughs> well, I started using them uh, not well when, not too long ago when I was in the other room. I was using them, and I have them here with me because I'm like, I'll use them. Uh, using them more. Yeah, I should because well, I do have them in bags, but I haven't checked them in since the last time. <laughs> I checked them. Ooh, see, I think this pretty. Oh, nice. Bought a 1963 tall plastic cat bank that I had that was a kid today. Oh, oh, that's right, because you went to the garage sales. Neat. Oh, neat. Oh, you found something that when you were a kid you had? Oh, that's neat. I always love when that happens. Yeah. Oh, that's fun. Wow. Where'd my paper go? Oh. I was going to use the, was it? No, it wasn't it. In the dark side this time. Just, if I roll it this way, if I roll it that way, do it this way. I want this to show. No, I don't want that to show. No, I want this to show. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, oh my God. I was just doing the same thing. I'm like, hmm. <laughs> like, what do I want to show? I want that one. <laughs> Praying that the selling works out for you. No couple selling your current house, right? There you yeah. go. I hope not. Good, good vibes. Good vibes. She is bright pink. I washed her up and put her with my other toys. Aw. Uh -huh. <laughs> <Your> critters. <laughs> toys, critters. That's cool. Yeah. I don't want to see you. Yeah. I need to take a picture of it so we can see what it looks like. Oh, I know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Linda. Saving time to quarters. <laughs> yeah. Mm. I used to do that with the coffee, uh, big coffee can. Because when I, but now I, I started not using change for a long time. Not like that. Oh, she's there. Who did it like what? Kimberly, July fourth, mm -hmm. first craft fair. Oh, right. you're actually nice. selling stuff. Oh, cool. Wow. Nice. What do you do, Kimberly? Did you say? I don't think so. What kind of uh, crafts? How fun. I'm going to yard state sale this summer. See if I can pick up vintage jewelry. One mm -hmm. way around purchasing gold and silver jewelry for an investment. Oh. Oh. Fun. Nice. Nice. Um, yeah, that's where I have my little uh, vintage jewelry stuff that I have. Yeah. Seen. You have cool stuff. Purposes. Fun, yeah. Make three D paper wraps. Oh. Oh, nice. Oh, that's cool. Oh. Do you do cricket or anything, or you just do them by hand? Do you have any pictures? Yes. Do you have pictures? Are you in the group, Kimberly? <laughs> My memory's gone. Oh, memory's gone. Okay, got that one. So one, two, three, four, made five beads. Hey, that was quick, huh? 
Mm-hmm. <laughs> Got some fast making it. Quicky quick. Quicky make. Oh, I had the. I'm trying to. Where'd that go? Oh, these beads. <laughs> but I'm tr trying to just find something to fit. A little of each. Okay, she does a little of each. A little cricket, a little by hand. Nice. Cool. We have a Facebook group that if you're not a member of, you should become a member of it. You yeah. share, your, share your pictures of your art and whatnot. Yeah, I'd love to see that, Kimberly. I'd like to see them. Well, yeah, I wanted to have I've decided. I I'll put the link in, Kimberly. You go check it out if you want, and if not, that's okay too. Yeah, you don't have to. Do oh, that. I'm in three yards. <laughs> like, why isn't this thing moving? <laughs> oh my <laughs> god. Uh, okay. Sure. Whoops. Well. Okay. 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 Well, I'm rusty. I'm rusty. What did I do? I let go. That's what I did. Okay. There's a link if you want to check it out or save it or whatever. Yep, you can just show your pictures and look at everybody's goodies. It's fun. It's fun. Yeah, you know, we, we, we allow any, anybody's art, you know, it doesn't have to be. Yeah specific type or anything like that that's all yeah. anybody's welcome to share their stuff your fur babies or anything <laughs> your fur babies yeah their art right <laughs> yeah their art mm -hmm. <laughs> colorful art <laughs> okay go straight I like to destroy my art <laughs> yeah <laughs> that's hmm. Did I do all the ones i cut out oh i guess i did oh, okay. All right, then. Some of them do. Okay, so that's what I have so far. Ooh, look at those. Those are sweet. Very pretty. Nice, nice. Nice and nice. Let's need some. Let's do this page. Let's see. <laughs> she thinks she's a crafter. <laughs> What uh, what kind of fur baby you have, um, Kimberly? Yeah, they all think they're crackers, right? Oh, let me do this one. It's interesting. It's a little thicker paper, but I should be able to do this with this now. Okay, I need Carl up here. Okay, Kimberly's a poodle. Kimberly's a poodle. <laughs> Your poodle. You have a poodle? I don't have a poodle, but <laughs> I have a Yorkie and a and a half Chihuahua uh, Jack Russell and a brand new I babysit. <laughs> and you don't have to have a poodle to be in the group. No, no, it's easy. <laughs> Well, let's do this side so I can mix it up. I like them all. I like animals. Put that pink here. Pink, pink. Okay. Frederica on hmm? open stink. Von oh, no. <laughs> oh, how funny. A brindle cat? Oh, cool. You make her a poodle. That's right. I mine are poodles, too. <laughs> oh, you got another pregnant chihuahua at the rescue this week. She has puppies. Oh, yep. Mary Jane has a pit. pity, pity. Hmm. She does. Cute one. And Kim has birds. I don't know if she has a cat. 
I can't remember. She had six? Oh, wow. That's neat. Fun. Are the main coons are that the big, huge? Are they cats? Big cats or they're yeah. Yeah. Ah. Um, my other friend, Darlene, her daughter, um, she's a cat, more of a cat person, but she, she always would joke about biscuit or my first Yorkie. And then Ricky, she goes, ah, that's cat food. <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> 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 your cat. <laughs> No cat food. It was so funny. Um, now, this has been quite a while. It was when Peyton was probably six years old, maybe. Um, we'd, have, we'd all have little sleepovers. And like when Kim would go out of town for her work, um, Darlene, you know, because her house was really cool. We did a lot of work. I helped, too. She has like a 1950s home and she's got it decorated really cool but um so she would you know we'd work on it and stuff but we also had little sleepovers and Peyton and I would go and we'd all sleep over at the house and one time we were sleeping in Kim's bed and then the next morning she said something about one of her cats and the urn was in the back of us and I'm like I am so glad you said that after because me I'm real I spook myself and I'm like I would have never slept there <laughs> Guess it was right away. <laughs> I'm like, oh no. She's, yeah, no. Oh, you did? Okay. Cool. Okay, she's got a picture in the group and then to put a picture. So there's a real kitty and a, oh, and a piggy bank. <laughs> um, Ooh. Oh, that kitty's beautiful and very pretty. Wow, she's pretty. Yeah, it reminds me of my little oh, wow. kitty. Oh, oh Linda, your, your bank is cute. Looks like the Pink Panther. Is that what it's supposed to be? Like Pink Panther or no? Oh my gosh, it does. It's pretty dark and green eyes. So it's cool. Yeah, she's beautiful. Your, your cat's beautiful, Kimberly. <laughs> nice. Yeah, those are green eyes with their color. Wow. Very nice. <laughs> oh my God, that's too cute. Oh, she is so pretty. Wow. <laughs> Dark eyes. I love her markings on her mouth. That's so funny. It's so cute. I love it. I love it. <laughs> Beautiful. Reminds me of my Garthy. My Garthy was my Garth was a black and white cat. Like oh, that. Really? Yeah. Aww. This is pretty markings. Nice. He was so cute. Wow. He was 19 when he died. Oh. We all love her. She has more opportunity to accept with. Oh, I know, Jody. That's and that's what we get here too. It's like there's so many chihuahuas. <laughs> You love all these chihuahuas. And yeah. 
after she was alive. They loved but hated everyone. Right. Yeah. Oh, mine. Well, I think that I don't know what side of her, but she, uh -huh, she loves everybody a little too much. <laughs> a little too much. Chloe does. <laughs> She's a good girl. See, the good girl. <laughs> You know what? She's queen. Well, there you go. See, that's that's what they should be. They should be king, queen. Yep. Oh, you had one, Jody. Funny. Oh, you had one of those banks too. Hmm. Hmm. Cool. I think my sister had one. Oh, really? Oh, they're yeah. Awesome. I think they're cute. Hi, Amy. How are you doing? Hi, Amy. 1960. Oh. Thousand sixty-three. Oh, sixty-three. Oh, my God, I almost couldn't read that, Linda. Because <laughs> I 1963. She threw me off. I'm like, okay, wait. <laughs> 1963. <laughs> Uh -oh. well, years after her bank is in oh. 1963. Yeah. Huh. Cool. Oh, that's how much uh, Chloe weighs. I weighed her the other day. I'm like, oh boy. So I'm 63 pounds? Oh, uh, 17. Oh, really? <laughs> oh, I just saw it. Kimberly said, I'm like, she's being buried. My goodness. I'm like, what happened? <laughs> <laughs> oh, they eat too much. Too much. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Willow's a little pork. She's a little fatty. <laughs> well, she's a cute fatty. <laughs> cute, but. Oh, yeah. Cute. She loves to eat. Oh, yeah. That's Chloe. Yep. This Ricky just stands fat. there and waits. <laughs> fatty. Fatty, fatty. This beat is going to be a fatty. Yeah. I like that beat. This one's going to be a fatty, too. Oh, make it a fatty. Hmm. <laughs> that's why I don't like these paper strips. I just, that's why I cut them like this to use them and then um, put the. You know, fill the ends in and then just put my uh, the ones that I burn or whatever. I mean, I don't have to burn them. Or my uh, dictionary pages. It's storming. Ooh. Yeah. It's got stuff, kind of stuff we got for Christmas. The big thing with all, my, all this cool little junky stuff. Yeah, hey. Yeah, uh -oh. I make my own papers. Um, any papers. Alcohol ink. I make my own alcohol ink a little bit, but she does. <laughs> I got some. I make my own sprays mostly. Well, I just tried to post a reply, and the told me I'm not allowed to post. Huh? No, nos. What'd you try to? Well, wait a minute. I tried to what? post a reply. Yeah, I shouldn't have done that. Yeah, I shouldn't have done that. Are you logged into the group or into Facebook? I know you signed up, but I don't know. Maybe. Hmm. I, don't know. I don't know why it would do that. I want to try again. Yeah, try try refreshing the screen and then going back in. Yeah. I'm going to mute this for one second. Okay. Try refreshing the screen. That might do something. It might kick its butt into gear. Off me paper. My hands are black from ink yesterday. I was playing with alcohol yesterday a little bit. Yeah. And so now my hands are nice and gross. And no, no amount of washing has gotten rid of it yet, but in a couple of days it'll go away. Yeah, it'll disappear. What? Amy? <laughs> oh, she's banned from uh, Twitter. They didn't like her rant. Uh -oh. 
Uh-oh. <laughs> you got banned from Twitter? Oh, geez. Oh, no. 12 hours for 12 hours. Oh, really? Oh, shoot. Somebody didn't like a rant. <laughs> oh, huh. my goodness. You rebel, you. Yeah. No, rebel. Oh, rebel, rebel. Ooh, I like that yellow, too. That's nice. Oh, it's okay now? Okay, good. Shows up on my oh, end. Weird. Trying to shut you. Uh oh. Hand sanitizer. It takes off ink. Oh, does it? That's some extra sanitizer for this glass. Mm -mm, that's what. Or I just scrape it off. <laughs> She's a rebel. <laughs> Jody's a rebel. See, I'm going to put, I've got a lot of these. Um, oh, oh, wait. Pink, penny paper in here that, from you. Um, oh, man. Sometimes you can't tell what's what when you have your roll. Uh, but I put the, the names or the uh, words on them. So that's what I'm. Um, I need to start putting the words and using my uh, uh, resin. You know, put the words on there. Breathe and ones like this. And oh, cut out my little butterflies and put some butterflies or whatever on there. Oh, I do have a poodle. Where's my poodle? Right here. I think Kimberly, did, it, did you refresh it and did it let you post the replies? Oh, it was uh, uh, Jody. So, oh, it was Jody. Oh, I thought it was yeah. Kimberly. Oh, uh, oh, Jody, did it let you did it let you post the reply after you refreshed? <laughs> I thought maybe because Kimberly was new to the group that maybe it was doing something weird. I don't know. I know. I don't. No, it shouldn't do that to Jody. Uh uh. <laughs> I bought a box of. Oh, something crackers to snack on and the hug date. Oh, <laughs> hi, Jude. Hi, Jude. These, uh, these aren't very good, of course, but, you know, I wasn't, you know, when they go on a bead, it doesn't matter. But I don't know why I post, I got these. Maybe because that, remember you said, is that, is that Willow? Like, no, uh, yeah, yeah. I'm interested. <laughs> a little yorky. Might be too big. I didn't shrink it enough for the, the little owls. I'm trying to get those and then I'll cut that out and put them on a bead. Check it out. See, my butterfly. That's what I need to start doing with these and getting them finished. So I'll be yeah, I, 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 hand sanitizer is the same thing as alcohol. So I mean, that's what it is. I, I do the same thing. Uh, it was much worse yesterday until I, I sprayed with alcohol. Yeah. So that's, it still didn't help. Not when you're using things like alcohol ink; it'll literally just stain. But no, I mean, I'm not going to. You're not going to try that? I'm bad, and I admit it. Uh-oh. Well. <laughs> Jody. You're not going to refresh and try it again? Was it that bad? Maybe it was that bad. That's why they banned it. Or they wouldn't let no, it. I'm not talking about Twitter. I'm talking about in our group. Didn't yeah, right. Not being in our group. Comment. I thought that was. Yeah, that's what she had. She was, yeah. Jody, you need to try it in the group. You see, because it shouldn't have. You could be bad. Bad to the bone. Bad. Oh, she's under restrictions on Facebook. Okay, 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 okay. Oh. That's why it's not letting her do it. Because she's... What'd you do? Get kicked off of Facebook and Twitter at the same time? <laughs> she said... Yeah, we're making... Making some beads... Making some beads. Oh, I, want I, won't, I won't push you out of YouTube. Or out of huh? my YouTube. Don't worry. No. Wouldn't do that. Well, no. Jane might. might. She's the boss. Yeah. <laughs> I might. Yep. I got the last say so, you know. <laughs> Just kidding. Just kidding. Oh, boy. No, that's the right way. 
I'm doing it the wrong way. Don't do it the wrong way. I'm trying, I'm trying. <laughs> there, let's move that out. Okay. Here. Hmm. Hey, Jude. Oh. oh, man. Mm -hmm. Um, hi. Huh. This is so Peyton's lounging on the couch this morning, and I said, Peyton, how do you do the the uh, GPS on the phone? I need to do that because I mean that she does it all the you know, and so I yeah, right. huh? Download the app Waze W A Z E. You don't have that in Chrome? No. I'll write it down though. W A Z E. That's what everybody uses. It's a really good GPS app. W A Z E. Yeah. Z E. Okay. Because uh, she said, mm -hmm. "Mom, it's Google Maps." I go, "Well, do it for me." I don't know how to use it. And she goes, "It's Google Maps." And then she got up and left. Now just download Waze and, and, and it's pretty okay. self-explanatory. You just open it when you want to go somewhere, you open it and you just plug in the the address of where you want to go and that's it. Or if you like want to go to the airport or something, you can just type in airport and it'll list all the airports in the area. Oh, okay, cool. Or Walmart or whatever store you want to go to, it'll do that too. Just put the address in. <clears throat> yeah. Mm-hmm. Cause like I, we were trying it and it on the way to like for Noreen, not that I didn't know where I was going, but it said your destination. So we put our address and then the address where we were going. Well, I think Dwayne put in too many of the address and it got confused and he didn't know how to delete them when we brought up Google Maps. So we're driving along. She's going, turn left, turn right, turn right, turn left. And I'm like, oh my God. <laughs> I said, she's confused. Was she going going around? Around? Yeah. <laughs> so. He's like, oh my God, we need to delete these addresses. Well, what's said, nice about Waze is it'll keep you like if there's traffic or an accident or something, it'll 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 route you around it so that you're not. So don't ever think, oh no, it's taking me the wrong way. No, it usually means because there's traffic or something, it's gonna route you around oh. it so you don't so you don't go hit the traffic. Okay, cool. That sounds easier for me to. <laughs> so just listen to whatever it says because it's gonna reroute you around any kind of traffic. It's gonna show you the shortest way to get places. Oh, okay. Well, then I'll download that. Try it. I said, forget it. I'll, I'll ask Stacy. She was playing a game on her phone. I'm like, okay, well. Hmm. Then, you know, Dwayne sat there on YouTube for like an hour trying to figure it out. <laughs> oh, God. I go, that's, that's when I said, Dwayne, that's when you messed up on the, when Laura came to visit, we went to pick up, was it? We had two addresses. We had Mary Jane and we had Patricia. And I was like, so I think he put in the wrong address because then we ended up, I think, at one of their houses. I don't even remember. And then I got lost. I got turned around and I called him. He goes, you don't know where you are? And I'm like, well, yeah, you put in the wrong address. Oh, my. And then Laura, she's sitting there going, oh, I don't know. So I'm putting all these addresses in. Oh, disaster. I even went up and knocked on the door. Nobody answered, so I don't know whose it was. Oh. Oh. Med check. Hi, Laura. Oh, thank you, Granny. You need to take my medicine. Ah, good. Thank you, Laura. Um, how you doing, Jude? How it was the how's your storms there? The tornado that was your nators. Tornadoes. Tornadoes. This thicker paper is harder to do. But come down, I just, it's just harder to do because it's thicker. Oh, yeah. I know they are. Oh. Okay. Oh, she set it up there. She's just uh, cleaning up her section. Uh, you mean craft or around the house? <laughs> So I just want this. I just want this. 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 This and that. That and this. Hmm. Oops. 
It was so cute last night because, oh, uh, Sophia, I put her in the bedroom with Peyton. Well, and then she wanted down. And then she played with the dogs. And then when I went to bed, you know, later, she went right to the room and she kind of pawed at the door and opened the door. It was so cute. I was like, yeah. oh. she wanted right up with her mama. So I put her up there and she just, that was it. Hmm. Cute. Our space has a lot of damage for a small country like ours. Oh, oh, that sucks, Jude. Hmm. You got more coming? Oh, God. You guys don't ever get tornadoes. Like, when's the last time you had a tornado there? Yeah, I didn't think they did. Besides the last one. Jeez. Hmm. Hmm. Wow. Oh. Mm -hmm. I told Dwayne I'm gonna have to send that that drill back, but I'd like to get one. And he said, "Well, just use your Dremel." But the thing is, the well, the Dremel that's where I got it for to do, you know, the beads like sanding and all that kind of stuff. But I realized, and I got that the arm, you know, but it's pretty yeah. heavy. If you wanted to just pick it up and like keep it around you, but I also don't. Yeah. Have any pets. <laughs> I, well, I like it. the Dremel White. The Dremel White's pretty nice because that one's not heavy. It's not real heavy and it's um, it's oh, cordless. Okay. Huh? Yeah, that's the one I was using to do my stained glass. Remember initially when I had to do stained glass, when I didn't have a grinder and I was oh. using the Dremel? I was using okay. the White. Oh. Well, <clears throat> now I gotta write this down. Paper. Yeah, it's like 50 bucks, I think. 50, 60 bucks at. Hmm. Walmart, Lowe's, wherever. I got mine at a yard sale, actually. Really? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. And then I'll send that other one back because I better put a piece of tape on it. Uh, up north. Oh. Long time passing any crap by me, if you know what I mean. Facebook and the other. Artists, we you just impose their will on people. Oh, welcome back, Myra. <laughs> we do up north, but where I am is our first. Oh boy, and I mean a mini one. But looking at the damage, I don't, I don't think so. Rocked hmm. my butt out of bed for sure. Oh boy, I'm sure it's scary. It's, yeah. <clears throat> mm. Still missed by cat. He hasn't come home yet. What? Your cat left? Oh, I guess I missed that. Who's cat? Jude. Oh. Oh no. Sorry, I didn't even know. Since the storm or before that? Yeah, was it? That one and oh, I shouldn't do it, but my designs and do overs. Constance, is that your name? Or am I getting her mixed up with the other one? Right? Which one? Is that Hi, Kristen. No, Constance is the other one. That's Kristen. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I, know. Yeah, I, I do, I do that now good. because now I'm like, now I'm all screwed up. Yeah. I know. I'm all mixed up. Uh, I'm mixed up too. Your name? Oh, oh. I'm mixed up. Um, 
Sorry, Jude, my neighbor's cat got out last night, hoping both would. Oh, no. I'm sorry, Jude. Yeah. Well, I hope he's coming back. Yeah. Let's see, kitty. He took Very off good. out the window? Oh, sometimes if it's during a storm, they will do that. And um, they'll leave, but they'll come back in a couple of days. Oh, no. Oh. That happens a lot with, with like tornadoes and stuff like that. Oh, wow. Oh, well, yeah. Somebody comes back. Oops. Okay, now I just this down. Uh. Wow. Well. Hmm. It's common around here with tornadoes. Oh. Um, uh. Cat to take off and take off. and then come back a few days later because they get a little spooked and scared by the storm. Oh sure, yeah, I could see that. Sixty, where? Walmart. Okay, he found it. Yeah, sixty bucks at Walmart. Yeah. Yep. Can you pick it up and get me about ten drill bits, <laughs> different sizes? <laughs> it comes with it comes with a bunch of stuff. I don't I don't remember if it comes with drill bits, but. I think hmm. it does. Well, yeah, 30? What, what does that have that the other one doesn't? Or whatever. Five stars. Yeah, well, she, yeah. Stacy has one. They have one for 30, 50, and 60. Well, what's the difference? <laughs> make sure make sure it's a variable speed. That's the thing you want with it. Variable. Make sure it's a variable speed, Dwayne. Yeah. Variable speed. Okay. Hmm. Well, there's got to be a difference if one's 30 and one's. Yeah, I think it might just be features or it might be the RPMs or whatever. You know, you don't yeah. need the strong one, but, you know, probably the middle one is probably the best. But you, good for what you do. The middle one you said yeah probably yeah oh there's an old kitty oh yeah oops i'll come back oh, okay yeah I'll come back we have a joke it's not a joke well it's a joke because we had neighbors a long time ago and when they say goodbye, they go, we'll be back. And so we always joke. It's like, you're not going to be back. You're going to Washington. You're moving. <laughs> That's where we're yeah. like, we'll be back. <laughs> no, you won't. <laughs> my file? Oh. Um, let me run and get my file really quick. I think it's in the nail thing. <laughs> okay. I forgot to bring it. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Okay. Pretty. I left it. Nails. Oh, it is for nails, but you know. My bead. I don't like this color. This little thing works good, I tell you, for standing and stuff. Yeah. Forgot it to work again. Then I bet that other one that's electric and it has all the little I don't think it's a oh, oh can I use that for I think I might have tried it for like a little drill. It's not a drill, but it's a as a pointy for standing. I think I tried it for a drill. <laughs> it didn't work very well. Hmm. It's not worked too well. Uh, I think it was mostly lurking, recovering from surgery. Oh, pressure is. Oh, um, boy. Um, I hope you get to feeling better soon. Yeah, Kristen. Oh, boy. 
What kind of surgery did you have? Did you tell us about the surgery? I thought I know so many people tell us different things. I always get confused on what's what. The change. I'm bariatric pressure. Oh. Yes, pain levels are high here tonight too. Hope you're oh you too, Kimberly. Yeah. Well, we know that. <laughs> we know it. Hmm. I went on here. Let's see. Well, I do have some of these cut out. I just don't know where they're at. Oh. Hmm. Where are my butterflies? <laughs> Could be anyway. I might have to. Deviated septum. Oh, deviated septum. 89 oh. yesterday. Oh, 30 right now. Snowing. Jeez, Kristen. <laughs> 90 and then 30 your weather. I think you told us about that, if I'm not mistaken. I could have sworn you told us about. It sounds familiar. I think yeah. I did, but. yeah, we get so, we get so many, so confused. That we're, I think we're the most forgetful people on the internet. Yep. For sure. <laughs> Some people can remember every little detail. I can't remember. Forget it. I don't even remember if I ate today or not. <laughs> I have to write it down. Remember where I wrote it. Hmm. <laughs> hey, hey. Uh, I don't know if this is it. Well, bye, bye, Linda. Get some sleep. Bye, Linda. Have a good night. Hi, Tracy. Jeez, there she is flying up ahead. She's way up. <laughs> I know. You were just like, whoop, right in here. Where are these? Um, oh, these are my things. I took off my light right here. What's doing here? Oh, could use oh, my. Well, that's not right. More beads to put away sometime. Thanks, Linda. Have a good night. Hmm. Okay, Linda. I think I still got it. Oh, but no, I don't. I'll get it. That's <laughs> the group. <laughs> Whoops. Hmm. I'm sick of your night to be. Why is that about nighttime being? What? Being the worst when you're sick and it just. Oh, I know. Like if you're going to have a fever, it's always at night. Yeah. yeah. It's always worse at night. I don't know. Because that's when your body's resting. Yeah. Well, and the fever actually is your body's way of healing itself. Oh. As odd as that sounds, but. Yeah. Uh -oh. There you go. <laughs> if you're still here, Linda. I found it. Uh, Linda, just the last name of Walker. Yeah, I had cold, was up at 5 a.m. drinking tea, trying to go. Yeah, that's not fun. Mm. Mm. Yeah, but they're not fun. Uh -huh. Nothing when you're when you're not feeling well. <laughs> I went to walk for Ryan Hall. Yeah, that's who I watched. Ryan Hall. He's that weather guy. I told you about him. He tracks all the tornadoes and different stuff and what's going oh. on. Oh, cool. 
too. I'll let you know what's going on. He's a good mm -hmm. weather person to watch. Mm -hmm. on Better than watching the damn news because he's more informed yeah. and more detail about what, what's happening. Yeah, the news kind of just will say the same thing. They just gloss over it. Yeah, they just gloss over things. They don't really yeah. give you like full in depth information on why something's happening. Right. It's hard for the whole long thing. Thicker papers. I know they're hard. <laughs> Yelling at who? Uh, I was telling them to build a bunker. Oh, wait. <laughs> oh, peeps in New Zealand don't have a clue how to keep themselves safe. God, they're. Yeah. You go to, if you don't have a basement, which you probably don't, then you go to the most interior room of the house that has like the least windows. So if you've got like, or or a bathroom, like a bathtub or something, or like whatever room is in the middle of your house, preferably no windows or the low, in, or the lowest portion of your house. <laughs> well, I'm trying to get him to get me the fly swatter, but, but what is that? Oh, what is a baby fly? Can I have a fly swatter? <laughs> Right there. Yeah, I keep finding these baby flies. I took, you know, the flies. They must have hatched in your house. They did. I know. I'm like, oh my God. <laughs> oh, Where'd they hatch at? I don't know. They just appear. Maybe here. in your damn pumpkin. You better check that damn thing. <gasps> you might be <laughs> smart yeah. and that's what makes flies. Oh. You better double check that thing, girl, because. Oh, yeah. yeah. You're going to have all kinds of buggies in your house. Oh, God. Okay. Let me see. Let me see. Come here, pumpkin. Pumpkin. Is it mushy? Oh, no. Let me dust it. Here. Oh, 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 oh. There. <laughs> I dust it. Okay, here you, she is. Um, um, okay. So far, or bottom's okay? Feels it. Okay. Yeah, but wait, what's that? Is that? Uh, I don't know if that was there. It's a little moldy spot, maybe. No, <laughs> it's it's. No, it wouldn't be from that. Then you'd know it if the flies were on that. It would be all. It would have to be all juicy and weird. See, it's look, look at that. Yeah. It's firm. Yeah. Ooh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh, there's a. Uh oh. Okay. Yeah. I get rid of it. Oh yeah, get rid of that. Get rid of it. Ew. Do I have to? No. Have to. It's going to be oh. a weird thing. It's going to all kinds of bugs, including your giant oh. rushes that you don't want. Okay, I'll get rid of it. Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs> okay. mm -hmm. oh, it was nice while it lasted. It didn't quite last two years. It lasted the same as mine did, pretty much. I know. I right? did the same Look thing. And a half. Uh, all right, I'll have to wait and take it and dump it. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, man. Right. It's a pumpkin from a year and a half ago, but it's a little smushy, so I think it's done. <laughs> <laughs> this is a real one. I'm not going to dump it. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Okay. Oh. I handed it to him. He's like this. <laughs> Way out. Like, well, you don't have to hold it like that. <laughs> <It's not. laughs> 
you know. <laughs> now you'll find out why it comes around. Okay. He, he, it's not good to know it's not coming from the pumpkin. I know. Oh. <laughs> Here's a civil. I'm going to put myself on our civil defense team. Kick me in the butt. Way to go, Jude. Mm. The right size. Uh -huh. <laughs> Root rot. Yeah, I think right. Root rot. Uh -huh. Oh, I know. That was my mixed media mashup pumpkin. I have another one out there, but it's not it's not a real one. And it really turned out really pretty. So I know. He took it outside and he said he'll oh, oh. Where is it? Don't leave it real close to the house. You'll have those roaches all over it. Oh yeah. Dwayne, don't put it too close to the house. It'll attract roaches. <laughs> I know, but what about tonight? It'll be fine for the night. It's not enough. It's like, oh, mm -hmm. all right, where'd you go fly? See, they leave when you get the fly swatter out. <laughs> all right. <laughs> they know. Mm. Okay, here's some butterflies. I still have to cut them. Oh, these are too big. These are too big. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> it might. <laughs> It'll <laughs> blow up. Oh, yeah. Yep. That. See. That's what. Remember that was. The last time, and I knocked on it, you're like, you shouldn't have done that. Now it's really going <laughs> to the spot. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Where's that smell coming? I know. That's what you, oh, it probably stinks. I go, it doesn't stink, but, it, you know, it'll probably start. Dead flies. I take, <laughs> I know. Hi, Susan. Hi, Susan. <laughs> okay, beads. What are you doing? I'll put you with the ball. Uh, right here. <laughs> Oops. Well, wrong floor stuck my hand. Okay. Can't get the... Oh, I hate picking up paper on the floor on those the rubber mat where it's underneath the the chair. <laughs> can't yeah. The rubber mat thing. Oh, that'll work. Okay, these are too big. I must have somewhere <laughs> blow up for Halloween. I know I could put a little firecracker in there too, maybe for like there you go. <laughs> light it on fire. Send well, it up in the air. <laughs> yeah, I have a little pit out there on the in the backyard, the little pit thing we used to do our little fires and roast yeah. marshmallows and all that. I could set it in there. One of the little pumpkins I grew last year, you know, I had two big ones and two little ones. Yeah. One of the little ones, I stuck it outside. It, it started to kind of get icky and I stuck it outside and put it in, on top of one of my planters that were outside and it grew to, it, it, it's growing another pumpkin plant now. Oh my weird? God, really? Yeah. I was like, what? I'm like, the seed is starting to sprout and it's growing a pumpkin. I'm like, whoa, it's growing a pumpkin in oh, there. Oh, wow. <laughs> well, that's cool. Yeah, a pump, another pumpkin. That's cool, though. Yeah. Oh, baby. Ooh, it's a baby. A baby. How cute. A baby. It with three pieces of paper, and I'm trying to make a round kind of one. Oh yeah. yeah. Um I did. It was from not what did I did we say it was from last I yeah, I don't know what, what Halloween it was from. Hmm. Yeah, I'll have to check. It, October, last October we was in here or the one before that. <laughs> I don't remember. What are you rolling them with? Oh, she has a bead little bead. Uh, yeah, it's a little thing, and it's got like a, it's got like a, a, a little slit in it right here, and you slip the paper in. But you can use a toothpick or anything, really. Sure. You 
can use whatever you want. Round one, I'm going to do very, very small papers. Oh, no, like pieces. that thingy, Maggie. You've got quilting. Mm -hmm. Um, the thingy, Maggie. I'm not sure. Yeah, I don't know what you mean. Hmm. Well done, just a big needle. On either side, like white paper. Yeah, huh? I've got the this one and the one I just had. Where? Oh, I have a bead on there. <laughs> I have a little bead rolling machine thingy that you crank it. Yeah, and you have to roll the beads. That's pretty cool. But I, I packed it. So I don't have to using this. The bead rolling machine is a little bit easier to do. Yeah. Thingy my bobby. That thingy my bobby. <laughs> uh can you pretty flowers and just roll them straight? Oh yeah, that sounds pretty, uh Tracy. <laughs> it's a little crooked. Oh well. Yeah. This thing? That's what I said. Yeah, I think it's a bead roller. That's what it is. It's a bead roller. Oh, okay. That's what you're talking about. It's meant for rolling beads or for doing quilling, too. Yeah. It's glue stuck to my finger. They're simple, and I'll try to glaze them. They look like something. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. She's got uh, ones that she had glazed before. Um, yeah, that's what I need to start doing because I need to use the, the resin. I keep saying that. Yeah, I'm gonna have to use some varnish on these ones I'm doing now because I don't, my UV resin is uh, is taking too long to cure and it's no good. Oh, see that's yeah. what mine's gonna. <laughs> mine's probably. So I'm just gonna use the varnish for these guys yeah. for now. Yeah, they do look really pretty once they're go. Oh my, I got some fuzzy, some I could wrap a bead in that oh, for my pumpkin. It's my pumpkin's fuzzies. Um, I didn't make these, but I get these. Oh, I made this one. I made this one. <laughs> oh, wait, wait. There's another one. Where's my other one? Ah. That one, I didn't make, oh yeah, these have fabric. Oh, I don't like this. Um, oh, shoot. Oh, here, it's up here. Inspiration. These, not that one. This one, that one. What I mean by it's finished with the beads, because, you know, I have a ton of beads. It's just that, because I just mess around. I did these a long time ago. I don't remember. Yeah. Thanks. But I think this is your paper. And right. that other one might, I think, yeah, that one too. So they make really nice beads. Uh, you never use the UV resin? It's really nice. Yeah. It coats it really nice. It makes it nice mm -hmm. and coats it. Years ago, we used to adhere to our hard. nails. Oh, yeah, the metallic yeah. strips. That's some of the ones I have. These ones are all coated with UV resin. See how shiny they are? Come on, camera. Get with it. <laughs> oh, you can see how shiny they are anyway. They are shiny. Oh, there they are. Oh, so pretty. You put glitter on some of them. Oh, glitter, yeah. <gasps> nice, huh? Yes, exactly, Tracy. That's what I, yeah. Yep. That's why I was making the big ones. Two. Oh, Jody. 
to just try to post in the group again and i'm restricted for 15 hours oh man that's for trying to post what the hell's going on oh. i contact facebook something's going on with your facebook that's yeah cool. that's not right you shouldn't be no. doing that Facebook yeah, probably doing something weird. That's not right. Uh -uh. Yeah, Jude, yeah. that's what she was um, using. What are you using that for? What? Like the strips for the nails, like the metallic strips. Jude said she has some of that. Like oh, yeah. The, yeah, you yeah. can. For what would you do with the metallic strips? I think I, mean, I know what you do with them with nails, but what, what were you going to do with them? I think on the beads. I'll put them on the beads, you mean? Yeah. No, that might work. Oh. I will not. Oh, look at this weird one. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> uh, I, didn't, I didn't do nothing but wrap the paper. and It's like that little dumbbell thing. <laughs> Huh. Oh, that's cool, Esther. <gasps> they don't like a reply I made today and two others. One dating back to 2020. Oh, really? Oh, oh, that's, that's not good. That's stupid. Oh, here. That's not nice and round. That one there came out missing. Ooh. Oh, nice. I like that. Very nice. Jude said, add glue Stacy and roll the metallic strip over it. Oh, I got you. Okay. I see the same. Okay. Like a pinstripe on the thingy. Yeah. <laughs> Look at this one. That one I put a little bit of satin glaze on. <laughs> mm, that's Isn't that cool. different? I don't know. Let's try and oh and then these ones too. I don't know. Uh these things. <laughs> those here. I'm gonna make a big focal one because she was showing how she made these and then like put them together and put one in the middle and made like a focal something. Right. And, hmm. You've had that happen, Tracy. Sometimes I don't even remember writing the post. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Let me get these out so I can put my words on them. Uh ooh, little one. <laughs> I like them. I thanks. I like them too. The little cone ones. I started. Yeah, I try this one. I don't like this one actually, but man, I think we talked about this. You said just do something with it. I'll do something with it. Mm -hmm. Look at the That's a big one too. Okay, just I'll just. Leave this. <laughs> and then I got these two. Some of them are done. Some of them are not. No, what I put my did I my I was gonna say flies. <laughs> oh, they're there. Butterflies. Hmm. There you know. Put them all together. In here. I got baby one somewhere. <clears throat> Babies. Babies. I a picture bite. of a Velveeta box full of bullets and said an intruder would be surprised when this guy asked his wife to get the Velveeta. Huh. Oh, because there's bullets in there. Oh, yeah. I bet. Who <laughs> would? Ah, I found a thing. <laughs> a little butterfly. <laughs> you know, I find you, but I looked hard enough. Yeah, they are. He's a baby. Look at the babies. <laughs> oh, those are babies. Yeah. He's so cutting them up. He's a baby. I was going to call them flies again because, you know. <laughs> <laughs> They're butterflies. <laughs> That's what we got. Yeah, butterflies. <laughs> there they are. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's buttery. <laughs> but they are buttery. Buttery goodness. Why are we not afraid of butterflies? Because they're pretty? Is that it? 
I know. <laughs> They're just as harmless as a roach, but yet we're, we're afraid of a roach. Why? <laughs> <laughs> but a butterfly, oh, look how pretty. I know. Oh, bizarre. Because <laughs> I think they're pretty and they're not. They're not. <laughs> yeah. Ew. Oh, those creepy ones. <laughs> the ones with the wings. Huh. Oh, what happened? Oh. Uh, I'm on permanent warning status for posting a message that said the cops were going to get the person who killed my son. Oh, geez. Because we have a video and I know who they are. I never said a name, but she reported my post to, as a threat to her. Oh. I got the permanent warning and the cops got her confession of sorts. Um, yeah, I'm sorry. Wow. wow. What the heck is that about? Mm. Flutter buys, that's right. Oh, oh, Susan, I'm sorry. Jeez. Man. Wow. 16? Oh. Wow. Two years. 16. Let me see. Finally sent it to the prosecutor. Wow. Oh, I couldn't imagine. Could not even imagine. That's awful. Yeah. I'm sorry. Oh. Hey. Oh, I just found all these. I go I could use these, but these are the ones that Laura had sent to me. And, but some are, you know, on the, the clips, but some of them are just loose. Maybe they got, she's got small ones in here. Maybe. Hmm. <laughs> Maybe. Mm -hmm. These look kind are of they beans? Um, there, she, she get she sent me like with the butterfly, you know, the, what she makes the butterfly. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And then, yeah. uh, one of these, the. Uh, Hidden paper clip. Oh my god! Couldn't think of what. And then some cutouts, like yeah, but, you know, yeah, they're too, they're too big. I'll have to use them for my. Oh, this. That's so cute. Eight weeks. Oh wow, Esther. <gasps> mm. oh, oh, that's so sad. That's sad too. Yeah. <gasps> Those are your butterflies. Look. Oh, bunch of them. Oh, yep. She sent these. I got some more other ones, over, I think, over there. I don't know what these are doing. These are not supposed to be here. In here. Mm -hmm. They're butterflies. What the heck is a Nevada, Utah. Okay, well, I think I saved that strip for a bead for some reason. Okay. Yeah, I'll save these for. Oh, so cute! Little silver one, a little silver one in the middle. Isn't he cute? Oh, cute! Yeah. We won't disturb these. <laughs> He's so pretty. Ooh! Oh, how cool that looks. Neat. Oh, hey! I like it. I like it too. Um, oh, oh, I bet it is. If you, you know, something like that, I just, you know, to have to live with, with that. Okay, did I drop anything? I have perfect circles. Oh. Freedom of speech is always paged or deleted or held. I know, too. Yeah. Here, I better put this in because I don't want to lose it. Oh. This chair. Oh. Yeah. 
my butterflies. The rest of the butterflies were I could put them in there. Mm -hmm. oh. because it decided to break right there. It's okay. I'll glue it together when I roll it up. Oh. Wow. Very nice of it to do that. No. Who cares? Harming the individuals I turn on these onto their posts. I just want to get killed over this. Then he was. Wow. Oh, huh. uh, can Myra ask if she can? No. <laughs> what? Oh, yeah, sure. Yeah. No, oh. no, no. Oh. Sorry, James says no. Nope. Can't do it. <laughs> Just, kidding. <laughs> Just kidding. Just kidding, Myra. Well, maybe she'll sneak in. I'm not okay. going to be responsible if she sneaks in. <laughs> You sneaking. It's sneaky, sneaky. Sneaky mix sneakersons. I'm not giving her the link, so she'd have to sneak oh. in if she wants to come. Okay. In. okay. Sneak in, Myra. <laughs> sneaky. <laughs> I ain't getting in trouble. Well, see. <laughs> Myra's pretty sneaky. She's pretty sneaky. Yeah. She's she yep. She's gonna sneak in. <laughs> See, found more bees. Put those aside for later. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> I couldn't imagine. Sure. I'm sorry to hear that, Susan. Yeah. I imagine there's not enough therapy in the world to help you deal with that. No. 1990, 15. Oh boy. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, me too, Tracy. That's it. <laughs> I'm a sneaker. Yeah, see? Don't find her way in. Um. <laughs> Look what I found. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think I brought them out. Um, I was gonna try doing like the boho uh, thing and wrap the, you know, whatever. Wrap the whatever. Yeah, you know. Fabric and oh, something, 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 <laughs> something, something, something. Oh, oh, this is so cool. Mm -hmm. Stacy, are you dipping those in resin? No, I usually didn't dip them in resin. Uh, when I do them, when I did these, I just brush them with the resin, UV resin, and then put them under the light. But these I'll be brushing with varnish because my resin right now, the resin, the resin I have here now uh, is I need to get a new bottle because it's not curing very well. But uh, I'm just going to use varnish on these for now. I think Amira's trying to sneak in. I see. Oh, trying. She's sneaking. Oh my God. Look at all the bees. She's trying to get in. Uh oh. She found a glitch in the matrix. <laughs> she found it. She found it. She's all working with Amira. Amira. Hello. Uh oh. 
Mm-hmm. What you doing? Me? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, nothing. Nothing? Okay. <laughs> nothing yet. Make little drinking. Yeah, Susan, we'll talk about that um, in the chat uh, for the auction. Remember when she had all those? Oh, the bracelets. Yeah. 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 I've had a sneeze attack. Oh. I've I've had the stupidest allergies. It is so annoying. Oh. They started before on you. Is it... uh, (laughs) <laughs> oh. too clean, right? Have um, I mentioned to you guys that a, a couple of days ago? Yeah. Well, no, it's been more like a week, two weeks. The last yeah. time we were. Oh, they were yeah. just sneaking in. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's like you snuck in, see? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. <laughs> and then I finally got me. You got him. Sneaker. Got me, got me. <laughs> no, Teddy. How's Teddy doing? Teddy is being Teddy. Teddy is, uh, let's put it this way. I thought I would put little barriers, you know, to keep him not so confined in his little crate. So I got him a playpen, which is, you know, bigger, right? Right. So I was leaving him in the playpen instead of the crate. And I just put the little indoor camera. And um, that was pretty good for a couple days. And then all of a sudden... Yesterday, his little ass decides to get on top of my craft chair, and he was laying on my craft, like literally right here. Hi, Jody. Stay safe. Bye, Bye Jody. Jody. Sorry, man. Oh, yeah, he was. He was literally chilling right here. Literally, I was watching really? him on camera, and I was like, "Teddy, get your oh. ass off of there right now!" And I couldn't get you know, back home. Because I'm at work. Oh. <laughs> so, oh, no. oh man. He would just look at the camera because the sound was coming out of the camera, and he was like, "Yeah, whatever." <laughs> oh no. But then it was too bad for him because then after he couldn't get off, so he just stayed there for who knows how long. Wow. And this is Teddy, by the way. Whoever doesn't know Teddy, this is little Teddy. He's a there little. He is. He's a little Edward. badass. Oh Teddy. my God! Yeah, look at Edward. So cute. <laughs> he knows it all, right? Yeah. Sit. Say hi to the Teddy camera. You know he's in trouble. No, I need a different pen. Teddy here. Family member. Hi, Esther. Hi, Jude. We have a new family member. My nephew and his wife had a little boy. Oh, oh, nice. oh congrats to them. Congrats. Yeah. Yes. So cool. I know, Kim. A lot of people are getting like horrible allergies. And I just, I've never had them this bad. Hmm. They're not fun. Oh, congratulations to them and you. Oh, you have a new little man. <laughs> How sweet. Oh, little boy. Teddy. And see, now he knows how to climb up on the little footrest when I'm sitting here at the craft table. So I can't, I don't know what I'm going to do with little Teddy. He's naughty. <laughs> Yeah, he's a naughty boy. Naughty, naughty. Naughty boy. He's going to have to just chill here. Look, I crocheted a little table runner. So cute. <laughs> he's a little Like a miniature table runner for a miniature table? I'm just messing around with some stitches. 
Cute. Like, okay. That's Why? adorable. Yeah, I don't know. I can do. I guess maybe you could put it in that old dollhouse. Yeah. <laughs> put something on it. It's heavy. <laughs> oh, what the heck is this? That's a mighty dinner. Thing here. <laughs> okay. What are you making, Myra? I'm about to make. Uh, I have to make two birthday cards. No. Oh. Teddy. But my birthday is not till January. Oh, I'm starting early. Okay. <laughs> Why am I rolling this backwards like an idiot? Okay. Duh. Gotta start, I gotta focus. Start here. the small end, dumbass. <laughs> It's hard to tell because I have such a small taper on this piece to get it to be round, but hang on, I gotta go get some because he's gonna keep climbing. I need to Stick some of these bags in this one. Paper paper paper. What happened in the paper round? Paper paper. I missed it. I found my containers. Put this here so I can. Oh, oh, the, your crochet thing in her paper house. Yeah, I get it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That would be cute. Yeah. But it would have to be made out of paper, wouldn't it? <laughs> okay. Top or bottom. <laughs> right? I don't even know what I was doing, June. <laughs> I was just like, I think I was watching. Yeah, see. Some YouTube do some. I know the one, you know, double stitch, triple stitch, whatever. <laughs> Both things. That's it. <laughs> That is all. Oh, she wrote. Oh, she wrote. Just here before. This one. <laughs> I know. 50 times. That's right. It's a dying. Ah, you bastard. I let go of you. Oh, no. Well, how rude. Huh? Yeah. My arthritic finger. Oh. Oh, you need one, Jude? Yeah, me too. Like a hundred times. Teddy, you're going to fall. Oh, my God. How am I going to do this with you here? I can't. I don't know how Janie does it. He wants to cry. Put him in his playpen and leave him there. I just feel bad because he's been oh, wow. all by himself this whole freaking... Put him on your lap and go on the stay put. I'm trying to put him on my lap right now, but... Need a breath. Let him let him run around. Oh, he he chooses mm -hmm. to continue to climb up on my on my lap, so he's gonna stay here until forever. <laughs> stay here until forever. Yeah. <laughs> good night, Tracy. Have a good night. Good night, Tracy. Good night, Tracy. That's it, Teddy. You're stuck here. I'm not putting you. all this. Ass down. Things I did on uh, the muslin uh, quite a while ago. All the stamp. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh how cute! Thanks. Oh that is cute. Oh yeah, my I gosh, just... that's a great idea, Jamie. Bunch of yeah, bunch of things. I was gonna put them on beads. Now that it's, they're a little big now for that, but I mean, I would use. I've got tiny. It'd be good for snippets. Yep, exactly. See, and I got there's a music one that it's kind of light, but. It's just a long time ago. You see what you see? Do you see how, how sneaky he is? Uh-huh. Oh, did he try to sneak up there? Yes. Teddy. Teddy bear. Edward Barrington the <laughs> third. <laughs> Quit being a sneaky little shit. <laughs> Turned out. Oh, that's so cute. Oh, he's pretty. Oh, that's me. I like that. Yeah, oh, we have paper really clusters. Zooming. Well, I obviously did something with this one. <laughs> oh, oh yeah, here's little um, bees. I guess I have a little one with the mason jar with or bees, fireflies, whatever you call them. Oh yeah, fireflies. <laughs> <laughs> that might work on a bead. Oh no. Well, okay, here we go. Lightning bugs. Or fireflies. Light. That's right. Like bugs. Hmm. There's a baby right there. That might work on that one. Stop, Stop it. it. No. True. True. 
Maybe, maybe, maybe. Oh, you see what happened? Did he fall? Did he fall? I don't know. What happened? He doesn't care. He's he climbs things. I guess he's used to falling. <laughs> oh, he's got so much hair. It's probably a cushion. <laughs> yeah, that's it. You're not coming back up here. I'm not taking you to the hospital for anything. Oh God, emergency. <sighs> Emergency for Teddy. Emergencies. <laughs> Poor Teddy. Poor Teddy Bear. Raising kisses. What's this? Just. Just do it. Ooh, Just do it, Jenny. Just, Just do, do it, Nike. I must have put something on here. It's stiff. It's like. I don't know. I'm gonna put some something over that one. Oh, these are kind of big, so that might work. A door, maybe, maybe hugs. And there's another round one. Oh, oh, I like that in the middle. Yeah, the blue. That's pretty. Yeah. I like party. I like it a lot. A lot. I like it a lot. <laughs> I like it a lot. A lot, lot. Always. Huh? Maybe. Maybe. I, there's another one. Try it. <coughs> uh oh. Fresh out. Wish him. <laughs> That's Easy McGee over there. Copper. Good you have them. Oh, the copper. Uh, oh, bracelets. What a copper magnet bracelet. My pain's gone down. Hmm. Oh, yeah. Those well, ones, I heard that they work, but I've never had that. I've never tried. Yeah, it. I had one. But I, didn't I, didn't know. Know. I don't know. I feel, like, I feel like some of those things are placebo effects. So I feel yeah, like they don't work for placebo effect doesn't work on me, but it works on Chris. Hmm. Wow. But it, you know, I know that it works, you know, on people, but it the copper yeah, bracelets I, it just didn't do anything for me. I just was like, okay. Hmm. <laughs> Okay. Maybe it's the thing where it depends on the person, but right. I believe I, I think everything is. I mean, I'm always like, yeah. that's just because I said it would work. Hmm. I'm going to buy 50 of them babies and wear them all over. <laughs> Where you go, Susan? <laughs> no matter what it is, right? If it works, it works. That's, that's right. Yep. Yipper. Buy 50. <laughs> I know. It'd be exciting when you have, you know, a lot of pain or something. I'd be. Yeah. I'd be buying them too. I wish placebo effect worked on me because, man, when oh, it happens to Chris, I'm, I'm always shocked. Mm. Like I always like because I've seen it. I've seen it happen to him, and I was I just thought it was funny. I was like, "Damn, I wish that would work for me." Wow. How do you see it happen? What do you mean, like? Because like, there's been times where <sighs> this is gonna sound bad. I don't want to <laughs> say it too loud, but he knows I've done this. Like, there's been times where I would tell tell him, "Oh, you know, I heard that if you do this, you know, it'll it takes the pain away, or it does this, or it does that," mm -hmm. and it, I'm kind of full of shit. <laughs> <laughs> but it worked with him and so I can do that and in some ways it like it works every time he's like yeah that wow. actually worked you know and I'm like okay <laughs> <laughs> oh cool hey One time, you know I gave him uh like I I read somewhere that it was like I read it was a placebo I read this was a placebo effect but I wasn't sure but it, to take a bar like if you had mu muscle spasms in your legs to take a bar of soap mm -hmm. and put it down by your legs and it was supposed to help your muscle spasm and I read it was a placebo effect 
and it wasn't really like the thing but i gave it to chris and i said oh i read this that it was that it worked that it would take your muscle spasms away blah blah, blah. well he had no oh, surprisingly he had no you know said he had no muscle spasms felt better blah blah, blah. so he's very impressed by placebo effect where i'm not <laughs> at all <laughs> i'm like okay this ain't working but if he believes something's gonna work then it'll work for him and wow. and, and that's the thing like it's not you know it's just, you know, something, you know, that's mind over matter type, kind of thing. You know what I mean? If you believe yeah. it'll work, then it'll work. Right. Yeah. If it works, good. I wish that my brain worked that way because it would be great. Yeah. You're allergic to the metal, Kimberly? Oh, boy. That's not good. That's not what, the good. copper? Yeah. She said, uh, uh, yeah, breaks out in the rash. and. Uh, that sucks. Oh, yeah, can't wait on that. Here, I'll wait and see what happens. Yeah. Mm -mm. I also have I bad think? back and legs. Pain all over. Pain is down. Oh, nice. Well, that's a good thing. Susan, that's great. Great, great. Hmm. Oh, Noreen had this isn't funny. This is not funny, but I I mean, well, no, it's not. Anyway, um, in her room, she keeps because she's Catholic and she always says stuff to me and I have no idea what she's talking about. So <laughs> she'll be like, just <laughs> bottle of um I guess it's you know, the blessed water or whatever. And she goes, Oh, right. I always put it put in, I know she's done this forever. And and I picked it up the other day, I go, Oh, can I drink it? And she goes, Well, yeah, I guess. <laughs> she goes, Why would I have it blessed before you drink it? I'm like, Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just like, you know, and I laugh more because of me. Don't, you know, it's like, okay, and I, I get I get it, but I don't get it. It's like, you know, keep it whatever you believe. Hey. But, yeah. Man, whatever works. Like, <laughs> but yeah, I'm like, really. drink it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jamie's extra holy today. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> like, oh. <laughs> Maybe I can drink it and then pray for somebody else to get better. Well, yeah. You Maybe know? your pee will now be holy water. <laughs> yeah, I'm right. Can you imagine? Oh my god! <laughs> Stay hydrated. Holy pee! <laughs> Holy pee! <laughs> oh my god! Now I'm gonna think about that when I see them. <laughs> when I see them, <laughs> you'd be like, "Oh, look at! Oh my gosh! What is that? You want to see? Wait! Look at that! You want to see the smallest?" baby heart in the world i found oh one my oh my god. God. is that a sequin what is that i don't know i think it's paper it was on the bottom of this um well if you go what the heck here let's put a butterfly in there maybe it'll my goodness well there's a there it is. Well, it is a has more of a heart shape when it's down there. <laughs> but it's a tiny little, it's like uh like it came off of a paper that was punched or oh. something. And it might you need tiny paper punch? Hmm. Like maybe like a heart and it has a little tiny oh. put it up there. I have to keep it. A teeny, tiny paper punch. It's a tiny one. I'll keep these out just in case I'm trying. I found this thing when I got uh, oh that cut really <laughs> hard. Wow, it sounded like it. <laughs> it was like whoosh. <laughs> Yeah. I figured it was supposed to be separated, Kimberly. <laughs> I was like, oh. Okay. 
jamming. Are we jamming again? We're jamming. <laughs> jamming going on with you. <laughs> Where's Mike going to put them? Is anybody else making paper beads today? Yeah. Paper beads. Paper beads. Paper beads, paper beads. Paper beads I'll say. <laughs> I saw oh, the saddest eclipse today. Oh, wow. I got a blinky one. <laughs> you see the what one? What, 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 Myra? I saw the saddest eclipse today. Uh oh. Uh, uh. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I saw the saddest eclipse today. I've never oh, been like moved so quickly by watching something, especially oh. like on social media. Yeah. yeah. Bring that back. Hang on. Hurry up. We got enough. <laughs> um, sorry. <laughs> and, um, yeah, so I guess you guys heard what happened in New York, right? What? No. What? Was it in New York? Yeah. The shooting? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I heard about it. There was two, actually, shootings. At graduation, you mean that? No, the one at the oh. store. Store. Oh, I don't remember. One, I know there was a shooting at a graduation, but maybe there was, I don't know. Anyway. The active shooter? Yeah. Um, no, get off. And um, so basically I had heard about it, but I just wasn't really watching stuff on the news because it's just so much going on like in the world, like one thing after another after another. And today, one of my friend's boyfriend says, um, you haven't seen that video that's been going viral? I said, no. And he literally showed me the video of the active shooter. He was recording. He had he had a recorder on himself. He was live streaming it. Oh, God. And you see all the people. Oh, like, on Twitch or something? He was doing that or something? Yeah, on, on yeah. Twitter. I mean, on TikTok. Oh, oh on TikTok. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. yeah, Twitch or, oh, or Twitch. something okay. like that. Yeah. yeah. And no, I was just like, crazy. oh my God, how, like, I've never seen something so bruised, like, so I don't even know the word, but it was no. just heartbreaking. I started crying. I was like, oh my God, how? Wow. Why? It's terrible. Yeah. It's terrible. Yeah. Jeez. That's crazy. Oh. And you can literally see, it looks like a video game, like, you could see how the bullet, like, it's, I'm sorry, uh, you know, to sound so graphic, but I couldn't believe what I was seeing. I was like, oh, how could this be? I mean, they, I guess they took it off of the social media, but, um, oh, wow. you know, so some people still had, you know, access to right. it or whatever. And yeah. I just, I don't know, I couldn't believe what I, I was seeing, how just the bullets Graphic. were going through people and it was just horrible it was so wow. yeah jeez hmm. wow in buffalo in a supermarket oh yeah that's right okay um, for that one that yeah was, that yeah. one that one in buffalo yeah. wow yeah, but I guess the guy had like he was literally recording himself. Oh, and then he told the guy, um, he told the guy because he was white, he says sorry, and he didn't shoot him, but he shot everybody else. Huh. Jeez. Yeah, like you see how he's aiming at colored people, and then he sees this, this this white guy by the register and he screams, and then he's like, ah. And then the guy was like, no, no, sorry. And then he, he just keeps going and like he leaves him 
alone. Wow. I couldn't wow. believe my eyes. I was just like, oh my God. That's pretty bad. Yeah. Jeez. Yeah. I'm that's... like, we have enough crap going on, like going on, mm -hmm. one thing after the other, you know? Right. Mm-hmm. Ceramic knees. I'm sorry, I was listening to you and reading her. Uh, Kimberly and Susan oh, both really? can't get the knees because of the metal they're allergic to. And you got this. Oh. Oh. You're allergic to How is it? Steel? Hmm? She, they usually use stainless steel when they do replacements, like where they put metal in you. Well, yeah, that's what I do. You, you still get allergic to that too? I mean, is metal metal or... I don't know. No, well, there's different types of metal, of course, but I didn't know. Yeah. I thought pretty much everybody was not allergic to stainless steel, but I guess I'm wrong about that. Yeah, that's, that's weird. Huh. Kimberly, you need both done, both hips. Yeah, I have a hip, I have a hip replacement, but that's, that's it. That was from when Janie in her biker days. Yeah, in my biker days. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking about that the other day. How long did you have your biking license and your bike? Uh, oh, she's well, uh, she's not kidding. No, mm -mm, no. Oh. Um, well, I got it. Let's see. So it would be oh seven, no six, maybe like late because my dad had passed in oh six, and see so then. Because I've always dreamed to have one. So that, and then I took the class and all that. And I didn't get on it. And then, I mean, I did. But so probably five months, maybe. And then I went in the neighborhood, you know, before I went out five on the months, road. Did you, so you didn't even, this was like, was this like the first time you wrote it or something? Well, I had taken a class and all that for like a right. month. Oh, okay. I didn't do so well on the turns. I, and the right. guy said, I passed, of course. And the thing that he said to me, I fear for you. So he said to me when I left. What? I'm like, yeah. He's like, oh, yeah, I forgot about that. Yeah. I know. He passed me. Oh, he's like, well, numbers don't lie. But the oh, terms, my like, God. you know, to, to a big turn. I forgot that he said that to you. I'm like, well, like in the class, have been right there, enough for him to, <laughs> enough for you oh, to yeah. quit. I know, yeah. and I was like, well, I'll practice on the turn, you know, that was <laughs> the only thing. Yeah, and all right. it was like, yeah, because he's going, you got to look where you're going. I said, I am looking, turn my head, but the bike wasn't going with it. <laughs> and I didn't understand. So that's when I was in the neighborhood. It was in September. And I remember going down the road. Well, it was a turnaround like this. You know how you have, I was on one neighborhood street and it, and it goes around and right. it would go round and round. So, and then back here was the park and it had one of the, you know, bump or whatever, the curves, you know, around the road. Right. Well, anyway, I'm coming up to this. I knew I had to, my head's going, my, I'm facing one way to the left, but my bike is going straight again so i was getting closer and closer to that curve and i went oh no and i knew <laughs> and the wheel hit the curb and i went flying next thing and i remember tossing and through the bushes <laughs> i'm like yeah da, da, da. i knew i just remember all of it and ended up wow. waking up and there i was and my bike was way over there, and I you had that guy, guy's voice in your head going, "I fear for you." I, I <laughs> fear. He said, "Fear." Yeah. Oh, I think he he he's in the hospital. <laughs> no. no, I don't even think they knew. Oh, really? You should have walked in yeah. and told them what happened later. I know. He would have been like, well, hey, "I remember getting, you know, and I was digging my cell phone out of my." pocket and that's before they obviously could track you because right. I, you know, I'm looking going who should I call duh so <laughs> and the the guy that was right on the corner he was you know friends with kind of friends because he was elderly and he'd walk all the time so we'd always talk to him and but he heard the crash 
because he was trimming the bushes in the backyard. Right. So he come over and he says, is there anybody you want me to call? And I'm like, my husband, he was an hour away, of course. So I gave him the number, he called him. But I'm like, I call 911, right? And I'm like, stupid me, I'm falling and I can't get up. And they're like, what? <laughs> Because I, I knew I was really hurt, but I didn't want to. <laughs> <lay around. laughs> I'm laying there. And uh, I was trying to tell them where I was. And pretty soon the ambulance came. And I'm like, blah, 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 blah. And they're probably like, will you shut up? Because <laughs> I'm like, am I okay? Am I alive? Am I all right? They're like, yeah, I, uh, you'll be fine. We got to get you. Your blood pressure is low. And blah. and that's, and then I went to the major hospital here that was like 45 minutes, the trauma hospital. Yeah. <laughs> I remember them going, I hope you don't like this shirt. And I'm like, well, kind of snip, snip, snip. I'm like, no, <laughs> <laughs> don't cut the pants. I'm going to cut the pants. Okay. And uh, <laughs> ended up being the ribs but also the liver was lacerated and, and that's oh, no. right because i went this way and the ribs obviously when they broke they right. hit the liver on that side it must have happened right so i didn't know it i ended up in intensive care for like i don't know four days <laughs> so it healed it healed yeah lucky. And you never rode the bike again, did you? Nope. Nope. It was either my family or the bike. So I had to think yeah. on it for about a week. <laughs> <laughs> I gave it back. But I got refunded for the for most of all the bike, for all the stuff I bought, you know, clothes and all that. I got refunded. We went and got re and the insurance, Geico. Yeah. The insurance was everything was just about refunded. Wow, so I was lucky there too. Yeah. So you didn't wreck the bike then? Just you? Uh, the bike was totaled. Oh really? Oh, okay. But they still, they still, huh. almost, almost. Yeah, I, I have to. I don't remember. Dwayne would probably. Well, no, no, he probably wouldn't know. They probably were like, "Let's do something <laughs> yes. to make sure this woman never gets on a bike again." I know. <laughs> yes, it was Susan. <laughs> yeah, it was a. Uh, um, I loved it as soon as I saw it because it was a what I call a smaller <laughs> Harley. Really was it? But I can't remember. It was a Harley. Yeah. Hmm. A yeah. It was kind of yeah, like a yeah. It was major big, and I remember practicing though with Tammy, who was she's my old neighbor now. She had a bike also, now that I'm thinking of it, and we went in the parking lots and we were, but on the way home on a side road, I stopped, the bike started going. And I'm like, oh man, oh man. And here I'm trying to pull the bike as hard as, couldn't do it. <laughs> so we kind of went like this, and somebody stopped, some guy goes, do you need any help? I'm like, hey, no, thank you, I'm fine. And the bike's on my leg, I'm like, oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> Jamie. Oh, geez, it was horrible. Uh, huh. get oh, you're laughing. <laughs> That's okay. I, what are you going to do? Because, you know. Right. <laughs> Hubster, you want to hear something really funny? When they went to, because I'm paranoid about this, and it's a long story that I've told in the past. I ended up in the hospital for it. But when this accident happened, of course, and then I was getting ready to go. I was so freaked out because I couldn't go to the bathroom. And I'm like, uh, I can't go. I can't. I'm not leaving. The, I can't go. So I, I've never had an enema before ever. <laughs> you think I'm going to use this? And I'm like, I still can't go. I, still, I go, I'm not leaving. And then Darlene was like, you can't, they're not going to keep you in the hospital for constipation. I'm like, I'm not leaving. <laughs> like, oh my God, I'm not going to, because, you know, I was in the hospital for that, for being stupid and, uh, um, you know, about the chocolate and the almond thing. 
So I'm like, uh, uh-uh. but the doctor said, I can't keep you for that. <laughs> I'm like, Do something. I'm not going home until, oh my God, I was freaked out. Not about the accident, but. <laughs> <laughs> It's horrible. Uh, my husband said when they want him, if they get too closest. Yeah, I remember that too, Kimberly. People talking about that with fibrillators and stuff. Yeah. I'm surprised your husband like didn't stop you from getting a motorcycle. I know. Well, he believe me, he yeah, he had his big say, and I'm like, too bad. I'm huh. getting it. I've always wanted one and and I had been on the just probably a smaller version when I was young, when I was going out, not when I was going out, you know, how I met him went through his cousin, my best friend. We'd go on the little motorcycle and not a okay. tiny one, but it wasn't a Harley. And um I'd go on it right around, then she'd go on it and ride around. It was like a dirt road went around. And so right. I think the first time she after I passed it on to her, she broke her collarbone. Then she healed from that. Then the second time I got off and let her have it, she broke her arm. I'm like, oh my God. Wow. I'm a jinx. I'm an experienced dirt bike rider. I used to race dirt bikes. Oh. Um, I had dirt bikes all my life and I would not get a motorcycle. No. Mm. I, I couldn't only because I've watched too many people get killed, not because of, yeah. not necessarily because of what they did, but because of what other cars did. So I stuck to dirt right. bike riding because you go out in the woods, there ain't nobody there. So if you get hurt, it's on you. Mm -hmm. You know, it's because of yeah. your, you know, your own stupidity. But, you know, I was very good at riding bike, you know, dirt bikes. So people were always surprised that I never took up motorcycle riding. And I'm like, no, I never would. Uh, dirt bike riding was what I love to do, and that's it. I like to be in the woods. I like to do that because it was a lot safer to me than you know. Oh yeah, then that's what uh, Darlene, not Noreen, but Darlene, who had the stroke, her son. Um, because I met her again with Noreen like 24 years ago, something like that, and uh, her son um, was 13, and he did all the dirt bikes and racing, mm -hmm. and I remember going with her to get parts and blah 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 but yeah. when he grew up he had the you know motorcycles and he fixed them and stuff and they had right. that first accident that he ended up in the hospital he's what 30 i guess 30 yeah and uh he had all the physical therapy and this and that and that's the one that i saw right. he had 33rd birthday or something and i said chris you look so good you look great he goes yeah i'm, I'm feeling pretty good well then uh, last December, that's when again somebody yeah. pulled in front of him and he hit hit the car and and so the driver and him they were killed instantly and that's when oh, I went. Oh no! The yeah, so that's the last time I talked to her. Yeah, not even I. I don't. I don't know. It's weird because we've never gone without talking. Hmm. I rode, rode a moon in Mexico for exactly 45 seconds before the steering wheel, and I went over the 20 foot cliff oh, oh my God. head on into a tree. Wow. Damn. Oh, oh my God. What happened then? What, I mean, hell no. Be okay if it was a cute young guy, but an old fart, nope. He's. But, <laughs> Oh, Jude, you're funny. <laughs> yeah, what what happened? What kind of injuries did? I did land on my head because obviously I got this nice pink helmet. Or I had a big crack right down the top. I'm glad you had the helmet on, I bet. Oh, I know, right? That's one thing I wasn't oh, at least stupid about is not riding without yeah, a helmet. Yeah, I always wore my helmet when I used to ride. And yeah. I wasn't even riding on the dirt on the road, but I always wore a helmet. Wow. Well, see, nobody was around that. It was a Wednesday and it was in September and it was here. It was so pretty and it was just a little breeze and it was beautiful. It smelled good. I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to go practice because everything was set. I got my license, everything. Everything was done. Right. The motorcycle it was on there. So started going down and bam. Huh. 
but there was nobody around. I think that guy was out there. Well, I still had my phone. I still <laughs> got through to 911, even though they thought it was a joke at first. And <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, I can't get up. I phone, I can't get up. And they're like, what? Where are you? <laughs> well, I'm on. Maybe because of the way you said it, like the dang commercial. Yeah, we would that exactly. That's why I said it. <laughs> so stupid. No, I think I was trying to take away from my fear of yeah because I, the chest my chest was so oh, and i thought no. oh my god i crushed my heart it was just it was all the ribs that i busted yeah and the liver oh. when she passed from a drunk driver oh that's horrible dude see that's terrible mm. Mm. wow Yeah, Ooh, what? She's so man open that popped <laughs> all over my face. That's good. <laughs> Alrighty then. Hmm. Oh, Teddy, what are you destroying mm -hmm. over there? Destroying my life. <laughs> <laughs> It looked like I was beaten by a professor, professional boxer, Mexican doctor, for the resort told me to go take a shower and nap. I got lucky. Broken arm, nose, cheek, tooth, concussion, and cuts. Wow. Mm. But still, oh, my goodness. thats I didn't have bruising. <laughs> I had a little scrape along this arm. And I seriously, my, I think I had a little mark on my face. That was it. Wow, you were it was there. like internal, just internal. <laughs> just oh, died, almost died wow. from a liver laceration, but you know, hey, my face was still intact, right? And all my teeth. I was, I was very lucky. Yeah, yeah, and uh, yeah, very lucky. You can see, we went down to where the motorcycle was after they took it. Because I wanted, I had a keychain with the little, you know, the one I love, Pepe Le Pew, you know, and I still have him. <laughs> He's on a little keychain. And I had him, and then someone had given me one of those keys that supposedly is supposed to keep you safe for, on the road. Well, <laughs> but I wanted those. And well, it probably did as much as it could, Janie. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I, know. I mean, I was going to say, there's only so much to do. <laughs> I know. But that old little thing, the whole bike was smashed, and that little kitty was right there. I took him. I'm like, that's mine. <laughs> that's my <laughs> kitty. <laughs> but I don't think the, I don't think the key was there, or I got rid of it. I think <laughs> I got rid of the bike. I there, take the key too. <laughs> Help me. <laughs> Would you ever even get on the back of a motorcycle again? I did. Oh, did you? Yep, because Tammy, the one I practiced with, her brother helped us, me get the bike. He drove it home and stuff. But I went, um, before we moved, We because they had garage sales. So let's see. I had the, in six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, yeah. Um, it was at a garage sale or whatever. And he said, you want to take a ride in the bike? I said, sure. So we went, uh, and I never was on the freeway, so. I got on the bike oh. and off we went. Yeah. Yeah, it did, Susan. But after that, and then I thought when I was on there, I went, oh, God, I'm not liking this. I think I was holding my breath because he was just, <laughs> we're going like 80. Yeah. And I thought, what am I doing? It was kind of oh. creepy. I thought, <laughs> yeah. Worst thing is we just dropped her son off at school. Oh, wow. Hmm. Hmm. So when was this accident, Jude? Because Jude was in, she, you said you were in there. I was in an accident with my friend. She passed away from a drunk driver. She was driving. Hi. <sighs> Boy, I'm, I'm glad. Oh, she was one of your best. 
worst thing is we just dropped her son off at school. He is very much a part of our life. That's good to go celebrate her dad's 70th birthday. Oh, oh no. wow. Five years ago? Wow. No. Well, I'm glad you were okay, Jude. Yeah. God. How scary can that be? Yikes. Yeah. That's really scary. Needless to say, Tammy doesn't ride her bike after what happened to me. That was it. It was like, okay. okay. Hi, Laura. Hi, Laura. Laura changed her Hi, Laura. Her little, Hi, Laura. Like, changed it. So, <laughs> oh, no, we're done. Well, at least I am. <laughs> Let's see, do I have any bad? No, that's that's about the worst thing. <laughs> that's my stories. Luckily, I've never been in a serious accident. Um, knock on wood. Because mm. I've never had, you know, been in a serious accident of any kind. A couple, that's a couple good. minor fender benders. Wow. Even running down by never. God. No. You needed it. You have it. was a hit and run. Huh? For me, it what was a hit and run. No, you really? Did. Yeah, we had. I had a yeah. hit and run. Yeah, I did get smacked. I did get. Uh, I guess the worst accident I ever was in was it was a hit and run where the older guy rear-ended me and it really messed up my back a little bit. But uh, we, uh, he, this old guy rear-ended me as I was pulling into my house because my house was on like kind of a main road. And I was pulling left into my house. I had the blinker on to, you know, cross over the other lane. And and he just rammed into the back of me and, and then took off. And, uh, you yeah, know, so we ended up taking him to court. And when I took him to court, I said, I don't want, he, he was so afraid we were, him and his family were so afraid I was going to sue him. I said, I don't want your money. I said, that's not why, why I'm here. I said, I'm, I want you to give up your license. He was 88 years old. And this is not the first time he had, you know, done something like this. So I, I, I said to the judge, I said, I don't want to sue him. I said, I just want him to hand over his license. It's time for him to stop driving. And he did, he, he gave, up, gave up his license and that was it. Cause they were so afraid I was going to sue him for money. I said, no, I don't want money. I said, that's not what I'm doing. I'm not here to try to get as much. I said, obviously I'm fine. I'm walked and walked in here. I mean, yeah, my back is messed up, but my back's been messed up. I was more concerned with him driving and hurting somebody else. Yeah. He, I mean, he was like, his family was like getting lawyers and they were like afraid that I was, you know, that I was going to sue. And then when we went to court. I was like, no, I said, I wasn't going to sue you. I just want you to not drive anymore. My boyfriend at the time, he was like, we should things I'm gonna get all kinds of money. I'm like, no, I'm not like that. I don't, I don't need to, I don't need to, to do all these lawsuits. I'm not gonna be one of those people. I never will be one of those people. You know, I'm not gonna do that. If, and, you know, if I was seriously injured, that's different, but I wasn't. So, mm -hmm. <clears throat> I wasn't just gonna sue, sue for the sake of suing them. I know people that would do that. I just, yeah. I don't, I, I couldn't. You know, I couldn't do that. Hmm. Uh, for me, yeah. my car almost got, um, like I almost drove outside of the freeway. Out, like, I mean, I'm talking about a hmm. ramp. Like it flew out the freeway. If it wasn't for me hitting another car, um, the cops said that I would have just basically flown out the freeway. Um, because he hit me like the way that the, the cops do the pit maneuvers. Yeah. Um, so yeah, but he hit me on the gas tank side and, um, so my car started spinning and it would have just spun out the freeway had I not hit another car. Wow. That's what stopped it. And then the, the crazy thing is that the guy stopped. The guy stopped and they saw how I was doing. They parked. So the, the guy hit parked. Um, on the side of the road, I ended up parking right behind him. Um, it was an older man with his son. I ended up just like barely doing damage on his bumper. And I parked right behind him. And then the two guys, um, that the younger guys, they 
parked behind me. They came up and they checked me out and they were like, oh, it's not that bad. And I was just hyperventilating. And and then they went back in the car. And so when the cops arrived, they were like, um, you know, trying to have me explain. They're like, what are you talking about? What other car? And, I, and when I turned around to point, um, I was like, that car. And I was like, where did it go? And I don't know. They just, they fleed the scene. Wow. And um, yeah, so the the older man and his son were able to confirm that I wasn't crazy, you know, that you okay, know the, the other guys just left. And the bad part about it was that they didn't have license plates on their on their oh, car. Good. Yeah. So yeah. Did the cops catch them at all? No, I mean oh. it was yeah. I mean my car got fixed, but yeah, I was just like, wow, that's. That's the worst. I think that's the reason why I have like this pain that I get on the left side of my shoulder. Like it starts from the back, like the neck, the back of my neck, mm -hmm. but on the left side, all the way down mm. to like the wing area, like the shoulder. Air, um, what do you call it? Like my mid back shoulder almost. Oh. Yeah, like shoulder blade in the like, back. I mean. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Hmm. And. I don't know. It's been like that since since that happened. So I guess I have to deal with it for the rest of my life. Uh, the reason why the guy that hit me did not get away with it is because my boyfriend at the time, because the whole point was like, my well, my boyfriend got out of the car because I was driving and he was in the passenger seat. And he got out of the car and he went to like go kick this guy's ass because he thought it was just some asshole. When he realized it was an old man, he kind of like felt bad and he like stopped. And he said, okay, well, you know, and he directed the old man to pull over because we were in like on this major road. So there was a little like um, right next to where I live, there was like a, a parking lot for like this little convenience store stuff. So yeah, yeah. he was, he, you know, he directed him and said, we're, you know, we're going to pull over into this parking lot and, you know, exchange information or whatever insurance information. And the guy was like, okay. So I pull over and the guy like starts to pull in and takes off. And we're like, and his now his keep in mind his radiator is all messed up. The front of his car is like a mess. Mine, the bumper was just a little bit bent. But I mean, he did hit me pretty hard. But he was in a much smaller car. I was in a Chevy Malibu, which back then it was a 1981 or 82 Chevy Malibu, and those things were made of like solid steel. <laughs> so he didn't hurt oh, my car as yeah. bad. But he took off, and at the time, my boyfriend was, you know, like wanting to get in my car and chase after him and you know and i was like no 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 you know like don't let's just i said because his car's messed up he ain't gonna get very far and he's like yeah you're right so we were sitting there we could you know the cops came and and we explained to him that the guy took off and so one of the other there were two cops that had come one of the cops took off down the street and ended up finding the guy down there he was stuck on the side of the road because he <laughs> his car wasn't yeah. you know working and we were we knew that was gonna happen because you know the radiator was completely like you know, letting off steam, so he wasn't going to get far, and we knew that. So we were just hoping to get there in time before he was able to, you know, either take off on foot or get a ride somewhere or whatever. Yeah. So luckily, luckily, they found him, and you know, whatever. I don't oh. know exactly what happened at that point, other than the fact that I don't remember. You know, I don't think they arrested him at that point. I'm not sure what how that worked out, but. I don't remember because it was a long time ago, but I do remember we went to court and I remember that they were so afraid that I was going to sue them for all this money and everything. Uh, they didn't have insurance. And so they were, they were afraid they were going to lose their house and that they, you know, this, that, and the other because of it. And so they were all paranoid. And they, when I, when I told them yeah. my intentions in court, they were, the family was crying and he was crying. Thank you. Thank you. You know, we'll make sure he doesn't drive. And, and the court took oh, his license and said he wasn't allowed to drive anymore. And that's all I wanted I just wanted him to yeah. not be able to drive and do that to somebody else because this wasn't the first time he had done it. So no, yeah, it wasn't the that's, first hit and run for him. That's what our last car was, Stacy. I just remembered oh, when, really? you know, oh, one that, uh huh, that Dwayne totaled. <laughs> yeah, what was last at? Yeah, it was the Chevy Malibu because I said huh. last night Chevy, but I couldn't think of the Malibu part. Yeah, but uh, yeah. Hi, Dana. <laughs> that's Chloe does the same thing. We're like, Dana. hey, Hi, Dana. <laughs> she was the first car I ever owned, I believe. No, well, no, the Datsun was no, was just, no, that was the third car I ever owned. I think was the Malibu. Yeah, not the oh, first. Okay, the third. Because I had the first car was that stupid Datsun that my dad bought me, and the second car was oh. a Torino, a, a Ford Torino. 
A oh, 73 wow. Ford Ranger. I love that car. I love oh. that car so much. Um, and wow. then the third car was the Malibu. And the fourth car was, uh, I think, what did I order for that? I don't know. I don't remember. Hmm. I think it was a pickup truck. But, and well, I know that, I think the fifth car was the one that I bought, I got when me and Chris were together. And I, that was the first, like, it was a used car, but it was only a couple years old. And that was the first Pathfinder I ever had. And oh. that was the first time I had like a fancy car. Like to me, it was fancy. You know what I mean? Like mm -hmm. it was a, a used car, but it was, you know, we financed it and it was like fancy, you know, to me, it was like, right. fancy. <laughs> so I was all excited. And, you know, and then I had that for a long time. And then, and, and of course, then Chris screwed that car up and then I got the other, well, yeah, I got the other Pathfinder, but wow. actually I had both Pathfinders at the same time. That's right. I had bought the uh, the newer one. I wanted to keep the older one. I wanted to make sure I had it because it still ran fine. But I wanted the newer one because my business was expanding and, and, and I was traveling, you know, more and more and more. And I wanted to make sure I had a really good car. So, you know, and, and of course, the other Malibu I had, even though it was working fine, it was an older car. You know, it had a couple, it had like 200,000 miles on it, even though it was fine. But I just didn't trust it to go as far distances every day. That I would yeah. go. So that's why I ended up getting the the other Pathfinder, the newer one. And then, Davis, oh my God, Chris used it because his car, you know, whatever happened to his car, I don't know. Something happened to his car; it wasn't working. He needed a car, so I let him mm -hmm. use my old Pathfinder, and and then he screwed it up, and the house fell forward. Wow! Yes, oh, because I really wanted to hold on oh, to that. Yeah. I would be too, <laughs> for sure. Wow. He's the reason I lost both my pathfinders, actually. <laughs> oh God! Jeez, Dana, she oh she had a Datsun uh, B two ten hatchback. Yes, mine was a, I think a B two ten. Yep, mine was I think a B two ten. Yep. Yeah, I know it was a B2 wow. something. Yeah, a hatchback. Yep. It was probably the same one. What a piece of shit. My God. <laughs> <laughs> My dad bought it for like $125 and it already had like oh, a crack wow. engine block and he didn't know it. And he gives it to me and the damn thing would run for like 10 minutes, 15 minutes. And then you'd have to sit on the side of the road and let it cool completely down before you can ride it again for another 10 minutes. Hmm. Wow. Wow. The in the world is so stupid. That was <laughs> ugly can. It was the ugliest ass car I've ever seen in my life. Oh my horrible. god! <laughs> it was a horrible, horrible vehicle. Oh man! I feel for you, Dana. Hmm. It's the exact same thing. I didn't remember what it was, but as soon as you said it, I'm like, oh, that's it. <laughs> that was Jeez. it. Yeah. <laughs> Well, that's too. Nina. Hi, Nina. Hi, Nina. That's hey, terrible. Nina. Yeah. Nina. <laughs> what are you doing, Nina? I haven't seen you forever. How have you been? Tell us good, please. <laughs> Miss Stacy is our Iron Woman, right? <laughs> he says it as is. Oh, how else would you say it? Mm -hmm. I'm not sure because it was a piece of shit. <laughs> it could have been worse. It could have been a what was it? A Fiat? The ones that that, that if you got if you got rear-ended or something, the, the car would self combust. Right. The plane, remember that? Yep. <laughs> um, yes, I went to the prom one time with this stupid kid from school. <laughs> I call him a kid. And he had that one. He had the, it was a gremlin. Oh. And those were fish bowls too. It was awful. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. Oh, look how I cut that. I meant to cut it in a, <laughs> like this, you know, like a uh -oh. point. I ended up. Oh, uh -huh. you ended up cutting it like this. Uh, what do you call it? A yeah, flag looking. Yeah, flag. like the little um, ribbon things. I don't know what you call them. <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh my gosh. Just one. woke up. Oh, okay. Night been been working. 
Dana said hers was blue when you oh, really? mash the gas too hard, it would go wah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, they were just the most horrible colors. Awful. Okay, Jude. Oh my goodness. They were ugly and they were like just the biggest piece of junk that was on the road, I think, at the time. <laughs> Had no get up and go whatsoever. Oh god. It's get up and go, just got up and went. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> <laughs> see. Zoom, zoom, zoom. Yeah, it had none of that. Zoomies? No zoomies. No zoomies. <laughs> no zoomies. <laughs> it's like the slowest car on the planet. Zero to sixty in five hundred minutes. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> I only had it for about a month before it completely died. Jeez. That's terrible. <laughs> but you know, that was that was a lovely gift from my father that, you know, was supposed to help me out. I'm like, do you think? All it did was help me out by having people bitch that the car was then not working and parked in their in their parking lot. Oh. Yeah. And then yeah. my saving grace to friends of ours that we had helped uh, when they were down on their luck, I had helped them out. And uh, so they turned the paper one day and just handed me the keys of their car and said, you, you know, here, I'm giving you my car. You, know, you did so much oh, for wow. us. Oh, 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 oh yeah. Wow. So was, they were friends of ours and, and, and they stayed with me at the time, me and my boyfriend, who we, I had that Datsun with the same guy that I got into that, that rear ending car accident. Well, you know, I had this little mm -hmm. tiny efficiency apartment and it was like this little tiny shithole. That I lived in, and um, I, we had met these guys that were really good guys, and you know they were down on their luck and having some issues. So we didn't really have a pocket to in. So, but we let them stay with us for a little while. They needed a place to stay, so they stayed with us for about three weeks or so, a month maybe it was. Mm -hmm. uh, and then they went on, you know, they went and lived their life and did their thing. But you know, they were just so, you know so sweet you know this really nice and they you know bent over backwards mm -hmm. while they were there and i thought i'd never hear from them again and one day we were living we weren't even living in the same place we were living in a different place we were renting a, a different place and i'm i didn't have a car at the time we had a car you know at the time we were living there but you know we didn't have a car or i didn't have a car and i was um uh walking home from something i don't remember i don't know but i was walking and um this car pulls up alongside of me and i was like oh crap i'm like what now you know like i was thinking i was gonna get robbed or something mm -hmm. and i hear this guy and he was like hey stacy and i was like somebody knows my name and i turned around and i'm like i couldn't believe who i was seeing i was like oh my god and it was the they were in this ford torino this big old red ford torino it was a really cool looking car and um you know, they picked me up and took me to lunch and they were talking to me and they were like, what's been going on? You know, and I was like, oh, you know, blah, blah, this, that, and the other. And we were talking, you know, about whatever. This was like a couple of years later. And, mm -hmm. uh, you know, he was like, how come you're walking? I'm like, oh, I don't have a car right now, blah, blah. And so I guess, you know, he talked to his brother because they were brothers and and, and in some way they just decided they were going to give me their car, their car because, you know, and by the end of the lunch, he handed me the car keys and said, it's yours. And I'm like, what's mine? And he's like, the car. And he's like, just drop us off at where we're staying and you take the car. And I'm like, what are you talking about? I don't want your car. And he's like, he's like, no, you know, he's like, you did so much for us and blah, blah, blah. You know, take the car, take the car. And he refused to like let me say no. And, you know, <laughs> the car. he said, we're getting another car anyway. So it's fine. And blah, That's blah, blah. cool. And that yeah, is they're, super they're, cool. They're, yeah, they're really nice. Yeah. I had that car for several years. I wow. love that car. That's, yeah. One of the nicest things anybody ever did for me was, you know. That's great. 
things. I bet you were like, what? Yeah, I was shocked. I was like, yeah, you're joking. Like, Jeez. when is April again? Because I think this is April Fool's. Uh, yeah, right? <laughs> I knew they were serious because, I mean, they weren't, you know, I knew they were serious, but I just was like in disbelief of this situation because knowing that we were so desperate for a car at the time, yeah, you know, and, you know, he kept asking me why, you know, he was like, you don't have a car? He's like, how are you getting around? And then he's asking me all these questions. I'm like, why is he asking me so many questions? And I, I might have went to the bathroom because, he, you know, he insisted on taking me to lunch and this, that, and the other. And I might have went and ran to the bathroom. And maybe that's when he talked to his brother and was like, let's just give her the car or whatever or something. I don't know. Because they made the decision before we left the place we were at, you know, and I was just shocked. Wow. I don't, you know, because I didn't think that was their intentions when they pulled up. You know, they just happened to see me. I mean, I, I know they were looking for me because they, they did say that we went to find you. We were. Uh, like because they were they were back and they had gone to california or something and then they came back to new jersey and they were looking for me or jay my boyfriend at the time and um, they went back to where we used to live and somebody said that we lived in you know barnegat or something and i guess somebody told them and and that's when they were driving around kind of just trying to figure out where we were at and he saw me walking outside the road wow mm -hmm. that's yeah, yeah. They're really nice. That's cool. I never, I yeah. don't remember their last name, and unfortunately, I wish I did because I, you know. Don't you hate that when you go back? I know, it aggravates me. Ah, you're mm -hmm. like, I just, it, it was so know. long ago. I just don't remember. I know. I think their names were Mike and Dave, I believe, but I'm not 100 mm -hmm. positive on that either. That's it's so long ago. But my ex boyfriend, he was on my Facebook for a while, but then he had a girlfriend that was like really jealous, and I guess he told her that I was an ex, and she made him take her off, take me off the Facebook. <laughs> I was like, oh well. Aww. But I could, you know, I'd like, I would like to be able to ask him because he would know what their name. He would remember, I'm sure, more than I would. Yeah. Hmm. But yeah. I don't remember their last name either. So, wow, well, that ain't gonna do no good. Mm -mm. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately not. Because I think they went back to California, as far as I know. I'll find them for you. There you go. Find them, Myra. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they'll find them. They were really nice. I just hope they everything turned out well for them. Whatever they're doing. Yeah. They were genuine people. Hmm. You don't meet a lot of genuine people. Like that. No, I'm just going to say that. <laughs> yep. That's true. Not when you're, you know, they were quite young. And we were young. And you know what I mean? Like, usually, you know, I don't know. Yeah. Well, yeah. Mm -hmm. Usually when you're older and you meet people like that, but they were yeah, like that as young guys, you know. Well, that tells right. you they were raised, right? Yeah. Oh, for sure. Yeah. <laughs> what do you guys think about crocs? You called this, your your Dotson the sewing machine? Is that? <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> About what it was good for, if that. <laughs> what do we think of what now? Crocs. Crocs, the shoe? Mm -hmm. I don't really think about them. <laughs> I don't either. <laughs> Some people say they're great, my though. Like my niece likes them. I thought they were the ugliest. Well, I still think they're very ugly shoes, but. They are ugly. I somehow own three <laughs> pairs. No. <laughs> Do, you? Do you really? <laughs> yeah. Well, there was a lady in a group, and she, in one of the groups I'm in, who was selling the Croc charms, and and I I told my niece about it, and then she's like, "Oh, can you find out who it was?" And I could I could not find her for the life of me. I was going to find her so that you know oh. my niece wanted Croc charms for her Crocs, and I can't find her. I'm like, oh well, I guess she doesn't. I guess. <laughs> I just, hmm. I don't know, I'm in so many groups that sometimes things pop up and sometimes they don't. And I just remember seeing croc charms and I was like, oh, okay. And, yeah. were, and then I realized after that, I seen a post from my niece saying she got a new pair of crocs and she wanted charms. And I thought, oh, wow. I wish I would have remembered who that, what group it was. I saw that lady's post. 
Yeah. Oh. Yeah, they're so comfortable. Well, I got ripped off. Why? Why? Because I got these. Y'all, y'all remember my my Gemini pointer? No. Yeah. yeah. This thing. Yeah. Uh -huh. Well, I got, I found this three pack on Amazon and I just cranked it on my little machine and it's like not even doing anything. It's not cutting. Oh, really? Yeah. It's so annoying. What the hell? You put something under it? Oh, like an extra. See? Yeah, maybe it needs a shim. Yeah. Yeah, I know. I, it does need a shim, but this one doesn't need a shim. Is it the same thickness or is that one? I mean, I'm gonna weird. I'm gonna put the same die in the old folder and then we'll see what happens. Hi, Chloe. Just a minute. Can you wait a minute? Just oh, maybe minute. something's wrong with the dies. Oh, yeah, maybe they, maybe. yeah, I think. I think Maybe. it's the dye, y'all. Because I got them pretty cheap on Amazon. Yeah, it's the dyes. Aww. Let me send it back. I know. What can I do? How can I fix this? Well, I'll put a shim, like y'all said. Like you guys said. A shim. Shimmy, shim, shim. Shimmy, shim, shim, shimmy. Uh-oh. Where did it go? Where did it go? I found it. Where did it go? Oh, crap. I need to go to the bathroom. Right back. Okay. Don't go. Don't go. Don't go. <laughs> oh, no. Wrong side. Just hold it. Hold it. You don't have to go. <laughs> Why a tick? The heck? <laughs> a small mark. A parasite. Oh my gosh. Oh no. I'm doing with what? uh this this super old dictionary, you know. I'm just kind of wrapping this bead and I'm reading yeah. it because I was gonna put this tolerance, but I'm reading it. It says marked by a tick. Something about a parasite. Okay, that's good. Oh, what the heck? <laughs> that's weird. <laughs> Let's yeah, put we this one right over here. We don't want no limes no anywhere. No, no lime. Yeah. No lime. No lime. <laughs> no lime. Put this there and that's the rest of the dumb. Put the rest of the definition there. Hey. Yeah. I really like that the the idea with um what you did with the uh Oh the, the muslin? The mus yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that was from a long, long time ago that I did that. But um, why did I do that? I have no idea why. But because <laughs> it was a great it. idea. It was a great idea, and I stamped them all out. You did that. Oh. Hmm. Watching you reminded me that before my son's death, I wanted to do quilling. I don't remember what I bought. Went to look. Besides tools, I've got a box that 18 by 24 at seven inches deep, full of quilling paper. Oh, really? Oh, nice. Seven inches. Oh, yeah, I read it at seven. <laughs> seven inches, not seven feet. Whoa, look at that big box. Oh, that's cool. I didn't even know that these were like a, because I've got the set of, um, you know, the bead thingies, but and somebody said, Oh, kind of it's like a because I've never done quilling or anything like that. This is my little mason jar, but it sounds cool. Cool, cool. cool. you're gonna try, you're gonna. That'd be interesting to see because I've Oops. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. 
You have to put it, uh, you know, if you do want, or whatever it is. I'm not sure what it's put in the group. I don't even know what to call it because I've never seen it. Oh, hey. hmm. these edges. I don't like them. Some paper won't burn. I don't know what the deal is. Some burn and some don't. Let it burn. Okay, yeah. That's cool. Yeah, because it's busy, I'm sure you with the fair and <gasps> my tolerance <laughs> that stayed on there, but it was it was really long, so I had to rip it and put part of it. State of being tolerating. Look at the tick is still <laughs> that was just a paper I covered it with. Uh, and then uh oh. And then quality tolerant act. Oh. <laughs> That's the rest of the but here look, a parasite <laughs> that ticks tick. Oh my god. <laughs> oh well. <laughs> Just a bead. After it gets all, you know, UV resin. <laughs> <laughs> it won't probably be able to see it. I know this is such old paper that because I was going to also do like little tags and like put this on maybe cardboard and then punch it and get a rivet to, because I got the oh, got so many rivets in there and then do a little like for embellishments and stuff. Thanks. Thank you. So I got <laughs> plus different. What's this? Uh, is this a different language? Oh, no. Unbeliever. Unbend. Here's a bunch of words. <laughs> At least make sure I. Huh. And then bigger ones. Deceive. Ooh. Oh. Something to use up the paper, you know, too. That one too bare. Oh, here, tolerate. You know, you have a bunch of corn papers and stuff. Uh huh. I just, I just read that. Holy moly! I have a little bit of quilling paper. Oh, yeah, like a tiny bit, like a little, a couple little things of it. Why do I burn the ends? I don't know. Because I saw <laughs> I saw them burn. Well, they don't spray, I guess. Right? Or what? What are you talking about? Burn the ends oh, a lot. Just, uh, oh, the, the paper, paper on the beach. Oh. Just for look. Yeah, because um, when I did, let me see if I, because I, oh, I did put a cover on some of the cover. Uh, some of the one, like this one. Okay, this one's all resined and stuff. See? And, uh, I had burnt the ends and then put, I just kind of like that, that if you can get it on there and not have this all fall apart before you do it. So yeah, just a, a look, you know, it's kind of neat. There's one there and mm -hmm. I burn this one. Some just face will not burn. These are tiny. I didn't realize how oh my goodness. Leave. Oh, love. <laughs> love always and leave always. Leave always. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Look how small that is. That's oh, little dreams. That's dream. This one, love always. Cute. Nice little. <laughs> burnt the ends of those. Some of them are burnt. Some like these aren't. I'm gonna hang around. Let me get a finish. Jeez, that one's solid. The heck. I don't know what glue I used on this one, but <laughs> it's solid. Okay, Chloe, I'm coming. Oh, <laughs> time to let her out. Yeah. Somebody watch my candle. I'll take it with me because I don't want to blow it out. I was gonna say I'll watch the candle, but I know what are you gonna do. You have to call me. 
Well, I don't have my phone. I'm sure it's not gonna. Be, it'll be fine. <laughs> yeah. At least I do it all the time. I mean, I'm I'm in the house. I just walk. You know, I'm not always in the room. Yeah, it's fine. I'll just move my paper there. <laughs> there we go. That's my. Well, we'll call the fire item. department if something happens. Don't worry. Oh. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that's my candle that I made. Um, you know. Oh yeah. Well, then you better blow it out. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I know, right? You're probably gonna. You're lucky. You better blow it out. <laughs> <laughs> it smells pretty. I need a good candle. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay. Mm -hmm. oh, right. Did I use up all my paper? Kind of, except for this piece left and. I think I like to use up a few of the scrap pieces. This piece is not going to fit on there. So how are you doing are with the doing packing? packing? With the what? What? The packing. Oh, well, you know, I'm done packing for now. I mean, uh, any packing I do after this will be to pack and actually move. Oh, you know, okay. When we're ready to do that part. Yeah, because I, you know, I've packed more than 50% of the house, so like probably 70% at least is packed of, of the house. So, yeah, I'm not, you know, don't need to do really anything else at this moment except for just wait and see if the house sells. And he said he's going to push to have the, you know, he's going to push to have it so that, um, the uh the closing will be you know closer to june 30th as possible so that then wow. you can maybe, maybe get it so that i'm you know i have a few extra days in july so that i'm not like having to you know so that in other words so that my house so the house in uh, illinois can close and you know what i mean so it all works out timing wise and i'm not like stuck in limbo or rushing around or having weird things yeah. go on so he's trying to he's going to try to work it so that it's so it works out in that way i'm like oh that's good that's, that's good. good yeah this piece right there yeah this piece is that diffuse paper i wonder how that'll do making a bead I missed crafting. I haven't been crafting lately. Well, because I've been working and then after work, I go to my nail shop. Yeah. Especially now that I have that little, you know, the, that yeah. spot. Right. Um, so it allows me to um, just have a place to practice you know, more comfortable and stuff like that. But at the same time, um, I got a craft because I have a whole display thing that I was telling you about. Right. Well, not just one, you know, so I have to make things and then Father's Day is coming. So I have a couple things in mind that I'm going to be making. Nice. With the cricket, actually. So that'll be interesting. Yeah. Um, I'm going to make some new stuff. Have you been and, selling a lot of stuff? Well, yeah. Well, mainly like birthday cards, um, huh? wedding cards that are because I guess wedding season, you know, is coming up. Right. And then uh, orders. Oh, and I got a new order for this um, candle looking thing. And I've never made it, but it looks pretty simple. Like I'm not intimidated by it. So I'm going to make that. So, I mean, I have a couple projects that I need That's to do. Good. And nice. then I did nails. I've been doing nails. The last set of nails, well, the ones I did yesterday were actually like, was like, Myra, you need to take pictures of your stuff. Um, yeah. I did. I used sugar. I This thing called sugar, which I'd never used before. Uh -huh. And um, I did these. Oh, pretty. Yeah. Oh, that's really pretty. You'll have to send me the picture so I can see it better. See more detail. Oh, yeah, for sure. And then what else? What else is going on in my life? 
Oh, these are my my lady's hands. She's 95 years old. I did a manicure. This is just a manicure. Oh, nice. Yeah. Nice. And then I'm the lady that you're working for. This is Jackie's hands. I'm like, Jackie, put your hands. No, I don't want to. <laughs> <laughs> Brat. I'm gonna put your uh -huh. oompa -oompa hands up here, damn it. And she was like, she calls herself an oompa loompa. I'm like, oh, and then God. I told her. <laughs> and then she was like, okay, fine. <laughs> Yeah, so oh and then I got this thing. Um I did I uh, this is a while ago, but this is an order I, I got. I have to make three of these shadow boxes. Oh nice. The, yeah. She's the um in the Catholic religion. Right. She's yeah. So, I mean, I got stuff going on. Look, this was made with the Cricut. Ooh, pretty. Yeah, you can't That's really, really see, but it's, it's all, like, supposed to be hibiscus. I mean, um, not hibiscus, what the hell? Succulents. Oh, nice. Yeah, but, I mean, I have stuff here and there. Yeah. I'm all over the place right now, but I'm busy. As long as you're busy and you're having fun, then that's all that matters. Yes. Staying busy is the best thing to do, right? Oh, and then I went to um, did you see the Adele um uh with Oprah? What was that called? Oh, that concert that was a while ago? Yeah, the concert. Yeah. So my friend he lives like his um his uh what do you call it place he has a balcony and it looks out to like if you look to the left the hollywood sign is there and if you look oh, the really? door, yeah um you can see the uh you can see the the place where adele was singing oh cool oh, my God, that is so cool hmm was he able to hear the concert when it happened yeah, he was able to hear it. Uh, cool. I have to jot this down really quick. Um, this is this is what we got to do in uh, tomorrow. We have to go to Noreen wrote all this stuff down to get at her place, but right. it's so hard to read, and I just have to jot it down on a piece of paper so I can mark it. Yeah. I got Fritos. If you hear me munching, tell me mm. if I munch too loud. Fritos. You got Fritos. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Fritos. Fritos. <laughs> I wish I could munch some Fritos. Oh, I mean, too. They're horrible. They're horrible. You wouldn't like them. <gasps> too bad I've already had them and I know they're not horrible. <laughs> oh, darn. Nice try, Janie. Nice try. Oh. <laughs> nice try. Oh, I know. <laughs> okay. Yeah, Noreen was sitting up in her wheelchair and it was sad because she's, you know, at one point she said, I told, you know, she said, I, I told my family I was going to give it three months. And hi, Diana. She started crying, hi, but Diana. then she just tried to get her to talk and, and not, you know. And she was, if it, it doesn't work after three months, I'm stuck. <laughs> I'm like, oh, <laughs> crunch, crunch, crunch. Yeah, Kim. I know, right? She, her hands. She, she's such a lovely lady. She's, she's, doesn't even act like she's ninety-five. She's just amazing. She doesn't look ninety-five, to be honest. She does a lot for ninety-five. And we were talking about the Tiffany lamp. 
she goes, I want my Tiffany lamp. And then she went ahead and I said, how <laughs> funny. Be there three I months. Why does she need that there? I know it's, it's actually, you know, I told her I couldn't find because now it, I said the Tiffany lamp I was thinking had a nice, you know, stained glass thing on it. And all, but this is right. like from the 1950s. It's, she goes, I know back then we called it Tiffany lamp and it's tall and it's metal. The whole thing's metal and it just, something huh. for her side table, you know. Right. Um, if you drop it, it won't. But. Is that a bruise? Is that orange ink on your arm, Stacy, or a bruise? Where? It's a band aid, isn't it? What that? That's a band aid. Yeah, oh, that's a bruise. I bruise myself moving stuff. I know I have bruises all over my arms from moving stuff. Oh, that was a mess. <laughs> One's a band aid. Uh, I can't see where I marked that. Dang it. Hello? Hmm. Is that small? Hello? <laughs> oh, remember that gold? Um, liquid gold that we were talking about? I finally got it. Oh, you, you did? did? The paint? Yeah, that paint. Nice. It's, it's gorgeous. Nice. Isn't that nice? Well, you she better paint now. Thank you. She, uh, they, you know, said it was just a, like a bad muscle spasm and they gave her straw, like a stronger uh, Valium before she left the hospital. And then, I mean, she was out <laughs> for the night and then uh, prescription for more, I guess. I, I don't know, but, you know, very light amount. But it still looked a little, I don't know, weird. But oh, I guess it's better. I'm going, going down the river. Jesus. She needs to go see a doctor for the PMJ, you know, her dentist. So that I she know. can get proper treatment for that. And the dentist. I have it. I have her too, really bad. And uh, I want to get it treated as soon as I have insurance again. What do you have to do? I don't even remember what. You know, dentists, they have like different things. They have mouth guards. They have different things they can do. And I guess to mm. treat it, it, you know, last resort they do. I guess there is a surgery they can do to help it. Oh, really? Mm. Yeah. But usually it has to be like really, know, bad. really bad. Yeah. Now, I asked her about all this stuff before. The last time I was there, and I was going to write a list, but she said no, that her cousin had taken care of it. But but now her, <laughs> cousin, you know, her cousin isn't there, but um, I, I don't know. No. She's not, you know, thinking that great. Yeah. She'll probably assumed her cousin was going to do it before she left and yeah. get that far, I guess. Yeah. Hi, Wendy. <laughs> yeah, Hi, Wendy. I'm eating Fritos. <laughs> Fritos. You have TMJ too, Nina? Oh. Yes. <laughs> hmm. Not a fun time, that's for sure. I really like this. This is that, <laughs> that fusion paper, you know, that I have. Oh, yeah. Oh, those turned out good. Yeah. Mm. They have some stuff like that. that sparkly, but they came out really pretty. I like the way That's the paper nice. looks. Yeah. Wow. You're going to get some tips? Well, let me go get some chips and put yeah. some hot sauce on them. Give me all about the tips. <laughs> I know, uh, Dana. They gave me, made a free one. So probably my third one the last time because I spent so much money on crowns and stuff there. I bit through the it, the round, you know, where it goes on your front teeth. <laughs> it's kind of cracked. And I'm just going to wait till I go and get my teeth cleaned in June to see. But yeah, 450 bucks. 
my stereo crunching going on. My son's eating chips or something in the other room. James might be in the other ear. Oh no. <laughs> Hi, Aaron. I've seen Aaron. Long time. Hi, Aaron. Hello, Aaron. Mm -hmm. Hello, Aaron. Mm -hmm. Hi, Judy. Oh, wait. That's Aaron. Judy is Aaron. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know. I remember it. I was like, wait a minute. Oh, I, remember I, was, that name. I didn't remember if you would, were here. Yeah. Hi, sister. Hmm. The glitter is coming off a little bit on my hands, so my hands are all glittery. Hmm. Hmm. Plastic oh hangers. Oh, 12. Okay, 12. I hear you, Myra. Huh? <laughs> I hear you munching. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not the only one. Please explain uh, what Doritos are. You don't have them? What? Oh, oh I am. They're, they're probably they are super crunchy. They're good. They're a corn chip, basically. They're they're a corn chip, but they're really good. I like the best corn chip. They're crunchy and they're yummy, but I can't eat them. And they used to be my favorite chip in the world, Frito. They kind of melt up. You suck on them for a while. <laughs> <That's not good. laughs> well, I'll get them and suck on them then. <laughs> not so good though. See, like it's funny I took them out. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, corn chips. <laughs> there goes Nina. She's singing again. <laughs> yeah, a Frito Lay. You can find them on Facebook. <laughs> what? Facebook. Frito Lay. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'll have to yeah. find a, a snack pack and put them in a package for you when I finally am able to send you your stuff, Diana. And find like oh, a snack really? package and put it in her thing, the Fritos. That would be cool. Because I, once I sell the house, I'll finally be able to. There's a few people that I have like some giveaway stuff for overseas that I'm, um, you know, that I couldn't afford to really send until I had the money to do it. So once the house yeah. is ready, I'll be able to finally, hopefully, they'll make it so that it's not so expensive that. They're doing only first class right now over to I know Australia. I don't know about New Zealand, but oh, so hopefully it'll be a little cheaper, and I can send her her stuff, and then I can also send um, I can send a little snack bag of Fritos. Wow. So if you send something first class, it was say a half a pound or something. There, it would be way expensive. I'd wait. Yeah. That's why really? I'm waiting on it. Yeah, so it because uh, the first class stuff is much more expensive than sending it like regular post or whatever it's called. I don't know what I remember what it's called, but um, oh. so that's why you know I was like, well, you know, yeah, I have to wait a little bit longer until they fix whatever they're doing, which I don't know. I'll have to keep checking on when that is, I guess, or somebody will let me know maybe. Hmm. But mm -hmm. it's aggravating that they did that. It doesn't make any sense. I thought it had something to do with COVID, but I'm thinking maybe it doesn't. I don't know. Because why would they allow first class but not the other? Like, it doesn't make sense. Right. right. Yeah. So I think, I don't know what it has to do with, but it has to do with something. Wow. Because usually to send to Australia actually wasn't as terrible as it was, let's say, to send to the UK. The UK was actually more expensive to send to ship to than Australia, believe it or not. So... Yeah, it was odd because I'd be able to ship to Australia for cheaper, Australia, New Zealand, cheaper than when I would ship to the UK. And then all of a sudden, now they only allow you to do it first class, and you're like, okay. Jeez, that's, yeah, that's crazy. And it's not like our first class versus Grant. It's not like only a small difference. It's a huge difference. Mm. That's not good. 
I'll have to, I'll have to, um, if you see a message, I'm going to write you a message, Diana, and just pay no attention to it. I'm just going to write it so that I can remember to send you the Fritos because otherwise I'll forget. I'm going to write, I'm going to send you Fritos and I'm going to write that so that when I go back at, on our message, because usually when I go to send somebody something, I'll go back on our message, make sure I'm not like missing something or whatever. I'll just yeah. double check. And, and so this way I'll remember because I'll get like a snack bag of it. Yeah, and I have to do that because I will forget. Because my brain is just really bad. Mm. No matter how much I try for it to not be bad, it just gets worse and worse and worse. Well, you have a lot of stuff to think of all the time. Mm. I'll do that. I put that. I send her a message. I'm gonna send you a small bag of Fritos. This way, when I go to look back, I'll remember. Good idea. Hmm. I have a lot of stuff to get shipped out. Hmm. This added added thing for your mind. <laughs> That's what I mean. Yeah. It's like uh, I like the way the round bead came out on this one. The colors are cool, the purples and the greens. Oh, that's around the edges too. Hmm. Now my camera. No focus, but... oh. I don't think it likes your bead. <laughs> Not even. Oh my. She's trying to focus for one thing. Oh, almost. Oh, there it goes. Ooh. Ah, uh, it went for a minute. <laughs> yes, a couple seconds. A second. There we go. Oh, that's pretty. Oh, my, my. Love that. Sparkle. Oh. Stay in the hell. Oh. Stay in the hell. <laughs> well, pay no attention to the message. It will self-destruct in 10 seconds. Mm -hmm. <laughs> my brain. $2 tree. Oh, I don't remember what just happened. Mm. Yes. Bizarre, but true. Aaron got locked in the dollar store. What a place to be locked in, though. Oh, boy, did you have fun? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. I would have had a blast. <laughs> mm -hmm. What happened? How'd you get? How'd you get locked in the dollar store? Mm. Did you go shopping? I would have been shopping and been yeah. like, "Hey, lock me in there, whatever." <laughs> hmm. Oh, it keeps cramping up. Well, it's because my arthritis in my hand is a little bit bad today. Yeah. So my hands like these weird things, especially when I'm trying to twist that thing. I could tell that I missed. I missed oh. my bead roller. I can tell I missed yeah. my bead roller. That's right. I'll <laughs> I will live and I will be fine, oh. but I will miss. I do miss it. That's for sure. Yeah. I miss it for now, sure. did you did you mark your boxes like craft room, kitchen? Oh yeah, I marked them. I put an inventory of basically what was in it. You know, the main stuff that was inside of the box, and marked every one of them: craft room, this room, that room. So yeah, so they were all definitely. I definitely made sure everything was marked, and I put what I would do is put. You know, since there was lots of things written on the box, like I put a little inventory list, and I so whatever the room it was going to, I would put, you know, let's say craft room, and I'd circle it so that anybody that is taking the boxes in, they would know where, you know, just look oh. for the circle word, you know, that's where you're going to take it. And I'll put signs on the doors for, you know, because I'm going to have probably somebody I hire or whatever to do it. Um, you know, that's where we're going to have to, you know, I'm going to pay somebody like, 150 bucks a day or something like that mm -hmm. to get somebody out there to do all that lifting for us because me or Chris can't do it. So I'm going to have to pay some decent money to get somebody to be like, well, oh, all you got to do is yeah. come and take these boxes. So I'm going to hire me. And we have to do that twice because we're going to have two truckloads. That's, yeah, that's right. Go on. up, drop off some all things, right. come back, load, and then, you know, we're going to have to do it here too when you ask people to load it. So, right. Fun. Yeah. Oh, one, one. 
Look, look at Diana. <laughs> what? <laughs> Blaming it on the cat now, are you, Diana? <laughs> yeah, yeah, likely story. <laughs> oh, sure you did. Uh huh. Yeah. <laughs> Poor cat. Sure it was. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Too funny. <laughs> <laughs> where's Myra? Oh. Let her wake up. Hey, oh, where'd she go? Oh. oh my God, I was on mute this whole damn time. I know. I was like, why? <laughs> I didn't see anything on your desk, so I'm like, why is she quiet? Like, what is she doing? Oh. I was Run talking mute. to you guys and I was munching. <laughs> <laughs> see? I'm say, Myra's really not that quiet. Nope. <laughs> mouth is really going somewhere. <laughs> oh my god see look that's her handwriting tiffany lamp <laughs> i know which one it is it's not it's a green one it's got a green and a yellow they're old looking they are old but they're cool Go back here a little bit and fix this. I don't like the way that was kind of there. She was going. Oh, good night, Susan. <laughs> you have a good sleep. Oh, good night, up. Susan. Did you guys see the listing for my house? Uh oh, now Myra disappeared. Oh, there she goes back. <laughs> what was going on? <laughs> Did you, see the, did you see the professional photos? I think you did, right, Jamie? You said you did, right? I did. Yeah, it looks really good. I, I'm so, he. I guess he took a picture, and I, I, I guess I know Chris went down there with him. I don't know why he told him not to take a picture. Not you know, not to not take a picture of that house. He was supposed to tell him that, or not the house, the room, my stock room. You can tell which one that is. Oh, but whatever. Yeah, the one that has all the crap piled up in it. That's the room that me and Tanya were working to get all the stuff into that room so that it was not in the other rooms as much. You know what I mean? Mm, yep. Yeah. But unfortunately, he still took a picture of that room. He didn't take a picture of this room because this room I had crap piled up too. So I was like, just ignore that room. But wow. I figured Chris would tell him what he, you know, because he went downstairs with him and I thought oh, he would tell him, but no, he didn't. He took a picture of it and I'm like, damn it. Oh, God. I'm like, you wasn't supposed to use that picture. That's okay. <laughs> we did a good job. He made the pictures look nice. It looks nicer than I thought they would really look. Good. Yeah. yeah. I think it looks really good. Yeah. I know. I saw the pictures. I love them. Mm -hmm. I was like, geez, I didn't know your house was that big. Yeah, everybody keeps saying that. Yeah, it's a pretty decent sized house. Nice. It's just got so much crap in it. My mouth is on fire. <laughs> <laughs> My mouth is on fire. <laughs> what are you uh, eating? I over poured hot sauce. Oh, see, see, That's I didn't see. No, no, not under a new home. Yep. Yep. What? Yet. Huh. Oh, not yet. No, not yet. Oh, I have pictures. You you didn't did you see the pictures of my current house? The the um here I can just think it up in one minute. Oh yeah. Uh -oh. I'm make all these notes. Oh, okay. Bread box. Why do you need the bread box? Wait. <laughs> bread box. Uh, okay. Bread box. <laughs> Why do you need a bread box? <laughs> I don't know. Okay. Hmm. 
Yeah, when she goes to this uh, home, you know, um, she said everything she has, you know, in the savings and the checking, the four, I think she said she has like 7,000, something like that all together. She has to, the whole thing has to go to this because they're about five to 6,000 a month. Wow. Oh, yay. Wow. She brought it up. Yeah, that's this is the pictures they took, the professional pictures they took of my house. That looks so cool. That looks really oh my pretty. God, too. I love it. The amount of stuff that was on this driveway that we had removed, holy crap. It cost me $750 to have it all removed. It was insane. Wow. We had no choice the next day that they were coming to take pictures, and I was like, ah, I gotta get it, you know. So, oh, oh, yeah, get rid of that. Yeah. Hmm. Wow. Yeah, it's so cool. I love that. Oh, wow. Like a beach party, karaoke. Mm -hmm. Oh, my God. I'll be pool party. Oh, here. Ooh, party. That's so pretty. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the color set it off. Nice. This was thrown together because this used to be my craft room here. The rug is terrible. But I had to throw together something because I didn't have like I didn't have you know, like a comforter for the bed. I didn't have curtains. I was like, oh crap! I was going around looking for stuff to use. <laughs> I was like trying to make something, put something together. We used Chris's bed. I used these curtains that I got at the Creative Reuse a while back that somebody <laughs> made, and they did a terrible job making them. And they were super long. They came out to like they came out to like all the way out here. So I had to like cut them. And I'm like sitting there with like picking shears with them hung up, going. Cut, 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 just, you know what I mean? So just kind of folding them under a little bit. Like, just for the pictures. It doesn't matter. <laughs> wow. Well, yeah. Wow. <laughs> make sure it's a good job. Mm -hmm. Right. A really good job. Yeah. That's the... That's the, the 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 bush that was come kind of climbing up the house and going in, over the deck here. Chris was oh, wow. trying to remove it when he got stung by the bee, and and I kept telling him I, as he was doing it with his hand, he was trying to push it out of the deck. I said, "Don't!" I said, "Use the clippers. You're gonna get some. You're gonna get like." And before I could even say, "You're gonna get bit by something," he got stung, and I was like, "Damn it! Don't you listen." Oh, oh no! Wow. Basement. Those are the basement stairs um, coming down. Mm. Of course, that's some stock I have there. Uh, but we tried to neutralize it as best we could. That's around the corner in the basement where Chris's bed was before his bed was over here. Right, and see, it goes around the corner over there. It goes around, and that's where the sectional couch is. Wow. That's neat. And that's where the piece of drywall is that we need to replace is right back there. And a piece over here, yeah. a small piece over there. So we got to do that. Now, do you have, um, is that his bed? What? His bed is upstairs in the master. So he's, oh, sleeping, that's okay. he's sleeping on this couch right now. Mm. Yeah, it's so pretty. This is my auction mm. room where I sit and do the auctions over here at the table over here. It used oh, to have a yeah, little part of the couch and a little coffee table, but. Wow. And then this is the stock room, which me and I was trying to put a bunch of stuff in because we were trying to get stuff in here. And I have Myra's pee pads over here. And I was like, just put them over there for now. And I'll wrap oh, them yeah. there. They're right there. Because we were like, I kept putting them on stairs. And then Chris kept moving them. And I said, I'll just put them over here. Because I said, stop. Because I wanted to bring them upstairs. But he kept moving them. Actually, I did bring them upstairs. Because this basket was upstairs. And he put it downstairs. And I was like, oh, stop. So I got to get them out of the basket. <laughs> yeah, we were piling, this is all fabric here. We were piling up the fabric here, and these are like wallpapers, and and these are like this. Everything in this is all in in here is all in bags. That's why it looks like it's just piled. It's because it's all in bags, separated already. So that was why it was like we didn't know what else to do. We were just like, well, we're just gonna kind of do what we got to do. Wow, <laughs> that's where I sit and do the auctions at there. Oh, there's the chair. <laughs> there's the chair. Cool. And there's my back, the back of the house, which. Yeah. That's so pretty. I never go back there, so. <laughs> <laughs> that really clear. That yard really isn't, looks nice. How it's all. Yeah, my neighbor did that. He did a great job. He did way more than he, <laughs> he did a great job. That's 
That's good. That's so nice. I was like thrilled that he did that. Mm -hmm. So when, you know, when he, when I get sell the house, I'm going to throw him an extra, you know, some extra money, but I can't do that until yeah. I do. Right. Um, for doing that because he really did. He really went above and beyond what he was supposed to do. He was like, he, mm. I knew he was taking a long time and I was like, why is he out there so long? And then later on, Chris was like, wow, he really did a good job on the yard. He like dug out the, the, um, he dug out where the, the, where you could tell it has like, Chris took the mulch and was able to put it down because he dug all the leaves out of there and dug all the stuff and like set up the rock so that it looked like an actual bed. And he like, he went above and beyond. He really did a good job. And he didn't ask for anything extra, so I'm gonna yeah. you know, throw an extra hundred bucks or something. When, yeah, that That's was so really cool. to do yeah. that. Nice. Hmm. Because he knew they were taking pictures and stuff, so I guess he <clears throat> wanted to make sure it looked good. Yeah. Usually he does kind of like the bare minimum and just cuts the yard and that's it. You know, yeah. so I was surprised that he, you know, went as far as he did. Yes, yeah, that was nice. <clears throat> there we go. I'm gonna switch my earbuds. Huh? What do you mean disconnected? Don't disconnect me. Go ahead. Don't disconnect me. Oh. I had to switch your buds. I'm sorry, I can't hear you because it was a little bit of a little You know what Janie did? I can hear you. <laughs> I can hear the speakers now. It just disconnected. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Never mind. I didn't do anything. <laughs> Myra, stop talking about Janie. <laughs> <laughs> I'm taking them out. I don't need them. I don't need them. I crunch my burritos right here. That's right. Crunch them up. Yeah. It is very pretty. Ready there? Huh. Jude wants your glasses. My glasses? What glasses? Pink ones? The pink? Were you able to see my glasses or something? These ones? Oh, those. Yeah, pretty. pretty. Oh. They have like little cool, flucky things. Flucky oh, things. How cute. What are they? Mm -hmm. Jelly boots? Yeah. No, they're just little like flex. Little pieces mm. of whatever. I get them at the dollar store. <laughs> I have bunches of them. You like them? Do they, can you actually see? What do you mean? <laughs> what do you mean? You get them at the dollar see. store. Yeah, they're just readers, you know, reading glasses. Yeah, oh. I got a lot of mine there. Yeah, we're just reading glasses. Mm -hmm. Teddy, stop. Oh, I'm going to try some out then. Yeah. Oh, yeah. They work. I can't see nothing, you know, close to me if I'm trying to do something without these glasses on. Yeah, me neither. Okay, we got everything. Bread basket in living room. Empty. What's that mean? Empty. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. What does that mean? Okay, I gotta stop thinking about this and just stick it on that dang thing already. I'm thinking too much. Why am I thinking too much? Too much. I blame it on Stacy. Right. She wants to dress her recliner. It's mm -hmm. all her fault. Because I taught you to think. <laughs> You're thinking, Lincoln. Okay. Cállate, cállate. Cállate, cállate. Yeah, that's new. Cállate, cállate means be quiet. Cállate. Cállate. Well, I'll just say, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Universal, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> I 
Why do I have to have allergies? Why can't I sound like a normal person? Because you're not a normal person. I know, I'm a midget. What? No. <laughs> No. You know they told me that I qualified for a freaking disabled the the I was like why would you tell me that? Because you're 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 four eleven and you gotta be four ten to qualify. I'm like you asshole. Well then you don't qualify because I know I don't qualify, but I'm all that's like what are you trying to say? Well, I just said it. You're like literally right. Oh you you just barely made it. I'm all <laughs> Uh oh, not the uh-oh. It's this hand, I'm telling you. It gets in the way. Oh, the hand gets in the way. No, don't eat that. Oh, God. No, no, no. no. <laughs> Who's eating what? <laughs> the dogs. Here, your uh-huh. last free dough. That's it. <laughs> Is it Ricky? Yeah, Ricky and Chloe down here getting the free dough. Uh-huh. Okay, guys, gotta move out of the way. Like, we ain't dumb. We're gonna sit here to get free feet Fritos every time she drops them on the floor. <laughs> uh, there she goes. <clears throat> I'm making a I'm making a mess. Okay, guys, come on out here. I have to you, yeah, you're stepping on a bead. Here, move. <laughs> move. Oh, you see a What? Okay, get out. Teddy bear. Yeah. Yeah. Noreen. Uh oh. Oh, who was that? It was <laughs> under the chair. <gasps> yeah. Who was it? Oh, it was Teddy. Yeah, he was under the, ch- yeah, he was under he was the under chair. Under the chair again. Oh. Yeah. Oh. I can't. Give him lovies. Teddy. Oh, That's the smallest Tyvek bead ever. What? Oh my goodness, that is small. Oh Damn. my god. I'm not gonna focus. Let me see. I'll put this on there. Did you make that bead on purpose? <laughs> on purpose? <laughs> no, I don't know it's it's an thing. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> you should make a bunch of It looks like a little mini like solar system. Let me see. The end, I think. Let me see. Maybe a. I don't know if it's gonna put through. And uh. I know, right? Let's see. Oh yeah, like a wire would go through that. See, it'll be. Yeah, there you go. We use it as like a focal point for a little, hmm. for a little. I don't know. Mama. Uh, Make a bunch oh, of Diana. Oh my god, I do that all the time. Jeez. Or a door handle. I'll be walking, and then I hit right here on the stupid door handle, or something catches and. Mm-hmm. Oh, she did! Yay! Oh, yay, dude! My baby turned up, scared of yeah. looking. Oh, yay! Oh, donkey. Huh. Yep. Oh, Wait, well, that's good. Oh, for kitty. Oh, good. See, I told you she'd show up. He'd show up. Yay! Oh, yay! <laughs> they always show up afterwards. They just get scared. They run. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Uh, oh, don't worry about it, Aaron. Yeah. He was scared. I bet. What happened? We always have our little chat. Sweetheart, they're gone. We all talk about everything. We have, you know, we don't have filters here. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It was, you know, you, you just basically, are you talking about the Dollar Tree thing? That's just sharing about your day. No, I think when she was live. Oh, I I wasn't around then. Oh, I don't know. Or was it when you peed your pants? I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> oh, but no. Yeah, because I just remembered that. We about a bunch of stuff here. Yeah. What's a filter? What's a, What's filter? a filter? Exactly. What's a filter? <laughs> True. I don't have one. I don't have yeah, one. Stacy don't have one. I don't. I sure as hell don't have one. <laughs> That's right. No, we don't have one. <laughs> okay, watch your feet. Watch your feet. I'm coming in. 
<laughs> Come back on my chair. All right. I got everything written down. Uh oh. Where'd I put the paper? Oh, you gotta be kidding. Oh, there it is. Oh, wait, that's not it. Oh, it's right in front of me. <laughs> oh, I was looking for a paper clip. Jeez, I better, I better take this out. Like I'll be right back. I gotta go start my tea water. All right. Okay. Okay, I need a paper clip. You can't open the drawers. Yeah. Come on out. Come on out. Can't open. All right, I have a million paper clips except where I want one. Are you kidding me? I can't find one. Oh, okay, I got one. I'm going to um, just take this and put it out on the counter because I'm going to need it for tomorrow and I'll lose it. Okay, I'll be right back. <laughs> Mario, your flowers are stunning. Oh, thank you. Uh, Janie made that candle. Jude. She made it. <clears throat> Mario, you remember when you... Oh, no, don't worry about it, Aaron. You're fine. You're fine. I have to make more flowers, actually. I, <clears throat> I made a bunch of them, and... Uh, I actually used most of them up. I have only a couple left, actually. Let me show you. Okay. I have oh only. I have only. Chris is the damn dishes, but of course he's not getting off his ass to do them. And it's not that many because I had a Ooh, whole. Wait a minute! Bring that back. Remember, Stacy? Huh? I said, bring that back. Remember when I had this whole freaking thing like full of here, let me let me just put them faced up, face up. Hang on, I'll bring it back. I'll bring it back. They want it out. <laughs> Remember oh how I had this whole box full? Mm-hmm. Wow, pretty. Wow, look at that. Yeah, I don't have that many. I need to make more. Get to it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
Of course I miss you, Aaron. I know I haven't been really on like social media like that. The only place I've been on is honestly YouTube. Um, I just haven't really been on. Bring them back, Myra, and bring them back. Jude said, bring them back. <laughs> bring them back. I'll bring them back. <laughs> Okay, These are my lovelies. Yeah, she just teasing. Deception, December, decide. Oh, decompose. <laughs> I'll make a bead like decompose. <laughs> She's <laughs> body decomposing. <laughs> yeah, right. Decomposing bodies. <laughs> Dissolve into original elements or a simpler answer. Yeah, no. Decay. Oh, God. Decay. Decrepit. Oh, decay. Bones. Ooh. Deface. Defiant. Earthworm eating your body. <laughs> defiant. Ooh, that's Myra. I'll make her be defiant. Yeah, One requires to make answer in legal action. <laughs> what the hell? I'm not defiant. <laughs> After I read it, I'm like, that's not defiant. Yeah, that doesn't sound like defiant. Defendant. Defendant. Oh. <laughs> here's here's the bottom. <laughs> this here. This is the bottom. Okay. Act of defying. Opposition to the resist contempt of a contempt of the opposite. There's defiant here, full of. Why is it full of piss and vinegar? Piss it lack of element. Yeah. <laughs> mm, that's my one. Whatever. <laughs> yeah. Cyclone. Tis, Ooh. tis me, tis me. Tis me. There's cyclone, a violent storm characterized by high winds rotating about a calm center of low atmosphere pressure, a tornado. Geez, aren't we that's finding it. just the Damn. What do you want? Okay, that's good. You, you must want to get sick. You must want to be constipated. <laughs> constipated. I'm constipated. <laughs> okay, wow. constipated. Are we on? Oh, I can tell you all about that. <laughs> Condiment. Concern. <laughs> Condoms. Condoms. No. Conclusion. Let's see. I have come to the conclusion that I am constipated way too much. Confine. <laughs> Confirm. And it confines me to the bathroom. <laughs> <Go on. sighs> okay. uh, well, congratulations. Just when I finally go to the bathroom. Teddy wants to be constipated. <laughs> Who wants to be on me? <laughs> Teddy's lock. eating random crap. Last time he pooped beads. <gasps> Next time, what the hell is he going to do? Shit glitter? <laughs> <laughs> oh, poor baby. <laughs> Jeez. I mean, seriously. It's funny, just as long as he doesn't get hurt. Well, you're the mommy. You need to keep it away from him. You need to, you need to teddy proof your house. God. Yeah. You know what, Stacy? What? I know you're right. <laughs> She knows. I don't want to be constipated. <laughs> yes, you do. Teddy oh, wants to be constipated. Okay. You, Judy. I mean, Aaron, sorry. Can't tell her that I wrestle. I read all the time. I do that all the time. But I don't want to be constipated. <laughs> well, I mean, I did, I've been there, done that. Walk been there, done that. That's right. Oh, no. There's Ricky. Mm, now he's going to cry. <laughs> Wham. Wow. Cunning, skillful, mm. wroth with a thick integrity, crafty, sly, or artful. Yeah, well. I'm everything. You are. You're mm. everything rolled into one. That's Damn. why we love you. See, That's what you say. Behind my back, you probably what? curse me out. I do. Just kidding. I never. Dance, dance, dance. Don't curse anybody out behind their back. I'd rather do it to their face. 
<laughs> I know, right? Mm-hmm. Screw you, Casey. <laughs> <laughs> now, now, girls. <clears throat> now, now. Just tisk. Listen, listen up. Tisk. Enough, enough. <laughs> tisk. 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 I want to tisk. 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 Oh, I want to make it. Oh, I know. I'll do German words or whatever that it is. I do this. German. Jim, whatever. Good night, Kimberly. Have a good night. Good night. Good night, Kimberly. I peed. I peed. You peed? I peed. I peed. I peed. I think my water is done. What? Hmm. Yeah. Oh, sorry, Erin. Uh, not today, if that's all right. What? I have my hands full with these two, as it is. I a handful. Oh, I have a handful. handful. <laughs> sorry, I didn't even see. Uh, uh, <laughs> things go up in that chat that I don't even. I don't. Oh. I know I'm trying to keep up and glue here because I keep getting my fingers burned. This is what I have to deal with. That one's accident prone and that one's <laughs> a brat. <laughs> that I am accident prone. All right, I'll be right and back. And then Teddy in the meantime is trying to get okay. electrocuted because his little ass is over here biting on the freaking cord. Oh, man. Of my glue gun. You must want to get electrocuted, huh, Teddy? Can't make You're a bead out of Tiny paper. All that hair. Imagine how it's gonna look. Imagine. Okay. I need, I need mama, to... you don't want to imagine that, Mama. Mm. Little Mama. Oh, you know what? Here, I'm gonna do this, and then I'll wrap it around that little toothpick. Mm. Let's see. Gonna have the words. Let's make a baby one, not a baby, <laughs> a baby bead. Oh no, I am a handful. I am. I am a hand. I'm two handfuls. Mm-hmm. Actually, two three. handfuls. With this mm-hmm. little buddy. Yeah. So, is he gaining weight? Is he growing? No. No. He grew a little bit. It's more of his hair. Yeah. Oh. He's little curly and he hates being brushed. But oh. this is Oh my god. He's so furry. Did I he know. get all the shots? Not well. He has one more set to go. Almost done. Oh, how Almost. is he with the He's shots? Good. He ba- he barely start. He weighed a pound. Oh my god! That's... Yes, he. I think he looks bigger because I have the camera zoomed in. Wow! But I can still hold him with one hand, and He's he still. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Look at him. If he's only a pound, dang. Yeah, he's like small. Yeah, he's tiny. Hey, mama, wow. I a tiny boy. I a tiny I boy. Teddy mama. bear. He's See, a teddy I... bear. He's so cute. So... He's so boy. He's so teddy. cute. Teddy bear. Teddy. Hey, mama, I this is a dangerous so thing. You got me next to a hot glue gun, damn it. Mama. So he's <laughs> Have you given him a bath? Yes, I've given him more than one bath. Really? How does he like that? He loves the water. Oh. <laughs> yeah. He just hates the brush. I still brush him, but his hair no, curls I... up. Gosh. So it just um it gets it looks like, like what it does. Like kind of frizzy or something if not frizzy, but the curl, the hair catches the curl, like, I don't know how to oh. explain it, but they, they pile up. Mm-hmm. What? <laughs> like, if I brush him right now, he's going to look like a poof ball. Right. 
Yeah. <laughs> I get it. Yeah. But right oh, now man. you can see the texture of his curls because his hair is like not brushed. Yeah, not like that. You know what out. I mean? Yeah. It's a dog. It's a dog, Aaron. It's tiny, huh? It's, dumb it's a stuffed animal. Yeah, it's a dog. It's yeah, small. he's he's my teddy. Mm -hmm. I got a I got a dog, Aaron. Yeah, he's so cute. Kitty bear. You got Auntie mm -hmm. Auntie Janie and Stacy. Uh huh. That's right. Mama, Mama, I got gotta meet Ricky and 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 Chloe, and I gotta meet Willow and. It's not a cat. <laughs> Nina's like, I missed a cat. <laughs> cat. No, he's not a cat. Nope. He's, he's a dog. he's a doggy. That's a he's dog. A doggy. He's so cute. Look doggy, at his doggy, baby doggy, doggy, doggy. face. He's like, oh, don't drop me. Okay. <laughs> I got my tea. Got the tea. Oh. Mm -hmm. Tea and a muffin. I can't get what it you think? Shoulder. What you think? <gasps> oh. Ooh, Ricky's. Wow. I would put that up on one of those stands, those little tripods. I would. Mm -hmm. That would be cute. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. That's, a, that's so pretty. Oh my god. I still gotta work on it though. I gotta put glossy accents and all this other stuff. Wow. That's but I don't know if pretty. I should put this thing on there. I don't know. I what don't know. It? What is it? It's just a little vine thingy. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Oh. Give it a little. little uh, oh. Yeah. Give it a little. Oh, my cute. Oh, my goodness. No. I'm rambling. Nobody knows the trouble. Trouble I've seen. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we used to sing that around here. It was like, oh, my God. Nobody knows. Oh, yeah. I think I should put it there. The vine thing here. What do you think? What? No, that's cute. That's right cute. here. Yeah. Put it there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's really cute. Aww. He's itty bitty. I know. Yeah. Put it there. Put it there. Put it there. I call him my itty bitty titty, even though I shouldn't be saying that out loud. Itty -bitty -titty -titty -titty. Behind closed doors, that's what I call him. <laughs> itty bitty titty. Itty yeah. bitty titty committee. I made a saucer beat. You did? That's where I was going to make some of those in a little bit, too. You want to see it? A what? It's tiny. How cute. <laughs> if some of it unrolled in the middle, it came out. <laughs> it oh, it good. <laughs> it's tiny, huh? Mm -hmm. How cute. Oh, maybe I'll make one. I haven't made one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, a little extra paper, so I said, okay, I'll make a little bead. Tiny one. Like Teddy Weddy. Teddy Weddy. Like my Teddy. He's a small baby. Well, he's almost going to be six mm -hmm. months already, so he should be bigger than what he is, but. Wow. He's not... amazing. Hmm. Teddy, stop. He's a climber. I've never, oh my gosh. I've never had a pet that climbs like he does. Maybe he's half monkey. I think he is. He is. Mm -hmm. I'm so telling you, he, I don't know. I don't know what is wrong with this dog. Oh, no. Teddy, stop it. No. Teddy. Listen to your mama. You lost the other paper. What the hell? You lost paper? Yeah, I lost one of the papers. Am I going crazy? Oh, I was putting another saucer bead, but I didn't oh, finish this one. That. Oh, there it is. There it is. Oh, yeah. good. Good, 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 good. Mm. Dang it. Oh. Mm. This is double slide. Teddy, I can't do both things at once. I'm not an octopus. No? Hmm? Well, dang it, all this time I thought you were an octopus. <laughs> <laughs> long I was. 
Oh, me. It's a good thing the house cats aren't ever the size of great days. I know, Nina, right? Oh, God, we'd be all in trouble, huh? <laughs> we'd be all in big trouble. Oh, big old cats. <laughs> oh. Yeah, oh, I forgot. Where am I going to put the happy birthday? I'm so smart. <laughs> oh, oh, good for sentiment. <laughs> mm. Well, I can put it inside. I mean, this could be just like the focal point. I, yeah, oh, I just love that. Uh, good idea. It's a good idea. Because it's, so it's going to go on this thingy, my bobber. Okay. Oh, I put it on like the inside. Part. Yeah, just put it on the inside. I like it. Just the way it is. <laughs> I like it. I like it. Look at this die. It's beautiful. Oh. Oh. I saw that on an auction the other day. Yeah, that's the die that you showed last time, and I really, I was. That's the one I really liked. Wait a minute. Like, yeah, I love it. It's really pretty. I got to do something with this one, but I don't know what yet. And somebody said, what. can you cut it? What's it supposed to do? Was I dreaming that? Yeah. <laughs> I can't remember who's it. Uh, okay, Teddy, stop. Dang it. I'm going to lock you up. Lock you him up. up. I'm going to lock you up. up. <laughs> and I'll let you out. I was going to say I'm that, Jude. As you guys were saying about the Maine Coons that were, you know, how big they were and stuff. <laughs> wow. Without the legs, right? You got no legs? What? Without what legs? The Maine it's Coons, like Great Danes without legs. <laughs> Ooh. Mm-hmm. Kimberly said, "What seven? Or, yeah, seventeen pounds or something for her kitty." Yeah, <gasps> seventeen pounds. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's a big kitty. It's in the, she's in the group. It's beautiful, beautiful kitty. Wow. Mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. I mean, take it off the. It's, it needs cut right here. Yeah, Kimberly. Now I'll, I'll shade it a little bit, but it's my knitting needle. Just in here. There it goes. Hang on. Mm -hmm. One. Two. 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 Okay. Let's see. Okay. Dwayne, um, you know, because we have to do that stuff at, get all that stuff at Noreen's. And, and he said, he said, don't stay up too late because we got to go and I'm not going to go late. And I said, you don't have to go because well, I don't want to stay there for, and I'm waiting. Well, you spent, I said, like 10 hours in the waiting room. <laughs> so don't complain. He didn't say a word. He's like looking at me in shock. Like, what? <laughs> I said, what? I said, I can go by myself, you know. Question, sorry. Hmm? I have one question. No questions from you. We're not taking questions Should... from you today. <laughs> Over here, you can buy a purebred Maine Coon for 2K. Oh, God. Jeez. Whoa. What was your question, Myra? Dang. Eh? Never mind. Question. Um, <laughs> should I leave it like this 
Or should I put okay. this other birdie? Yeah, put the other birdie. I don't, I don't, like, like, the, more. I don't like the bird. <laughs> I don't like yeah. the bird. But it's up to you. Wait, like no, wait, bird. what? Yes or no? I say yes. I say no. No, I say yes. See or no? See or no? Okay, let's do a <laughs> vote. Everybody in the chat, what do you say? Uh, what do you think? Say, put, a you one, think? put a one for one birdie. Put a two for two birdie. What do you think? One birdie like this? Or two birdies? Like Look this? at it, it's a cigarette. It's burning. <laughs> Look at it. Sorry. <laughs> oh, oh, wow. <laughs> Uh, stop smoking blunts on the on the live stream. Jamie, I didn't let, know you were into that. Yeah. <laughs> Still burning. Okay, so what? Two birdies, one birdie. Two birdies, one birdie. <laughs> oh, okay, Janie. You mm -hmm. had to put it on. The, oh, mm -hmm. you too, Stacy. Me, 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 me. Your degree is too. <laughs> oh, I remember Jamie. Uh -huh. <laughs> two one. Oh, one two. Are you two, four, six? <laughs> <laughs> they need a partner. Uh, well, that is true. That is true. Yes, they need a pair because they need to love each other. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Look, no hands, mom. <laughs> 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 yeah, they need a they need a mate, huh? <laughs> Jamie's like, no, he doesn't. He can do all by himself, <laughs> surrounded by all those bo botanical flowers. That's right. Yes. <laughs> Holy crap! Okay, I got one up on you. I got a couple extra twos in there. I agree. He's <laughs> 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 like, what? What? Nina didn't vote. Oh, Nina didn't vote. Nina. Nina put a question Nina, mark. Nina. Just put a two, Nina. <laughs> Just put a one. Put no, a put two. A two. <laughs> <laughs> they do. <laughs> they need, they need me. That's true. We don't want no lonely birdies. Look at the smoke come out of that. Ooh. Hey, hey. Smoke. <laughs> Some fire. Jude. Jude said two, two, two. Two, twenty two. Room, two, twenty two. Isn't that a movie? Yeah, I think so. A movie, Janie? What? Room, two, twenty two. Isn't that like a movie or something? Yeah, it was a weekly, weekly show. What? Oh. Of like a, I don't remember <laughs> watching it. I just remember the show. I probably watched it a little bit. Oh, I didn't really do this show. Yeah. I need someone to come in here and be like, what are all those numbers for? <laughs> That's what One I think. Are we, are we learning numerology here? Uh, we're learning to count. SI. Oh, gosh. Oh. oh. C. I'm sure it means two. What does C mean? Oh, C. One or two. <laughs> does one or two what does he mean one or two one, or two. one birdie or two birdies well if they're mates don't you think that one should look a little different like the the other one they're not mates have... they're friends this is a friendship card oh oh <laughs> everybody needs a friend then there should be two of them friendship card uh, two. I made a sauce of bead. <gasps> How cool. Oh. oh, that one looks cool. <gasps> cool. No, I it's, don't saucy. Like it. it's saucy. It's saucy, all right. Cool. Mm. <laughs> two. 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 Yeah, you're right. You kind of left me thinking on that one. Maybe I should do more purple. Huh. Okay, so let's put glitter. some of Jeannie's input in here because she kind of made a point. What? So point? we'll do two birdies, but one of them is going to have purple. Yeah, good, good choice. Yeah, there you so go. it'll be a bit of everyone. 
a bit of everyone's yeah. input. How about that? No fight. Sounds good to me. I think you should put a spider. Ooh. No manches. <laughs> spider. A spider. A spider attacking the bird. <laughs> yeah. Giant sack so spider. The attack of the spiders. Mm -hmm. um, why, don't you, why don't I throw a dinosaur in there too? Yeah, dinosaur. <laughs> <laughs> Dinosaurus. <laughs> Yay. Oh my gosh, I'm making a mess. I'm making another mess. Uh oh, I'm going to throw a dinosaur in there. Has somebody to tell you guys about something? Everybody has something to say. A bear. Oh, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm sorry, Erin. Well, just know mm -hmm. that bully, you know, they have, sometimes they do things because they don't feel good about themselves, themselves, you know? Right. You tell them I said stop. Yeah. Or I'll kick their ass. Yeah. Oh my God. Oh, get out. Get out. Leave you alone. He said so. Dang, stop it. Oh my God. He just destroyed a whole toilet paper. Oh, oh and they're pressure. <laughs> Great. Was it Charmin? Because if it was Charmin, I'm going to be mad. <laughs> he yeah, he was bad. pissed off too. He said, I'm the only bear in the house. Those Charmin bears. <laughs> He's in trouble. Me and Tedward need to have a talk. <laughs> Tedward. Tedward. Oh. Into my time with Myra. Yeah. <laughs> not right. Just I not right at all. Cut into my time. There, uh, I was on Tedward. <laughs> I was calling, calling bad names and they make in front of me and Clint. Oh, uh, well. Sometimes you just have to ignore those people and, you know. I definitely do. Yep. And report them. They're probably, and also, you know, have if it was on his channel, have him block them, you know, mm. so yeah. they can't come back on because it was probably just a bunch of little idiots, you know. Yeah. Unfortunately, that's how it is on you know the internet and on on um it sucks, but a lot of times on the internet and on YouTube and stuff, you're gonna find things like that, and you know it's a good thing for him to know how to block people. Yeah, because it's probably a bunch of kids that are just being stupid. Are they so the same sure. bullies that you had told me about a while ago? Was it just random people that you didn't know, or? Yeah. Well. Because if they're the same ones she mentioned a while back, and they're still bullying her and 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 him, then that's not cool. I mean, they need to be reported, like Stacy said. Yeah, and block them. He needs to block them from his channel, though. Mm. Yeah. But don't pay attention to people like that. It's not worth your time to worry about. Try to try to pay attention to, you know, people that are being nice, not people that are being dumb. Mm -hmm. Yep. Unfortunately, when you're on when you're on YouTube, it's going to happen where you have people. I mean, I have people that say mean things to me, you know, in, in the in the like in comments on videos and stuff like that. So it happens, but. It's just how the internet is. People will do stupid things. Yeah. I know it, I know it, you know, it's a pain in the ass, but the best thing you can do is just to ignore them. And then when you see that, though, just have, if it's on Clint's channel, just have him report them and, and block them from his channel. Well, that's because they're losers. That's why. Well, yeah, usually people that do that are that. 
you know, pictures of their own and they don't know how to treat people. And then these are little kids, so mm -hmm. kids that are doing it, little high school or not even probably middle school brats that are doing things like that. Mm -hmm. Did you, put, did you put the dinosaur on, Myra? <laughs> T-Rex is coming. Tyrannosaurus. T-Rex on. T-Rex on. Yeah. Well, it's frustrating. <laughs> but you know what's better than being pissed off? Them pissed off. <laughs> and and don't let it bother you because if they see that it bothers you then guess what then they're going to feel satisfied so you don't let them see you be bothered about it and right. then if you they yeah and then they keep doing it uh -huh. yeah so the best thing you can do is not get pissed off and just say whatever i don't care what you say and just ignore them and then block have him block them and that's it mm. Don't don't let you don't allow yourself to get pissed off over it because it's not worth it. You know. <laughs> what do you do? Yeah. Yep. I just Uh oh. I... No. Nobody. She's not sewing either. I was yelling at the damn trolls and I was mad. Yeah. When you get mad like that, they, they, you know, they know that that's, you know, that's their whole goal is to make you mad. That's what exactly what they want to do is make you mad. So why, you know, don't give that to them. Don't do that. Don't get mad. Because if they don't, if they see you mad, then they're going to be happy. So the best thing yeah. you can do is not be mad and just ignore them and then have, you know, and then block them so that they can't, they can't get back on the channel again. Block and report their channel name. Because that's, unfortunately, that's just something that happens on YouTube and there's not a whole lot you can do about it other than to block and report them and not allow it to bother you because... It's just kids, and you have to think about it. It's just little kids who have nothing better to do. That's all it is. It's not adults, so don't think they're adults, because they're. I guarantee you it's not. It's little kids that are just being assholes. On You know what I mean? Their parents aren't around, and they're just being assholes. Mm -hmm. So you just got to remember that they're just little kids that, you know, have nothing better to do. They're not doing it because they mean it. They're not doing it for any other reason just other than to just be troublemakers. That's it. Right. Yep. Their parents are off doing something else and they don't care and they're on there just yeah. having fun. Trying to in a terrible way, but you know, hey. It's yeah, way they do it. They're just not raised right. Mm-hmm. So it's okay. I hear Ted Word crying. Mm -hmm. Teddy. Oh. To quit his moaning and groaning. Yeah. Oh, quit his little puppy ass from groaning and moaning. You can't be doing that, Teddy. Mr. Teddy Bear. Let's see. If I do another saucer read. Hmm. This paper is a little hard. Always enjoy Stacy's cussing. <laughs> yeah. mm -hmm. 
Yeah, yeah Nina likes my cussing. I want to know people that does. Jackass. Jackass. Teddy McTedderson. Teddy. Teddy, why don't you go, go? Where's your girlfriend? Go, go get. Her. Oh yeah, does he still like his girlfriend? Yeah, he's. Are you on a fight with her or something? Go he's play with love. your girlfriend. Oh, that doesn't sound right. She go, well. go she got a headache. She's got a headache tonight, so she ain't willing to give it up. I know. Jeez. He's out for the night. He says, "Mama, I need a break." She's mm. been. She's been cray cray. Oh, oh it's pain in the ass. This paper, damn it. Come on. Check this. Mm. I think I'm better off with a ruler on this piece because I'm having a hard time cutting it back thin. Where's my ruler? Mm. Where is it? There it is. I'll take that one. Please. Where, oh, where can the ruler cook on? It'll be easier for me to do it that way. My baby back. One on my side of the bed. Exactly. I gotta find oh. where I'm sleeping tonight, <laughs> right? <laughs> That's right, Jude. <laughs> you got it right. Oh, mm -hmm. Go in the other room. <laughs> you got a baby in there. That's. <laughs> No, that's just uh, my opinion. to you guys i'm just asking because i don't have any uh yeah you are definitely aaron very much you're a good person don't 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 take what other people say that you know to heart you need they're just like i said they're just little kids who have nothing to do and they don't let it bother you because then they win if it bothers you do you know what i mean yep you're little kids that have nothing better to do. You're much more mature and much better than they are. So they'll never, they'll never grow up to be as good of a person as you are. So the only thing they have to look forward to in their life is a bunch of garbage because of the way they act. So they're losers. So they're losers. Yep. And they always will be. Uh huh. And one day they'll look back and they'll remember you and, and they're going to regret it. And they're going to wish right. they could come back and apologize to you and it'll be too late. Mm -hmm. And they'll remember you because you are taking taking the higher road, the more mature road. That's because right. you could easily stoop down to, their, to, to his level. And if you don't, then that will give an, uh, that'll allow within time for him to remember and all the people that he bullied, especially you, and then he'll feel bad about it. Mm -hmm. And and you never know. Never. That may be the reason why he, you know, may be like, you know, I, I was, I, I not only regret mm -hmm. it, but now I'm against the bullying. And you never know. He might have kids one day and then teach his mm -hmm. kids that what he did himself was not nice. Right. Hopefully. You know, but you never know. You just gotta, you gotta be more mature, and you gotta take the higher road than him. You cannot stoop down to to his level, and you definitely cannot feel bad about these things because you know they're not really personal. They're not doing it personally. Like in other words, it feels personal, but they're really just stupid kids who don't have anything else to do. They're not doing it because they're. <laughs> 
They really think that about you. They don't know you. They're doing it because they have nothing to do and they're just being jerks. And that's it. Yeah. And they don't, and they're little kids and they're unsupervised and, you know, their parents don't love them as much as your parents do. And, you know, like your mom does. And, you know, they don't have friends like you do. So they're jealous. Mm -hmm. Nothing to do with their lives but go around saying stupid things. So every time you see somebody do something like that, you have to just remember how lucky you are that you were raised differently and that you have people that care about you and love you and that you aren't like that. Yes. Mm -hmm. And remember that they're just stupid, lonely children with nothing to do. I'm about to make this card an extra card. Extra, extra, we go. Extra. Yeah. Extra, extra. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Let's see. Should I just try something here? No. That'll be definitely extra. We just want extra. We don't want extra, extra. No extra. No. Not extra, extra. Just extra. Extra, but not extra, extra. Yeah. Oh, okay. We got a number two. <laughs> number two. <laughs> the number two. Okay. A little behind. Number two wins. <laughs> Number two. Yep. No I think we've all had our share of those little kids, Aaron, and you know, you know yeah. what it feels like and just, just not <clears throat> worth it. Just, you know, try to go on with your day to have a good day and not let them bother you because you don't want to let them win. Mm -mm. That's their goal is to bother you. So if you let them bother you, then they win. And that's not good for you or anybody else. Karen? Karen. 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 Zoom, zoom, zoom. Never. My saucer bead fell apart. I was almost done. Oh. I know they do that. They're, uh, they're, they're the more persnickety uh, ones. Those are the ones that you definitely, especially towards the end, need the glue <laughs> on it because they will fall apart. I've been gluing and I didn't glue enough because it's <laughs> <laughs> okay. You stick on there because I'm going to a sticky. Oh, no. Oh, well, <laughs> the trial. Hey. The whole middle. I think I did too much in the beginning and it stuck on the thing, the bead part, not the rod. No. Oh. And I pulled too hard in it. Oh, I think it doesn't wear here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Saucer beads are one of the harder ones to do. Oh. Well, the first one I didn't do a very good job on. This one's a little better, but 
still. Yeah, I learned a trick though with the saucer beads, and I'll show it to you if you want me to. Yeah, yeah. so that you could do less uh, rotations. I'll show you. I didn't do it yet. I haven't done the trick. I just seen it, but I didn't do it yet. See the uh, when I pulled it, the middle was stuck. What if you glue? Uh, yeah. Oh, here's a trick though, Jane. Don't pull it off there. Like don't pull your beads off like this, right? I like slide it. Yeah, take your fingernail underneath. So yeah. That don't, so that it, it pulls up and it does, you know, pops off like that. But you know what? I think this was already. Look at the other side. Oh. It was already. Oh. Kind of, yeah. Kind of <laughs> like, uh, uh. See, oh, these are good if, if you varnish these because once you varnish them, they stay in place nice. Yeah, because this is all. I'll just leave it because it'll be a <laughs> like what I did before. Yeah, look, look, look like a piece of crap. Okay, Jude. Mm -hmm. Let's burn it. Oh, that's pretty. <gasps> That's cool. I like that one. All right. I'll show you a trick that I loined yeah. to make them. So you don't have to use as many papers, which when you, you know, because you need to make it big. But if you do that, it's harder to do and it gets a little bit more of a pain in the ass. Mm -hmm. So what I learned was you take, um, you need a piece of copy paper, which, uh, hold on, let me get a piece. Mm -hmm. here. Okay. That's a long slide. Uh, hold it. Hold it. Hold it. <laughs> hey, Stacy. Yeah. I have a video that I had saved on uh, the beads, you know, like the round ones and the thing. And right. she had taken like several strips of, of paper, like three, 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 and then like right. put them together and stacked yeah. them. And then, yeah, is that kind of like that? Or? Yeah. I was going to say, um, I mean, this copy paper, this paper is a little longer, but that's fine. Um, what I was going to say, they were, I've seen it done where they don't glue it though. They just, do it and it's such it's so hard to roll it that way whereas what i'm going to suggest is you glue it with a uh -huh. glue stick to okay. a piece of copy paper then cut it out um oh. my glue stick? This. Mm -hmm. but this way when you roll it it'll be much easier and it'll be thicker without having to do a lot of trouble then you can do two pieces to get a nice fat nice fat like saucer like saucer yeah oh, yeah awesome. by doing two pieces both glued to the you know, the use the glue stick to glue it to the copy paper. It'll be easier to hang yeah. on to because uh -huh. you know. and it'll be easier to cut, it'll be easier to roll. Yeah. And it'll and then it'll get you won't have to do as much work either. Yeah, because it's like oh, God. so I'll do that. And I'll do uh, this piece here. Well, the white copy paper edges go, but you could tell if they did, you could put color like if you had to, right? On them, what do you mean? She was asking about the white copy no, paper. Well, because edges. I always take gold and, and do my thing anyway, so you're not going to see the edges because I always take gold on mine anyway, and you know, so it doesn't matter. But you can ink the edge of your paper if you're concerned about that. But I always take gold on my beads anyway, that's what I do, them. just ink but, the. Although these are a little harder to do that, but you know, you can ink the edge. Yeah. And you can always not do it right to the exact edge. You can always take the copy paper back a little bit so that it's sticking out like that. So that your paper is I can't see sticking out a little bit. Like so there's a lip. But it's not gonna, I don't think I don't see that as being a problem. Or take a sharpie marker and just go zoop down the side. Mm -hmm. and do whatever you want, but I don't think that's gonna be an issue. No. And rather than using wet glue, which is a lot harder to deal with, I, I'd say the glue stick would be the best option. Yeah, so it doesn't stick all over the place. And so this way, if I take this. I did have some of these no. that I had. 
colored in like edges. The soccer beads are one of the harder ones to make, and you have to taper it so little. But if I if I do it just like this, I only have to use two pieces instead of three, and then I get a you know get a little bit better. I can get a little bit better at tapering. Yeah. Because it won't be so hard to do. You like that one? And this one here. The edge had, you know, was sticking out more and I forgot to color it. So I just or I just took a um you know, woo, these things. <laughs> I'm trying to use for them, the pit markers. And right. Sit there and color them. They stick out. Oh, what happened to this thing? Let me see. Oh, I can do this. Oops. Did I? Start it. And I mark the edge of the smaller side so that I can cut it. And then I'll taper it all the way on this one. I don't have to do a third one because now it'll actually end up being perfect. Do that. here i think so uh kind of um quite a while you know a while back i think karen i'm not i'm not quite sure you know one of the give them away yeah So yeah, if you don't like the white edges, you can always dab a little bit of color on it. Mm -hmm. You know? Oh, okay. Well, yeah, you can do that too. <laughs> I, I'm going to dab a little color onto it with a marker. Mm -hmm. It's still better than doing it this way, than doing it the other way, I think. Yeah. I'm okay with the edges being white right now. I can make that go away pretty easily. Oh. That's what they have paint markers for. Yeah. Rhonda? Rhonda? Are Rhonda in here? I'm not sure. I didn't know. I don't understand. But it's better than trying to fight with the paper because when as you get thinner, because you got to taper it and taper it really slowly, those tiny little pieces of paper make it so hard to like get it together so that it's easier if you have less you know the less uh papers you gotta deal with the less tiny ass little papers you gotta deal with the better that is and that's true that was cool Yeah, because I'll usually do the, you know, the marker or take and, you know, with the right paper pad. Ooh, paper pad. I mean, paper, uh, whatever it is. Oh, ink thing, ink thing, ink thing. The thing. Ink thing. <laughs> I need to use these up. Because they're falling apart. Hmm. Trick is to get your second piece lined up nice in the middle of that first piece and to put glue all the way down as you go on that, especially on the second piece. You don't have to do it as much on the first piece, I feel like, but on the second piece, you do. Um, you want to have that glue on there. Because you're dealing with a thinner edge. But that's what I seen. I seen somebody doing the two pieces. I'm like, why don't they just glue them together with some glue stick? It'd be so much easier because they were fighting with the two pieces. And I'm like, how is that easier? It's, to me, it wasn't. I was like, that don't look easier to me. Yeah. But if you glue them together, then it's a heck of a lot easier. Yep. Because they were like, oh, it'll be quicker, you know, because you don't have to use as much paper. You don't have to do it so many times. And I'm like, yeah, glue the pieces together and then it'll be really quick. All right. And it is much quicker this way. Much, much quicker. Your bead is 
a complete mm -hmm. Let's see. Yeah. I don't mind a little bit of white that's on there. I can fix that easy. Several ways to fix that. I kind of actually like the white a little bit though. But like I said, if you over, you know, put the the, the colored paper slightly over the white where it's not. But I mean, that's um, that's not as realistic to do every time. All right. But it's easier because I only had to use two pieces rather than having to use three to get a nice like larger saucer. Yeah. So now I've got this nice larger. Ooh. Stupid camera. Oh yeah, and then. Oh, okay. Nice. And then if I don't like, you know, if you don't like that little bit of white that's showing, just take a, a you know, one of your markers of some sort, a couple of different colors if you're wanting to match the fact that it's got different colors in it. Mm -hmm. So let's see, I got distress markers and those, whatever. I'll go in and just kind of, you know, fake it till you make it. You can kind of add color sporadically and make it fun. Yes. Any kind of marker. Crayola markers would work too. Any kind of markers that you got. Or use another piece of painty paper instead of white paper. take your if it's water soluble which these are you can take a water brush and kind of feather it out a little bit I am. It flew, it flew this way. I don't know where it went. I got my flight water over here, and then now I haven't seen that little baby. They hatched. They hatched. That's if you don't want to waste your painting papers and put two painting papers together, you know. Yeah. You can use that and copy paper, you can do that. Or you can just do to your copy paper edges. You can just go down the edge with the with one of the brush pens, you know, so that it 
you know. I got some of those. Uh, I try to work. Crayola is anything. Do you, I've got the uh, Spectrum Aqua. I bought mm -hmm. some of those and then the pit pans and blah, blah, blah to try them. Yeah, that'll work. I mean, you could just take it and go right along the edge and just like do, if you're doing multicolors, you could do like a little pink, a little pink here, do a little pink here, and then go with a different color and take the side of the brush marker and go like that. And that'll solve that problem too. Yeah. And you don't have to worry about it. And after you cut it, you'd have to do it again on the other edge. Correct. Hey, hey, how'd you do that? Why'd you do that? Because you're your old sponge. <laughs> Come on. Oops. Come on. It's kind of cool with that stencil with that color. Well, I have to do it on this side. Hmm? That stencil with the color. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. But my sponge like kind of came. These things are so old. But look. <laughs> <It's>, uh, <laughs> I told you. Yeah, I told you peel it off. Mm. Unless it's the whole thing. If it's just a layer, just peel it off. Yeah, it was the old thing. I'll just have to oh, was it? I don't you can put a little glue. Yeah, I think I'll have to because it's <laughs> it's like <laughs> I know. Flip flop. <laughs> Flip. Whoop. There, because the whole yeah. Because hmm. this one, the other ones are getting kind of dried out, but that one is okay. Oh, Myra, that's okay. Really pretties. Wow. That's I can't so get the nice. light. I feel yeah. like the light is not. Wow. It came out really pretty, Mara. It you. sure did. It's very pretty. Very nice. Mm -hmm. The word diesel. Or <laughs> diesel. Oh my God. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, it's very dimensional. Thank you like the cute carrot. Yes, it is. Mm -hmm. It's so quiet lately when I'm focused. Sorry. Uh, I think we all kind of get, it. get into my zone. <laughs> get into the zone. Auto zone. Uh, oh, Jude said, "What do you think of this, the Spectrum Aqua? Are they water? Yeah, they're watercolor. I have some of those, and um, I think that's what I have. Not Is sure how to use them." Uh, are they these? Oh no, mine are not spectrum, are they? Don't work too. 
letter set. Electro set. Hmm. I don't think I have any of those spectrum something or other. I'm not sure. You know what I got it for? It's like uh, when I watched the uh, stamp school from Oh yeah, after and she you know, she puts them on the stamps in different colors and things like that and stamps them. Right. Which yeah, that's what I'm gonna write. <laughs> okay, so I guess. Oh, yes. guessing so. <laughs> Have fun scamming. <laughs> scamming? He said, Oh scam and be back if I don't fall asleep. <laughs> Have fun scamming. <laughs> Actually, you know what? This one, I think we go there and oh, no. Shutter art, gold pens. Okay. Oh, this is my response number. <laughs> Giving out your phone number. <laughs> I know, I'm like, okay. My phone number. <laughs> I got all these notes all over the place, and I'm like, well, I have it in my phone, but I mean, <laughs> I'm like, oh, here's my phone number. Go ahead and ask me, Erin. <laughs> Ask away, yes. You got those two, yeah. Okay. I'm like skadoodle, scoot. Yeah, mosey along there. Get out. <laughs> Let's go. I can't. It was just so funny. A while, a long time ago, she go. I don't know what these leaders, ladies, were doing, and I have no idea what it was. She said they come in and they sit down and they're blah 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 blah. And then I was like, okay, now get out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, oh my god, in her New York accent, because <laughs> she can. Be... Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> oh my. Oh my papers. Oh my goodness. What's that? We're jamming. My paper's jammed. I think that should be the song for when I'm paper jam. Paper jammed. Paper jamming. We're jamming. Paper jam. You know that song, Stacy? Mm hmm. I don't. Don't make me. Don't make me get you. Uh. Don't make paper me. Paper jam. Get you. I know paper jams. No, that's <laughs> wrong. I know. Who's it by? <sighs> Bob Marley. <laughs> That's my girl. <laughs> ah, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I was gonna be a smart ass and say something else, but I didn't. <laughs> yeah, keep that. I was to gonna yourself. go, Lady Gaga. Oh <laughs> hell no! <laughs> <laughs> oh, hell no! I love Lady Gaga. She's my favorite. <laughs> no, I know she's amazing, but come on, from Bob Marley to God, well, yeah, that would have been a smart ass answer. <laughs> well, Lady Gaga is better than Bob Marley, but sorry. She would have been like, "We're jamming." No. <laughs> Believe me, anything she sings, she does well. So she could sing any damn thing. I <laughs> thought I did well right now. Hey, did you see her do the jazz stuff? Holy crap! No, that's what I was trying to mm -hmm. do. Oh. <laughs> mm -hmm. She goes from doing see? like rock and roll to jazz like in two seconds. Wow. You know that you know that um, like she's Thanks. one of my favorite yeah. artists. Her voice is amazing. Move, Teddy. Hmm. Jane. Sorry. Uh, 
Erin sent you a message, so she wanted to ask something before she leaves, I guess, until after your bead. Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah. Yeah, you can ask me a question. She got the question. I think she said she sent you a message. Oh, uh oh. Because it'd be easier for her, you know, I guess, to. Right. I'm thinking. I'm thinking. What's that? Why do you have this paper? No, I'll put this on. I haven't yeah, gotten yeah. your message, Erin. Can I ask, can I can I read your message later and answer it? This way I have more like cause, uh, you know, because this way I can concentrate on it. Yeah. Because my ADD, I'm not gonna be able to concentrate much on and give you probably a proper answer right now. Mm -hmm. Unless it's like a like a simple question, but I think it's pretty simple. Oh, okay. If it's the same question that you asked up way up, up top. Oh, shoot. Oh, I don't have a message from her. She said she, she messaged me? Yeah. Oh, I don't have a message from her, though. Yeah, I don't either. Yo tampoco. I, I think she meant she had a question here, right? Yeah, but I think she wants to send it to us. Oh, I see. She wants to send it on Messenger. Yeah, you can send it on yeah. Messenger. And Myra, too. Yeah, says, but I, I haven't gotten... Oh, okay, so Judy... Oh. Okay, okay. Here? I don't know. I'm confused. I'm confused. I'm confused. I'm confused. I'm confused. I'm confused. <laughs> <clears throat> okay, so this uh, it's about my package, Stacy. I did not receive my package from you, and I did not receive it anything in the mail. Um, no, giveaways are not a lot of giveaways haven't been sent out yet, so bear with me. I still haven't gotten a lot of things out. And right now I'm in the process of moving, so uh, you'll have to just give me some time on that. She's moving. She's moving. Yeah, I'm in the process of moving, so everything's kind of a mess. With a poo well. <laughs> a poo dale, poo dale. Poo -dale. Poo -dale. Yeah. Well, once I get moved, hopefully I'll be able to get everybody sent out quickly. Yeah. Possibly before that, too, because I want to get them out before I go, if possible. But, you know, I keep racking up the price of postage, and every time I go to send something out, it's like, oh, $4 for this, $4 for that, $4 for this. And it's like, okay, there you go. You just spent 12 or $15 on oh, three tiny kind of things. It's ridiculous. It is ridiculous. Mm -hmm. Teddy's making his way to bed on my feet. I mean, on my finally. Jeez. What's wrong with your feet? He he crawled. He, I mean, he climbed up on the foot thing of my chair because my chair has like a foot. I got a chair, by the way. I know I was complaining last time. Chair has a foot. Okay, hold on. Sorry, I have a bunch of thoughts in my head. Let me. Chair has a foot. My chair has a foot rest. Oh, I want one of those kind of chairs. Yeah. yeah. And That's what I need. He okay. keeps climbing Ooh. on it, but mm. being crazy. And just right now, he climbed back on it, but he he's cuddling. So he's ready to leave me alone. Mm. You mean her old or her new one? Mm. Mm. Oh, that's pretty. <sighs> wow. Let's go inside. We'll put some color. The baby. Inside, inside.
Her, her new address or old one? Nina? No, I have to be. Here you go. Here you go. All right, get out of my way. Yeah, if you, if you if you don't think I have your address, which I, I I mean I'm sure it's in the message that we had, you know, you can go ahead and send it to me again if you're not sure. That's fine. It's always good to double send me things like that because it's when my brain has it. That would be cool, Nina. It had feet like <laughs> human feet. There is a chair with human feet. They is there? Really? Yeah. yeah, I've seen it. Oh, fun. What the heck? That's <laughs> crazy. It's crazy. Mm. Fun, fun, Nina. Oh. Ooh. Hey, that works. <laughs> I've had these rulers. I've got four of them. I have one out because of the paper tear. That's the first time I've really used it. It works pretty good. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Hey, 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 Oh, I was saying to Erin that if she's worried Stacy didn't have her address, she could yeah. message or to her. Oh, oh. Okay, yeah. Okay, stay up there. I want to move the desk. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh. Ooh. This is fun. What if you could change its shoes? <laughs> You're right, Nina. <laughs> yeah, I don't know about that now. That I don't know. <laughs> that would be fun. Yeah. You can. My chair likes to wear high heels. No, no, you can slip into them. Like <laughs> oh, <laughs> my slippers and there. I got over there. Keep your feet warm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, oops. Okay, off the desk. No, no, that'd be fun. No, 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 no. I'm gonna start that because I can't grab it. Glob. Hmm. Okay, then we can grab it. All right, then don't then forget it. <laughs> I just do this. Forget about it. Just forget about it. <laughs> My paper. Oh, I could burn it. Burn edges. Burn on my edges. Uh oh. You burn my edges. You burn my edges, you do. Yeah, but they're good ones, Nina. Mm -hmm. Good ones. Yeah. We got good ones, good ideas. Hey. <laughs> Doesn't look like the paper's burning, but it really is. And then by the time you look at it, all your paper's gone. <laughs> it's all burnt off. It's all gone. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm burning it. <laughs> she goes, it's near the candle. Oh no, it's in the candle. <laughs> Some paper just will not burn. Some others are just like. Whoosh. <laughs> and look at it, it's still. Hey, one that won't burn were made just for you. I know. <laughs> <laughs> so they don't burn the house down. <laughs> I even sprayed water on it and it still was burning. What the heck? Oh, use my fingers, it's easier. Charlie. Charlie, but my fingers. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, food. <laughs> oh, see, I wet my fingers and then put them out, so it's easier. <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> you know, <laughs> Charlie. Ooh. 
Hey, Charlie, be careful, Charlie. Charlie. Charlie, eat my finger. Give me my finger back, Charlie. Ow. I forgot about this one. <laughs> it's under the thing. Ow. And I'm like, why is my finger burning? Ow. Stupid dumb thing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's great. That's going to look good. It's going to look great. It's going to look just fine. Just peachy. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> na, 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 Candy na, na. Mountain, Charlie. I always think of Charlie the Unicorn. Oh. <laughs> I oh. know. But see, it'll keep burning <laughs> each half your paper off. <laughs> Put the hair on your knuckles. Oh, that's pretty. I like that yellow on there. That's neat. I like it. I like it for look. Thank you very much. I'm not have to do another one. No. 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 Nope on a rope. Nope on a rope. Nope on a rope. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, man. Shit in your pants. Why are you doing that? <laughs> She getting nervous. Uh oh, tornadoes on me. <laughs> I'm not watching. I know what. <laughs> oh, good boy. Just remember, the odds of them actually hitting you is very slim. So. They're very small, you know, when there's. No. Sorry. In comparison to like how big an area is that it could hit. Where? What? What are we talking about? Tornado. We're talking about a tornado. I'm assuming. Teddy, stop it. Stop it. Teddy, stop it. I thought you were cuddling. You're talking about one? She's talking. I thought she was talking about tornadoes again. Jeez. Oh no, she's talking about me and my and my um. Oh, that's right. Oh, you're burning. Oh, okay. My burn. I think it's time to put my candle out because it's getting burning the house down. Burning the house down. Taking some burn. varnish on these wall. Mm -hmm. She's going down. It's got little fire extinguishers. <laughs> varnish. Oh, How far <laughs> are we from stopping to print paper? I mean, print money. No, this is going to work. I don't know. Not very long because you were just talking a minute ago and I heard you. Oh, yeah. Oh, you were How the heck did I do that? that? Oh, I don't know. You must have did what I always do and that's hit my mouse buttons. Twas a ghost. Twas a ghost before midnight. And all over the stream. Hmm. I'm going to figure out where I put my doohickey stuff at. 
Then they took my friggin' kidney. Uh oh, what was that, Nina? Candle has a lot of oil with that. Yeah. What kind of wax did you use? This is a candle that uh, Peyton from Mother's Day took me out. It's called Candle Chemistry, and we made our own candles. Oh, okay. Yeah, they were like out. They had little containers on the wall there. You can make candles or body scrub or anything. But I mean, this was for candles. And then you go and then you write down what scents you like. They had a bunch of, you just write down all the scents that you like because they had probably, oh gosh, maybe a hundred. Wow. <laughs> so we're like, sniff, 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 sniff. And so, she, you know, she liked one was called Old Books, which is really weird, but it's not good. And like an incense. And I was more flowery, like the jasmine and the lily of the valley. So yeah. then they take it and they'll like point out which two or which three are good together. It's going to uh -huh. mix them. And then, you know, you can decide. And mine was blackberry and lily of the valley or something. And then they bring this candle with just the... We, uh, soy wax or whatever. Um, well, first you got to mix it up. Mix these. You know, got to take it to the very tippy, tippy, tippy top of this uh, metal thingamabob, the oils and stuff. And then you stir it, stir it, stir it. And then when you like the scent, then you they bring the candle and you hold it like right next to the candle here. And then you go whoosh and you dump it in there so you don't spill it. And then yeah. of course you just. Get that and um, use a little spoon and you kind of stir it up, which mine spilled down the side because I'm a mess. Anyway, <laughs> then they're like, okay. Then you give it to them and you come back in a couple hours and put your candle up because they have to blaze them and whatever they heck that means. And then the wax has to fit for it to um, settle, yeah. right? Get, yeah. Yeah. Oh, and they gave us a little flower, a little carnation, which is funny because there it was, it lasted the longest. And we even, we held and we carried around for a couple of hours outside. It was hot. And mm -hmm. boy, they're still out there and they're pretty. And then a little tiny box with a little chocolate, like three little chocolates. <laughs> it was fun. Oh, nice. That's a nice little activity. Yeah. Oh, really, Jude? Oh, that's cool. Yeah, there's a bunch of people. Oh, and there, I've got Stacy. I wanted to take a picture. I'm what? going to take a picture. Um, There was a, a younger girl. Well, I'd say probably 20, maybe 20 years old, something like that. And then she was in a wheelchair, and she had the service dog. And it was huge black poodle. Oh, really? With little tiny shoes. Oh, it was uh, so cute. I I it. it was very, you know, I mean, people were, I was going to oh, I take a picture, but she seemed a little bit, I don't know. She's probably nice, but I thought, mm. yeah, usually so, yeah, you're not supposed to bother, I guess, working. Uh, yeah. Dogs. Well, I bet it was cute. What the hell? Yeah, they had them all nice and cut and little pom poms. I can't remember the name. Oh, that's cool, Jude. You mean the. Shoot. I need a thing to stick wax. Good. And stuff, mix your own waxes and all organic and stuff. It was really cool because there were so many fragrant, 
fragrances to smell. It was amazing. And that, like they had, I remember one was cigar and something. I don't remember. I was like, ew. And, it, and one was bacon. Those are just a few of the kind of raw ones. And, but they had really you know, neat ones. What? You were not going out. Oh. No. You should have poopied when we went out before. <laughs> Get her. He's like, but, but, well, there are you. Looky, tell okay. everybody I'm a dog that likes to go out. Oh. Oh. Chloe. I can't go outside. She didn't see that. She wants to go out and take a dump. I know. She should have when Ricky did it. Oh, yeah. Sure, everybody, how fat you are. Oh, my goodness, I got ashes. Don't fat shame her. Oh, my back. My back. I don't know if my jabby pokey thing. See, not a fat girl. I have 17 pounds because my mama feeds me too many Fritos. <laughs> what? Are you pretty? So everybody's a pretty face. Okay, I turned seven, it, yeah, about a month ago, huh? Didn't you? Didn't you? My poker is gone, damn it. Huh? Oh, yeah, shoes. There we go. It has a wooden handle on it and it was here. I don't know where it is now, but it was here. Right. It's not that red one, is it? No, it's a wooden handle. I don't know what the hell I did with it. Is that red one plastic? What red one? Where are you looking? Oh, that's the that's my bead maker. Oh, oh. what were you looking for? Not like all, you know? Oh, oh. You know what handle all? I don't know what the hell happened to it. It's here. Because it was here. I had it out yesterday. Oh, what a few more freckles on your oh bless you we played the sneezing game when we went outside her and <laughs> ricky were going i chew i chew <laughs> uh, yeah <laughs> such a little girl girl here comes the little ricky hi baby what <laughs> why are you guys smiley you got a smile we got a guy smiley over here. Well, you can't see him over there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You hide it. Get away from my damn desk. He's hiding it. Figures. It figures, damn it. What? The one thing I need is the one thing that's missing. Of course. Oh, no. We got in here. Oh, God. 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 Oh,
Pass away. That's where it is. <laughs> this is why packing is not a good idea. Mm, no. No, no. Teddy not sleeping. He was, but then he got excited because I grabbed a pillow to make him more comfortable. And then his little ass just started getting happy again. <laughs> Please. And he's yeah, about to climb up on the table. You gotta get see He's a little mm. sneaky butt. <laughs> Teddy, you can't be on here. Did you give him a stroller? Yeah, he's yeah, he has a stroller. Does he like it? He loves it. She's one of those. Look at your feet. Look at your feet. One of those with the crocs and the stroller. <laughs> Oh, no, I don't laugh like that. That's embarrassing. I don't even you know that makes me imagine. What? Oh my god. What? With my crocs and my stroller. I can't. <laughs> <laughs> that was not that was not a pretty picture to even think about. <laughs> and they'd say, What you got in there? And Teddy would pop his head out. Hey, everybody. There's a gnat in my water. I put this water yesterday and there's already a gnat in it. Oh, a gnat. A gnat. A gnat landed in my water. Because it's an asshole. Not gnat gnat. It's an right. asshole. Stupid gnat asshole. Asshole. No. You're an asshole. You're an asshole. Now we gotta get my I did keep my liquid leaf out though. Oh yay. Cool. Get in there. Feed your ass back in the pool. Okay. I'm gonna stick to mix. Stick to mix. Stick to mix. That's good. She's laying down. <laughs> She's laying down. That was divine. Mmm. This is the classic, classic gold, but it looks awfully copper to me. Classic. Teddy, stop. Oh. Uh -oh. Oh, the other color. Is that the only one I left out? Probably. I like to do the edges first. have the Krylon old leafing pen. You can work do with that too. That works really well. The Krylon? Yeah, the Krylon pen works good to do the edges. I just think it gives them a more finished look to have the edges and sometimes. Yeah. I'll even trim them a little bit if they're Ganatol. <laughs> what? Ganatol. 
in that hole. In that hole. Just imagine what's going to happen when Stacy moves into her new home and all the ladies in her area find out what she does for a living. What? <laughs> you already connect on Facebook or something? With people that live there? Yeah, I did. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Dude. Yeah, I already got somebody who wants to take me to like the craft fairs this summer and show me around the. Oh, nice. Fun, fun. Yeah. Yeah. Right? This one, no. All right. These are driving me nuts because this paintbrush has a little bit of a hair here that's not cooperating. That's wanting to be like. Oh, God. I hate that when, when they like do that. Up in a way that's driving me insane. Mm hmm. Yes. No ladies in the area are going to give a crap about what I do, I'm sure. And they ain't going to find out much about me anyway. I don't like to find out much about my life. She's going to be swimming. <laughs> These women. Yeah. It'll be only a select few people that'll know what I do. Right. And I have need to know basis because I don't know these people. Not yet anyway. Mm -hmm. But I'm, I'm always nervous about people knowing where I live and what I do. Yeah. Yeah, it's because there are many haters out there. It used mm -hmm. to not be like that, but just crazy people. Crazies and weirdos and scammers and look. Well, I was talking to Chris and, and, and I, he said, well, did you tell them that you're, you know, because I was talking to all these people in this group or whatever, you know, and they were talking about, I was saying how it was funny how some of them were saying, oh, and, you know, there's a community pool and this, that, and the other. And I was like, Thinking to myself, I said, I was thinking to myself, I don't need your damn community pool. <laughs> but right. like, well, did you tell them that you had your own pool? I'm like, no, I'm not going to say a word about that. He's like, why? I'm no. like, because I'm probably the only house in town that has their own pool. And probably people know that. Because yeah. usually, like, you know what I mean? Like, you, like, if it's a small town, which this is a very small town, you know, you know, like, people talk about, oh, that's the house with the pool. Do you know what I mean? They've had the pool since 1994. I'm sure they had mm -hmm. the pool because of their kids. And I'm sure a lot of the people in that right. town who lived there a long time know what house that is. Yeah. And I ain't saying a word because then everybody knows my damn address and knows, you know, oh, that house will be, you know, you know what I mean? Like, I'm not saying a word. No. I don't know these people. The hell. Can, can I come over and swim? Can my kid come over just for a oh, minute? Yeah, I don't care about that. That's not what I'm saying. That's not no, what I'm worried about. about. I'm worried about strangers robbing and shit. People uh -huh. are malicious and they're haters, mm -hmm. and then they're going to, they can start shit out of nowhere. And it's because, you know, just that's not, how people are. I just mean, I don't want to get robbed, period. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't want yeah. you know, people to know who I am because they'll be like, oh, that new girl, she's going to be living in this house all by herself. Yeah, because you know I told them that, but they don't know me, so they don't know where I'm living. So, right, you know it's it's, it's fine, but I don't want them. I'm not going to announce that I'm the house with the pool because in case they know that house, I'm not going to announce that I'm living there all by myself. Mm -hmm. You know, yep. they don't know me now. They're not going to know my address, so it doesn't matter. But in case the people in that small town know that that's a house you know know that house is the house with the pool because i don't know i don't think there's any other houses in that little town that have pools inside of them so i'm not you know so it's probably a house that people that have grown up there might know about because or just know that like oh that's where so-and-so lived when we were in high school and they had a pool in their house you know what i mean like yeah or something you know what i mean like you know how you you get to know like there was a house not far from here that had a pool inside their house you know what I mean? So, uh, and, and we all know about it, even though I didn't even grow up here. I don't know these people, but it's just something that people talk, you know, people say, oh, this house, that house over there has a pool in it. You would never know it. Blah, blah, blah. You know what I mean? Like people talk. 
So that's why I was like, Chris is like saying, oh, you should tell them that you have your own pool. You don't have to go to the community pool. I'm like, I'm not paying shit. I said, I ain't telling these people nothing because I don't know them. Yeah. I'm like, I don't, you know, because he's dumb enough to make that mistake and open his mouth and say something and let the whole world know where he lives. Right. I'm not. They've been looking for a house, place to live. I mean, who? Him and uh, the lady that was gonna Rick? come back. Yeah. Oh, and his friend. Yeah. Well, I mean, I don't know if they're looking yet, but I mean, I guess they've been kind of looking, but the oh. prices are expensive. But apparently, she can afford it. So. Yeah. Whatever. Not my problem. Not my problem. I want to move in together and pay ridiculous rent. Go ahead. Two four crosses away from home. Yeah, if you're to yeah, right. That's what. Oh, hey. Well, they yeah. Well, thankfully the pool's inside, so. It's not like, oh, it's the house with the pool outside, you know, or something like that. It's inside, so you can't tell. And you can't tell it's in the house by looking at yeah. the house or Google Earth or anything. You can't tell. The first tornado? Oh, boy. <laughs> hmm. She sounds like me when I first moved to Tennessee. After a while, you're just like, yeah, whatever. Wow. Mm -hmm. no. But yeah, like he was saying, oh, you should listen. You should tell people this, and you should say, I can't tell anybody nothing. They don't mm -hmm. even know. Me. You know, if I get to know somebody and they, you know, whatever, well, that's yeah, different. That's but different. You know, I don't know the people in this group. You know, and I've gotten to know a couple of the ladies, and I can tell that you know they're not like psychos or anything. They got kids, and they tell me about their kids, and I see on their Facebook that they got kids in the high school, and they're kind of like straight lacy type of women, which is whatever. You know, I can tell that they're like, you know, the churchy, very, very churchy, very, very whatever, which is fine, whatever, I don't care. Mm -hmm. But, you know, I'm not, in other words, I'm not that worried about them. But at the same time, I'm still, you know, if I want to meet them, I'm going to meet them somewhere public and I don't know them. So, yeah. Until I, you know, you know, but, you know, there's, I'm sure there's people I, you know, I'm not going to share my whole life story with or my address or any of that stuff. Yeah, I, I I do things on an ad need to know basis because, like with Chris, like I tell him when he when he moved in here, I'm like, you got to stop checking in, you got to stop putting your address out because I don't want my address out. Mm -hmm. And he like here, you know, he'll check in and everybody on his Facebook, and he has people on his Facebook that he doesn't even know, and that you know um, don't know him, and he don't know them, and he doesn't know anything about them, and he's out there, you know, tagging himself in every address he goes to and i'm just like don't you dare tag yourself here and put my address out because i'll kick your ass mm -hmm. yeah i don't want these people at my house i don't want these people that that you know because he's been robbed and he's had so mm -hmm. many he's been over so many times because he's such an idiot yeah because he doesn't think before he does things i'm like don't don't you dare put me in jeopardy you keep that shit to yourself right yep I don't, I don't trust people for anything. Just let you know, you know a bit. I mean, it's a it's a small town, and I'm not really like 
you know, overly worried about stuff like that. But at the same time, I'm not going to, I'm also just going to invite the risk into my life either. Right. And That's the hardest one to meet. Right? <coughs> so-called friends. They're ones you can trust with your life. I don't think so. Maybe four or half a dozen. <laughs> yeah, right? Oh, I know it. Yeah. I'm not a super trusting person when it comes to people. I've been burned enough in my life, too. I've learned not to trust a lot of people. I'm sorry, ladies. I'm I'm getting sleepy. Tired. She should be tired. <laughs> we wore her out. <laughs> I'm in an old lady. Yeah. Oh. I'm trying to hang in there because that uh, also the the allergy medicine it gets you drowsy but like i've been fighting it this whole time i'm like i want a craft i haven't done yeah. anything in a long time well even though it seems like a couple a couple days ago i was crafting but it's not it's not i've been out of the house you know busy so i want to make time for my crafting because i miss it and i have orders and stuff and it makes me feel like excited to do my stuff but i it sucks because I feel tired when I come home. Well, you well, need rest. It's important yeah. too. Yeah. That's right. We work. <laughs> you work. You gotta be tired. You wouldn't be human, you know. <clears throat> hey, you gotta yeah. be tired. You work with humans? No. <laughs> yeah. No. That's you're right. tired because you're only human. <laughs> oh, you're only human. Okay. <laughs> so you said, you gotta be tired because you work with humans. So I was like, <laughs> with people is a pain in the ass. <laughs> I think I used to dip these in too. I used to do the center like this in the hole, and then I would dip it like that, but I don't remember how far I would dip it in. Thank you, Jude. Um, so yeah. Well, I'm glad you have to come on and craft with us some. Yeah. Me too. When are you coming back? I don't know. It's <laughs> <laughs> it depends on how long it, what goes on this weekend but Sunday you know. okay. well Sunday I'll be on for my auction uh huh oh yeah okay oh, well, yeah. I'll send you a link I know, you know I know I say oh yeah because I, I forgot what day it was today <laughs> I was like oh my god I know it's it, yeah yeah so um I'll send, just I, send me a was, message I send people the, you know, the link. I'll just go down the line and go, boop, 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 and they got the link. Yes, yeah. I see it, and then um, when I get home, uh, I want to hop back on, but it's most likely going to be, I don't know, she later. Yeah. yeah. It's the stupid medicine. Mm -hmm. It's making me sleepy. Yeah. Medicine? Go for your allergy? Yeah. It like because I have to take it because like lately the pressure you know like when you're so congested, mm -hmm. and I still I still sound congested even though I like I had I took the medicine yeah. but if I didn't take it oh my god it would be worse and then I would mm -hmm. have a headache because the allergies like they plug up your ears and make you all itchy mm -hmm. and your throat mm -hmm. and the pressure and the and then your eyes are water mm -hmm. oh god it's a Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Fun. But at least I got a card done. Yeah. No, it's so pretty. It's so pretty. You need to have for an order, right? Oh yeah. Huh? 
that's for an order of that card oh yeah this uh, yeah i just have the, the these sunflowers i'm making this for the other one um but this one's priority this one i have to have done so they're gonna love it and then i'll probably i'll use the gate on the, the with the sunflowers I, I can already see it so yeah it's very it's pretty Thank you. All righty, ladies. All right. Have a good night, Mara. Yeah, rest okay. up. Have a rest good up. night. Give Teddy Bear a kiss. Good yes, night. I will. Or Barrington. <laughs> All right. Night, night. Night. Okay, bye. 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 There goes my dog's like, what? No. What's going on here? Mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. My sciatic pain. <laughs> did I take my me? Yeah, I took my medicine, did I? God. I think I oh. I don't remember. Jeez. I need to start using the pill container because I keep forgetting. I oh really? Really? Yeah. See, I forget too sometimes. Oh, yeah. It's it driving me nuts. Mm -hmm. I'll be like, oops. I know I, I didn't take the thing because I feel like crap right now, but if I would have remembered, it would have been easier. <laughs> yeah. I know it. Mm. Oh, you're using the gold marker for your ends. Yeah, I probably should use the paint up since it's really the gold marker is a little easier sometimes. It is, yeah. I think that gold paint that I have has got to be at least, at the very least, ten years old. Oh, really? I got it way before here. Well, we've been in here almost seven, so it's uh, probably older than that. It's old. Well, hi, Laura. <laughs> Let's go back from doing dishes. Hi, Laura. Dishes. Dishes. Dishes and dishes. Oh, that looks weird. Let me do that for you. Hmm. Oh, I need that one. Yeah. Oops. Okay. Damn it. I gotta stick to there, huh? If I had paint, a little bit of paint out here, I'd put Oh. Really? No. Okay. Ow! Oh God! Look what I did! Oh, you made me drop my bead. <laughs> I tried it in the paint. Oh God! <laughs> no, it's not your fault. It's uh, you said ow, and I was like, what? Ah, and I wasn't paying attention. Oh, I Damn it! I, no. I caught well, my skin in the pen. Coated bead. That's for sure. It's, in the pen top. My skin's in there. Oh my god. Skin? <laughs> yes. I went to put the top on. Look. Ooh. Janie. <laughs> <laughs> I have a gold mm. coat bead. Oh. Oh, you got gold. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. <laughs> You're like, ow, oh, I'm like, bloop. <laughs> oh my god. Oh god. <laughs> hey, is it it's golden? <laughs> it sure is. Mm -hmm. I don't know where to put it because it's gonna drip. Oh. Oh. oh really, if I could just get my shit together instead of having like a shit show going on, it would be a lot easier. <laughs> oh goodness. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna saw this off. Oh. Oh. <laughs> 
I've got plenty of paint here to use, so I'll just use it. I ain't doing that again because then <laughs> if I can get startled that quickly. <laughs> I know, right? Oh my goodness. <laughs> I'll drop another one. <laughs> no startle, no startle. Oh, it cut right off. Okay. Mm -hmm. What did you do? Cut your skin off? No. I, <laughs> the bead. Oh, I was no. trying to get it right off. I'm like, what are you cutting? It's the black bead or the black pen in here, but that black pen isn't working. And then so I said, well, I'll just cut this part off. <laughs> the cut stuff that it did that leave a did that leave a, a well on your finger? Or was it like when you when you take a safety pin and stick it or like a, a needle and stick it in like your you know for like outer skin layer? You know, it's like easy to do that. Yeah. yeah. Okay, Judy. Well, I just I did my cuticles with the oh no, I did I? No, I brought the cuticle nippers out and I didn't do it. So it's kind of you know, where you can you can do that with the safe now if I would have taken that off. Oh, off like I was doing my cuticles, I'd be like, whoa, I'd have soft skin. <laughs> oh. But yeah, it <laughs> felt weird. <laughs> My bet. It just like caught me. It just caught me. Stupid pen. At least it could have worked. <laughs> so dried up, I think. It's been a long time since I've had that pen. Where'd it go now? Oh, this um, uh, food bowl. Food, 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 F U D E. Feud? Feud? Feud bowl. bowl. Yeah. Feud. Food. I love the way. So I love those pens. They work really good. Yeah. I think what happened is I got it and then <laughs> I really, it was a long time ago again and I didn't use it, and now it's like dried up, pretty much. <laughs> dried. dried up, dried up. Let's see. Oh, well, now it works. You dumb pen. <laughs> okay, go away. Stupid, stupid pen. Um, oh. When I was going, oh, that's not it. When I was going through the stuff for the house, when I sold the house, it, the container out in the garage, you know, it had all kinds the of, house. Huh? yeah, the dollhouse. It had all kinds of, you know, pieces of wood that we had cut. And then I had painted all the little tiny strips that we were going to, you know, huh. do the, the porch and all that. And everything was labeled. And everything had rubber bands. You know what the rubber bands were like. I just went, Doop, and they just fell. Everything fell apart. Oh, yeah. It's been out in the garage for, oh, my, well. Time. Yeah. But it was like, I don't know. I found some a tape measure, and I found some of Darlene's old pencils that she had, and just a bunch of, so I cleaned it. You know, clean that thing. I've got another container now. Clean the container and gave the people all the wood and stuff that I had cut and direction and all that kind How of much did you sell it for? 150. Okay. Well, but <laughs> me with the PayPal, I forgot. And so I got 145. <laughs> yeah, I yeah. take their, you know. Of course. Mm -hmm. I'm like, darn it. Because, you know, I just, I forget. And plus she, lady really doesn't. So she was trying to do, and then her husband said, well, here, use mine. I don't use it that often. And then she's like, well, I need a password. And he's Why well, wouldn't these people bring cash? I know. I don't I mean, know. Geez. That's weird. Yeah, that is weird. Usually when you go somewhere to pick something up, you have cash on you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't feel like sit there with no money and be like, uh, now what? Yeah. Damn it. Does this thing have to be stuck with a gas mask? Come on. Stupid shithead. Yeah, it was kind of weird. Like, now how do I pay for this? I'm like, um, <laughs> usually you get cash and you want to have it. And I was like, what? have you ever been to a yard sale? I mean, who do you think it's a 
You think I got like a credit? Here, bend over. I'll use your ass as a credit card swipe. Oh my god! I know. It's like what? What? <laughs> that was really dumbass of them. Wow! I, I just was. Jude's going to take a bath. She said. Yeah, she she said I'm going to take a bath. I just see well, the husband. I am. You should have seen his face because she said, Well, he thought I told him how big it was, what the scale was, and he thought it was like this little because she, I guess, she finished a little house, you know, whatever. And she wanted a bigger scale. <laughs> he comes in and he's like, And we had it on the kitchen table, and he, his face was like, What is that? Because <laughs> I told you. And he goes, he just kept saying, I thought it was like a small little, and she goes, no. <laughs> sure. I'm like, yep. Yeah. It's a big one. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah. <laughs> Bless his heart. I know. Bless his little heart. <laughs> Like, give me my money and get out. <laughs> Were they an older couple? No, probably. <laughs> oh, they looked, you know, like my age, but they're probably younger. <laughs> I'm sure. I always think they look at, you know, and it's like, no, we're only, you know. Um, I'd say... Yeah, 50s. Oh. This paint it smells so bad. Not bad, but strong that I, I kind of like the smell, but it makes my oh, nose. Yeah. Look good. The enamel. Like, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I kind of like it too, but then I, I like the smell, but yeah, I hate that it makes my nose do that. <laughs> simple, you know? Yeah. Diana and everybody, they disappeared. Oh, no, that reminds no, me. No. Let me oh, all right, where are you, you Mouse? Care about us no more. No. Oh, there was 17. There's 13 people sleeping. Well, one's taking a bath. <laughs> one is taking a bath, so that drops it down to 12. Well, she might not be on. She might have shut it off until she got done with her bath. So she, not, she might not be counted in that 13. Oh. Hmm. Who's out there? Who goes there? Who goes there? Laura is probably, since she was just here, maybe. Mm. Maybe. Myra's out there, I bet you. She's fine. Oh. She's out there all right. Mm. She's laughing at us. <laughs> She's a laughing. Where's that Randy at? Did she make her bed yet? <laughs> right? Yeah. JD fell asleep. We know that. Linda should be up any minute. No, not yet. You have about 4 30. So a little bit. There she is. There's Laura. See? Yeah, you, Laura. I thought, because yeah, you just said something. <laughs> Let us look in peace. There's a net. See? I told you they're coming out. Look in peace. <laughs> we're just going to wonder where you are and who's out there. That's all. Yeah. You didn't have to talk. Oh, but now that you no, did, we know you're there, so we're going to get you. <laughs> going to get you. Going to get you. 
There's no peace mm -mm. here. No peace for the weary or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> So Some maybe that along too. Eleven. <laughs> Laura's like, yeah, you tell him. Hmm. Don't get no peace. Don't get no peace. Mm -hmm. Peace? No peace. No peace. No dig. No dig. <laughs> no digs. <laughs> no digs. No digs. What are you doing, Annette? Mm -hmm. Besides lurking. Besides being a lurky turkey. Is your hair growing out? <laughs> <laughs> Better. Oh my God! Every place we go now, because you know, hey, I've been out a little bit, and Dwayne goes, "You want to stop and get your hair cut? You want to stop and get your hair cut? You want to?" I'm like, <laughs> "Oh my God! I will do it one of these days. Just leave me alone." <laughs> get your hair well, then surprise the shit out of him when you couldn't get on a plane to come see me. I know, right? You better do it too. I don't want to hear excuses. <laughs> I've been saving all my money for my haircuts to go on the plane. There you go. <laughs> See, because you're going to miss out with everybody coming next, and then you you won't be there. Oh, no. I know. I could get you just have to suck it up, buttercup, and get on a plane. <laughs> do I have to hitchhike to your house? <laughs> I don't know if you want to do that. <laughs> plane will be a lot quicker and easier. No, I mean, <laughs> I mean when I get off the plane. <laughs> oh no, of course not. Pick you up. Who was silly? No, you're gonna hitchhike. Uh, pick you up. The airport's only an hour from me. So I'll arrange to pick everybody up. Oh. It's not far. To me, an hour is not far at all. It's not far. It's just a pain in the I've been to that oh, airport. Been there. It's like, mm -hmm. I've been there. You've been there. You yep. know. You know. <laughs> Dwayne gets all worried about like Peyton, when she went to me, I go, just leave her alone. She, you know, and she's like, I know dad, I know dad. Well, you don't know um, the, you know, the one, two, three, four. Well, you don't know four, or whatever they call it. I can't remember. <laughs> My mind's blank. There's so many people there. And she goes, I know how to find my way. I'm like, let her do her thing. She'll be fine. <laughs> do her thing, chicken wing. Yeah. I'm like, there's an ocean between us. No ocean. Swim, hitchhike, swim. Come on, you can, you can, you can get on a plane oh. or a boat. <laughs> Start swimming now, you'll get here. That's right. <laughs> You know, swim and swim and then swim. Oh, you said JD here earlier? I don't even. I don't, she was here know. earlier. Oh. I could have sworn she was here earlier. Right? She was here. Don't make me second guess myself. I don't know. I don't remember. <laughs> oh, I can't remember. Remember. She was here. She had to have been here. Hmm. I'm not going crazy. I swear it. <laughs> it's funny because I'm thinking, wait a minute, was it that, that was that the auction? <laughs> was it the other night? <laughs> I was it the other night, but she's usually here for the live streams. Yeah. She was here. I don't remember. Kind she of. was here. She was here. <laughs> she's there. She's there. And she's everywhere. See, they're all rolling into each other. Mm. I know. Hmm. Laura B was here. She said, Magic. Yep. Still, not okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and um, Linda said she's back to getting up at what four thirty. So that's two thirty. Mm -hmm. 
three thirty four. It's almost five thirty there. Hey. In the morning. Be yeah. here soon. Yeah. You you put it a lull and between the the night people and the morning people. Yeah, yeah, that's true. It really is. It's usually like an hour lull where there's just very few people, and then all of a sudden the morning people get up and they're yeah. coming. Hey, what kind of trouble we're making over here? <laughs> like Linda and Randy and mm -hmm. everybody else is working out there, and they'll come forward and say, "Hey, we just got up, and you run." I'm gonna do that. Mm -hmm. You're still on? Yeah. You're still mm -hmm. on? <laughs> no. When, play oh, when you did, and then we came back exactly right before you did. Yeah. Oh my God. This morning, I was like trying to sleep, of course, and then I, they wouldn't let me. So I got Peyton. I swear to God, I'm gonna do that to her someday. I try to sleep, and I'm like, Peyton, and she, she come in. She cut the band off of her. The hospital thing, and she's wrapping it around Ricky's nose. I go, oh my what? god! And I, I was so tired. I'm like, stop it! And then, of course, <laughs> Sophia, she's like, <laughs> she's digging in my hair, and under, I'm like, <laughs> and Dwayne, he's, he's walking, and uh, I said, come get Sophia, and then she's like, no. I go, Peyton, <laughs> barely awake. I'm like, will you get out of here, Sophia? And I go, take your, take Sophia, and close the door, and she goes. She's just a baby. I said, Peyton. <laughs> but you're not. Get the hell out of here. I know. <laughs> I'm like, go, go. Um, but then I was like, oh, my God. And then Dwayne came home. I can hear him out there. He was loud. And I said, okay, this isn't going to work. I'm going to get up. And then that's when we got going to Noreen's, you know, and got the list. But he's like, what did he say? Oh, I know. In the morning, I was really tired. And I said something. And he goes, well, you should have went to bed earlier last night. You should go better. And I go, wait a minute. I was driving and getting the car and doing all that. <laughs> wait, <laughs> I wasn't just here. I was doing stuff, but you guys were fighting him, but you know, with her. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's why I was tired. <laughs> and that may be an ocean between us, but our hearts are never far apart. Oh, that's right. That's right. Oh, and then she leaves. <laughs> okay. La -da 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 -da. <laughs> she left me all alone. Oh, oh, leave me. Oh, I should close these before I spill all of them. I was separating beads. Just they're not going to stay in here, but. Wait. Is that me? Oh, God. I always second guess myself if that's my internet <laughs> or hers. Well, if I'm still on, it has to be hers, right? I don't know. Can anybody hear me? No. Uh... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's me. Oh, good. So it's okay. Because I was gonna have to complain to the to those internet people <laughs> again. And say, hey, quite a close. All right, wrap. <laughs> she dissolved. <laughs> she dissolved. Oh no. <laughs> That's kind of scary. Where might be able to go? <laughs> I don't know what happened. My camera just completely said screw you. And it cut off. I was able to hear you and everything, but I just I my camera and microphone just decided to stop working and I was like, uh okay. Wow. Yeah. That's weird. <laughs> I have no idea. I give up on life. Oh, that's like a all its little secrecies. <laughs> I know, right? I got, I got gooey and gooey, and my my whole bot, my whole my whole world just shut down. <gasps> she dissolved. <laughs> no dissolving. 
<laughs> She's getting sappy. Cut her off. Cut her off. <laughs> <laughs> Hmm. Beats me. It's all Jamie's fault anyway. Tiki. Oh. Oh, la la la. Oh. Wing, wing, wing. Application, but you know, what are you gonna do? Mm -hmm. What you gonna do about it? What you gonna do? I feel like my beads are not finished unless they have their little gold bands around the edges, yeah, and the ends. <laughs> Can't even blame the cat for that. I don't have a cat. Hmm. Can't blame the poodles because they're not in here. They're sleeping. Mm -hmm. Did I? Hang on a second. I heard I hit my phone. Oh god, my legs! <laughs> my legs in them. What did you say? Was that your phone? I don't know. I heard a these message things. I tell you, that's. I don't know what. Scam. Scam. Three. Spam. Spam. Spam and spam. Spam and spam. <laughs> Him and scam. <laughs> I don't know. Hmm. Hmm. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I don't know. I don't know either. I don't know what that was. <laughs> Linda, you something. We, do, we don't do sass. We do cheek. Cheek? Sass? Yeah, you do. They do cheeky. They're cheeky, not sassy. Cheeky little monkeys. Monkey? Cheeky. So instead of the word sassy, they're cheeky. You know what I mean? That's what. That's what. Their equivalent to sass is called ch being cheeky. Oh. Okay. <laughs> I'll remember that. I don't know. <laughs> I, know you will. I don't know you will remember that. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> well, you've heard of the term tongue in cheek, right? I bet that's where it's something where it's come where it comes oh, from. Oh yeah. Yeah. I don't have any more than anything in over here. Oh. I think I want to know. No? No? Okay. No. All right. Are any of them need a touch up? Touch up. Touch up. You need touch up. Oh. Sometimes they need more than one coat. Oh, with the, yeah, with the paint. Yeah. Hey, get back here. Don't do it. I oh. tried by jumping off the table. Oh. I saved it. No jumping. You saved its life. I did. Good. Just to coat it in some poisonous paint. Mm. <laughs> That's why I was jumping away. Mm -hmm. no. no, don't do it. Don't do it. No. You know that... Uh, 
with that big that pink thing that you know with the that holds all the bottles and it turns. I got the great yeah yep. Yeah. Found that well, actually, B Ma found it at the <laughs> thrift store, but it was pretty new and everything. But it's still in the bedroom on the floor. I don't, I don't know. It's not gonna. I don't think it's gonna fit in here. I don't even know where I would. Why? Put it. Why wouldn't it fit? Can you put it in the top of one of your carts? Well, maybe. It's such a big thing. It's so small in here, you know. I mean. Well, if you get rid of it, I'm gonna buy it off the yeah, I call dibs. I wonder if it comes apart. If I. How would I send it? Put it in one of just a big box. Send it UPS. Oh. It won't cost that much. It can't be that heavy. No. <laughs> just when the paint's in there. <laughs> right. But it's I mean, you know, I, I love the thing. It's just I, it's see if it'll fit the top of your carts first. Yeah. Because it might. Because I'm thinking that big cart from Harbor Freight, that huge one, I'm going to have to put right. stuff on there and probably somehow keep it in the other room or something because I've got that one, then I've got the little one. Right. And they're just so massive. <laughs> massive is like, whoa, you know, and right. just to be able to walk in here and, you know, make my way to the window and enjoy whatever you know decorations i'm gonna have up instead of right of stuff you know but i don't know mm. wish i had a place for it well, why don't you just put it on a like a table a side table or something well my desk is here and then i'm gonna have my like the little cubby things and but then in front of me is like a big long like ethan allen table that i had bought a long time ago and i have the tv right. which sets right at the you're not gonna have any other tables in there or any kind of things there's just well see I'm, i was gonna use this the table that table for the big shot put that big shot but then right, right behind the tv we took the computer desk because i was gonna like have that for something no, I guess I could put it on there because yeah. then right in the front window is the that wicker thing that I love. It's perfect for the sewing machine. I mean, it's got the drawers. Everything's perfect over there. That's set. Right. And But I have this, like the six-foot, eight-foot tape, whatever it is, a big dining table that we got at Walmart just to put, have some, somewhere to put stuff where I can see it and then put it away. Right. <laughs> That's been in here forever. It, it was just more of a, it's more of a pain than anything. But so maybe once that's out, it's going to be good. Cause that's just like been in there since what, for like a year <laughs> pile and stuff. So it's probably going to look more open. Um, yeah. But I guess I, I kind of want like, more of an open so then that way i can put like i can enjoy the, the artwork maybe on one wall finally and then put those lights i've got those lights and you know what i mean and that's what, that way sometimes you have too much crap in the room you can't enjoy anything because it's yeah you know but let's see hmm. Well, well, just finally take the bucket stuff here. This glitter crap, probably. Wait, oh, I want you there. No, I don't want you. Wait. Wait. Okay. I will use my stickles. Whatever the hell it is. <laughs> I'm gonna, this guy's over. 
Some pretty stickies. Pretty stickies. Mm -hmm. Sticky and gooey, and are getting away. Yeah. yeah. Oh, crap. Let's get back on here. It's easier to do it when you were on there, I think. I tell Brian, I go, he has to be like get the Kleenex is at another store because it's they're much they're well now that it's more like the same price and <laughs> they were cheaper than Walmart and I'm like because where you know, um fries for the um Kroger brand like oh yeah they just because one kind I like are the Puffs Plus. See, I would love those. I go through so many. Though. I mean, I don't go through that many, but I do no. need to have tissues around because I at least blow my nose a couple times a day. God, I go through like. <laughs> oh, really? I don't know why? It's, well, we have too much dust in here, you know, and oh, well, just Arizona. Yeah. yeah, me and my dust, you know. <laughs> but it's like. You see, you know, stocks up on everything except the Kleenexes because I have, you know, one in the craft room, one in at the in the bedroom. Um, actually, I have one by the front window here. I have one in where the TV is in the other room where we sit. You sound like me. One on the countertop. <laughs> with the uh -huh. thing over it. Yeah, because yeah, I have one in the drawer. I keep it in the drawer of my because I you know I sleep on the couch so right the drawer of the of the coffee table I keep mm -hmm. a box of tissues in there and then I have one on my dresser and I have one in my craft room usually yeah so I have one in there because I moved into this room and didn't grab the tissues yeah fall down jackass. I need to move out of my way here a little bit in my space. Yeah, they all run out at the same time. I mean, mine got my twin. <laughs> so you could get four boxes or something like five boxes right off the bat. And then <laughs> you should have a, a supply of them. We're going to do gold. We're going to do gold glitter. Gold, silver, and gold. Gold with glitters. Since I was rudely scared to death when I was trying to dip this nicely in the bowl, 
And Jamie's yelling, ow. And I had to look up because I was like, what happened? What happened? And I dropped it. It went plop. Yep. I was like, dang it. It got my finger. Not Charlie. <laughs> You know, I kind of like subtle glitter on some of these. I think I'm going to use Wink of Stella because it looks like that kind of glitter, sort of. Oh, that looks pretty. Oh, yeah. That. I'm going to use some of that. I think I brought my Wink of Stella with me, I believe. I put that on a few things. Um, and also that um, pen, that clear pen and the sparkle pen. I got brand new ones. Yeah. Oh, wait a minute. Where are my Wink of Stella? They were in... No, oh. another box. They were in the thing. Oh, there they are. Okay, I just had to think for a minute. I'm like, where oh. are they? Put it up here. I think they were on that shelf. In here. What is this? I can't see. Put my glasses on. I can see. Yeah. Where? Idea. Mm -hmm. What's this one? What's the one that I filled? Come on, dumbass. Where are you at? No, I know. No, that's the white. Huh. All right. Yeah, I can't get the drawer out. I don't want the tip every time I'm trying to look for it. There we go. There. There. And this drawer where it's not supposed to be. No, this is GL clear. Is that right? Oh, yeah, that's it. Okay. I think. I think. I think so. I don't know, but I think so. That's some white. Oh, no, that looks dumb. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Got this white pen. I know I have the I just bought a whole pack of them. They're over there. If I took one out. This is the white. Maybe it's over here. Oh my god! Oh, what? The jelly roll. I got the silver and the clear. That's the one I didn't have. It's the clear. And oh, so, yeah. but like the pack of five. Okay, so this is the white. This is the silver. I think. Yep, the silver glitter, or whatever. This might be the older one. I don't see that working. I don't. Where are you? Hmm. Oh, that's what I usually do. I usually have beads at the bottom so that they don't sit directly on the paper. That's what's different. I'm like, why does this seem different than my other one? I usually have little beads. Um, I have beads. I get beads. I got beads. Um, I got beads. Are they all over here? Yeah. It's going to make me get a new one out. Oh, is this it? Is it hiding? Is this it? This can't be it. This looks like an older one. Mm -hmm. Okay, I got the bronze pen too. Oh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Make me get out another one. This one. Doesn't work. Let's see. Um, 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 um. That's You're not going to work. Are you an old one? Maybe. No. I'm trying to light it. Hmm. Well then, she might have to throw you out because I'm not working. Oh, there's a gnat. I got him. I think. Was that got him? Really? Yeah, I think so. Gnat. <laughs> Lying in my face. 
Yeah. Okay, well. All right. Bye bye. Bye bye now. Bye bye now. See ya. See ya. See ya. Wouldn't want to be ya. Yeah, all right. behind me. Let's see. Skizzers. Skizzers. Yeah, skizzers. And more skizzers. This one looks new. This one. Hey, get out of my hair. Ten. What's ten mean? It means numbers one through nine. The next number would be ten. <laughs> ten. <laughs> okay, this this looks like a glitter. These are the upper ones. This would be the clear one. Are you looking for your Wink Estella? Oh, the, the new pens? Because remember, I didn't have a clear. I had the white and... The, oh, the, the what do you call it, pens? Yeah, the jelly roll. Yeah. This, tip, this must be the new one. There's a tip on it. Wait. Oh, so the tip is not coming off. Okay. Just the tip. Oh! No, it's the white. It's a new white one. Why do I have a new white one? I don't wear new white ones. Or is that clear? It just looks white. Does it come out white? What? Jelly roll? It comes out milky. The clear does. It'll come out milky and dry clear. Oh, maybe that's it. Okay. Because I don't think I got any more of the. Just come out looking like that. Is that scribble supposed to be the jelly roll? What does it say on the jelly roll? Why don't you read it? <laughs> Ten. It says, see? Huh? Jelly roll 10. Well, what does it say above the barcode? XPG. I don't know what that is. That looks like a white pen. That, that, that looks like a white pen, not like a like a white pen, not a not a clear. Yeah, I have a white pen. Oh. Mm. Mm. I got a package over here. I took one out. Let me see. They are white. Oh. And now you go back to lurking. Where are you? Hey, you're white. Are you not? So I got new white ones. Let me check. Let me go and see in the other room. They must be in there then. They better be in there. You just buy them, you said? Yeah, because I got the whole package here of white. But no. I know I got the uh, clear because I've never had clear. So maybe they're in here. Let me check.
I stole them. Alright, we have the beads, we have the things, we're all good. Get out of there. Get out of there. Get your butt out of there. Twelve people watching and that left. So where'd my pen go? Oh, there it is. Okay. Now, now we can do our thing. Chicken wing. The 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 stickles is fine. But the stickles is for when you want to add a lot more bulky glitter. But just a touch of glitter, this works better for that. That just gives like a shimmer. Not that anybody's watching right now, but it gives a pretty shimmer. Shimmer. And you can just transfer it. Whereas the actual other kind of glitter is a little bit more glitter, glitter, glitter like that. Glitter, 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 glitter. This one already has a good amount of glitter on it, so we're just gonna add it. You little bastard. Get on there. Get on there, it's easier to use your hand. Brush and turn and brush. Hey, when I need you, you're too little. I need the stick for you. Nobody's talking to us today. Everybody's asleep. Everybody's a bunch of old ladies. I'm making glitter beads. find what she was looking for? No, not in the other room. But right. mm -hmm. I took that whole pack and put it in the other room because I've got new ones and I found these. Oh, glaze. Yep. Okay, the one's missing. Mm -hmm. I don't know where it went. Oh, here's a clear. 
One's missing. Where is it? Where is it? You used it there. Uh, hmm. Well, let's see what it looks like. And maybe let me my fingers. Let's see. Because <laughs> I got them at the same time. I'm going to try it. Okay. So it has this little bit. Okay. Let's go. Not one like that. This one. Oh. Okay. Maybe this is it. Looks new. Okay. I'm going to mix it up. Okay. That's you probably glitter around the glaze? Um. This this one is the glaze, and then the clear has this little thing. So maybe this one is it. It'll say clear and glitter on the side. Hmm. Let's see. It has a little thing on there. Oh, it has a little star. That's the glitter. Yeah, that's a glitter. The glitter has just a little star thing. The clear should have a, a it should say clear or like, or something like that. Well, well, this, okay, this one's out, but this one, because there's two to a package, see, it says clear. Uh-huh. It might be clear glitter. Oh, it is. Okay, and then the glaze is. The glaze is the clear, like, just glaze. Yeah. Okay. That's why. So I've got one of these out, I think. <laughs> I must do. I took one out. What? I put this one away again. <laughs> oh, no. I got the tape. Oh, no. I got the tape stuck. I'm not doing that. So what happens? I get too many out, and then I don't know which one's which or whatever. And then, like, I've got. It's like, why get two new ones out when you already have one to finish and blow? Right, I know. <laughs> so this one, okay, yep, there it is, Grace. I threw, just threw one out because it was not working. Hmm, it looks like the same one. I bet you it just wasn't, just not working. That's not 700. 700. Okay. Does it work? I, oh, yeah. I got the new one. It's What's this 700? Hmm? Where, where does it say 700? Um, right up. Oh. Right up here. See? Mm. Oh, 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 that. Yeah. The, 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 yeah. So, the so that's a new glitter. Now, since that's glitter, okay, so there's, that one's that. Now, there's a, there's a glaze, and I had two of them in here. Where the heck is it? Okay, so let's get put that one over there. <laughs> that one in. Mm. The glaze. The glaze. Come out. Come out. Get out. Come out. Come out, wherever you are. <laughs> 800. Oh, it says glaze. Okay. Yep. All right. Let's see these two. This is 700. This was already. Oh, oh, is it this? This one doesn't say. So here's probably the older um clear glitter one but what's this one it doesn't say filled that up already since i'm just putting the glitter on i can go and put them on top of each other hmm. let's see oh is this another no. white to white Wait. Hmm. Another white one. <laughs> the whites sometimes come in two packs. The clears come in two packs, and, and the clear glitter come in two packs. The glaze, all, you know, and the clear. Yeah. 
because this one's new and then I had two but one was taken out so I got so I found that one the brand new one that was out of this package in the clear so I put that over there but then the glaze there's one missing but I can't and it says glaze right on here this is the new one but there's one missing so I must have one uh, yeah okay. this, one, says, this one is a I don't know. White. Another white one. Okay, so put that one over here. Don't have any there. Okay, here's one over here. Let's see what that what this what this this one looks new. What is now that one's white too. I don't understand. Hmm. Number 50. Mm, yeah, the ones that are clear or, or glitter don't have numbers like that on them. I mean, well, unless you're looking at the UPC code. Above so, here. Yeah, you're looking at the UPC code. If it has a little shooting star on it, that's glitter. That's usually always glitter. It might be colored glitter, but it's glitter. Okay, these don't, but see right above that yeah above the upc oh, okay yeah, yeah. and huh. but this one says 10 whatever the heck that is but it says 50 the same as this one so it's got to be the same so yeah and they're both look kind of they're they're both white yeah and this one's the glitter because it has a little so maybe you have a two pack of white a two pack of clear a two pack of glitter the white I have a five pack and oh that one I hi Kim <laughs> put that one away yeah see that one's a glitter mark the caps yeah mark the caps is a good idea that's why you'll know next time hmm. if you have like a white paint pen you can put on the white ones and yeah but this one says 08, and this one says 10, but they both look alike coming out. Hmm. No, that one's really white. But maybe that's, oh, maybe that's clear. Okay. Put that one there. <laughs> yeah, the clear will, will look kind of transparent, like milky. And then when it dries, it dries clear. Okay, let's see. This one might be it then. Let's see. Let's see what the glaze one looks like. That it, I just okay. Cause see, it still has a thing on there. So I'm taking it off. I'm gonna see what it looks like, and then try to find the other one. Um, let's use this one. Okay, I see it coming out. Nope, I have not run across this one yet. So it's got to be around here. This is the brand new one out of the package. There's two in here. I took one out, so it's somewhere. Oh, oh, I do have the thing of pen. Yeah. Yep. See. Well, you know what it looks like. Barely, it's on there. But yeah. Yeah. Okay. So let me just look in right in back of it. You've been lurking since three eight now. Well, then why aren't you talking? You left me all alone. While well, Janie was off looking for pens. Oh my, you were sleeping. <laughs> okay, She was sleep working. That's right. She's sleep working. Okay, 
two pens. Oh, sorry, I'm in pain. What's in what's what's your oh. pen? Oh. Oh, thanks, Annette. <laughs> she flew up there in the chat. Okay, because where? They were coming out white. Oh, there she is. Oh, okay. she decided to talk to them. But when I was saying, where are you, Annette? Where are you, Annette? She moved me. <laughs> oh. This How one's cat are you? <laughs> the one with the white caps or the white? Oh, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, I didn't even think of that. But, yeah, you're right. The one, the, the white ones do have white caps. This one's a different oh. one. Oh, it's different? Just see that. Oh yeah, but, I mean even the glazed one, even the 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 doodad ones, it, it, it usually have a white cast if they're white. Oh, look it! Look, look at it! <laughs> <laughs> look where it is! Ah, it's hiding in there amongst other things. Yes, it is glazed. There it is. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. There's the glaze. I'm okay. This one's the new one. Going back in here because I got one. Okay, good. Uh, um, oh no, man down, man down. Dressed and sitting at the hospital yesterday from five. Oh, wait. Dressed and sitting at the hospital Ooh. Oh, so you like your back hurting and stuff? uncomfortable wait a minute what are you doing? he was in there mm -hmm. wasn't he in he was in you knew that right well when he was in before like oh did he, oh that's right did he come on did he come home and go back yeah, or is he still in there? no he didn't come home um, are we thinking of, see we get so many people mixed up are you thinking of mary yeah oh he is home he came home Mary. Oh. yeah her husband oh, okay um, doing okay healing up and i should keep us informed and she says okay yeah See? clear glaze new ones like that one. Oh, they did was it from the same thing kim as before they was in there Oh, that clear is clear. Definitely gonna work. I like the signet, the uniball broad ball. Yes, I do too. Yeah, they're nice. This one I don't think works. <laughs> oh, I don't think it's gonna work. I've had it for a while. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Is it ain't gonna work? I'm gonna throw it out. I'm going to throw it out. Breathing hmm. this time, they cleaned. Oh, his, oh, okay. So they're just. Is it just for like to do that and then um, observation or whatever, and they're gonna let them go home? <laughs> I want to throw out the pen if it's gonna work. It's not gonna work. Okay, it's gonna go bye 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 pen. Bye bye. Oh. What is it? Is it one that you used up? Can, you can tell when it's used up because you'll see there's nothing left in the thing. I think it, yeah, because see, I mean. Oh, yeah, it, that's gone. Yeah. I've had it for quite a while. You used it and abused it. I have. With a lot. All right. Um, they have been washing him all night to minimize bleeding. Oh. Oh. Do they know why it's bleeding like that? No. 
The frog's breathing is coming up. Oh, okay. Huh. Hmm. Yeah. Oh, that's right. The bleeding. The breathing thing was what he went in for. That's right. That's right. Sheesh. Okay. We can't keep track of nothing around here. Hmm. I know it. Oh. Okay. Oh, why I don't is this? I think I used on here, but it's running a little bit on these papers. Okay. Oh, that's right, because these are like a, a shiny paper, and I think I think that's oh. why. Glaze. I mean, yeah, glaze. This is white. Because it's got a white cap. This is white. Well, these both have white caps and they're both white. Why does one say 10, one says 8? Maybe it's just maybe the point. Right. One's a 10 and one's an 8. Oh, oh well, it could be. Could be different packaging or something. Stuck pig. They removed most of it. Oh. Oh, wow. Huh. Wow. They don't know why it did that? Why it started bleeding like that? Yeah. I'm going to hit this with the heat gun real quick. Hi, Linda. Oh, we're waiting for you. <laughs> <laughs> We're here. Oh, no, we're there we're well. Linda. We were looking for you. We're like, where is she? Yep. So gotta be waking up soon here. Hmm. Okay, maybe this one. This oh, that one looks a little sketchy in there. I wonder. If this is not working, because see, hmm. look it up in what here. All right. What about it? It's not writing. I wonder if it's out. Because see, it's all. You take it and flick it down towards the point. Sometimes it'll it'll work it down. That's all. <laughs> kind of like an old thermo Ooh, Whoops. <laughs> like you know. Like a what? The old thermometers. That you yes. Yes. That. It was exactly that. <laughs> yep. Yeah. It works. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and then sometimes it takes a little bit. You might need a little alcohol to get it running. Like put a little alcohol on your table and just dip it in there. Oh, okay. It might start working. Usually they usually they'll start working pretty easily. Okay. Right. Start over. Glaze on these now. Kind of mess the rails for safety reasons. It's overgrown and shut. As you read the off. Been in a catheter for six months till they could do. So. Oh, okay. That makes more sense. But so, did they do? Oh, <laughs> there you go. I'm just gonna ask that question. Surgery was yesterday. Jackass. So it's away from. Okay. Now it makes more sense. <laughs> She's <sighs> sleep 10 hours if I did not have to be all the time. <laughs> right. <laughs> really? You sleep that long? Yeah. This, let's see. Let's do the alcohol. Okay. Now it makes sense. Um, Kim? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Might be since these are both the same. That's an eight. That's a ten. What makes this? 
this is an eight. So I got two weights. I bet you this might be an old one. So it's not working. Huh. Hmm. Probably. Could be. So you should be able to pee. Oh, okay. Okay. That that's yeah, okay. Good. <laughs> that makes a lot of sense. That weaves is that. Oh, that's top to spin. Um okay. Gotcha. Oh, I got it. Hmm. Yeah. Well, that's good. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I can throw both of these out here because Light. <laughs> it's okay, Linda. Just so you make it there, you know. Hmm. Hmm. I have that little one going. No. Oh, wow, that's 78 already there? Jeez. Okay, so this one looks like that little, this splotchy one. I flicked it and flicked it and licked it and burnt it. <laughs> I want to have it. I dropped it, son of a bitch. Oh, ah, crap. And it had to be a small one, too. It's going to be hard to see. Oh, Son of a bitch. Oh, come on, man. And of course, I'm sure it rolled 7,000 miles away. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, I have no patience for this shit. I hate it. falling on the floor. Where'd it go? Oh, son of a bitch. More aggravating than me having to hurt my back from my freaking bead fell on the floor. That one, but don't know. No idea where the hell that disappeared to, but it did. Rolled right the hell off. Motherfucker. All the way down here. I found it. Stupid ass. Come out of the woods. That's cool. And not let me hunt for you, jackass. Yeah. Yeah. Now I have to put my paintbrush in here. Then I have to take it out. And I have to dry it off and clean it off. Do all the things. Sure. Summer time. You in the garbage again. <laughs> all right. Okay. Okay, so oh, he's there. Come on. It's just very light, so I guess I'll keep it. Keep it. I'll keep it. This one's a keep it. I'll keep it. Barely works, but I'm still a little bit in there. And this is the white too, so no oh. oh, more storms. Jeez. We were getting a lot. Okay. So I threw three pens away. Hey. 
Uh -huh. paper. Okay, uh -huh. it's going. It's going. <laughs> there it goes. Okay. Uh, okay. Don't throw away your weakest dollars now. No. Remember we made that at the, the yeah. I can't remember what I put in there. <laughs> Let's see what it comes out like. Was it, it, it works, doesn't it though? I think so. Oh. But, ooh. Hmm. Okay. Oh well, yeah. It's something in there. It's kind of pinkish. <gasps> a net mm -hmm. landed. Look at <laughs> Oh, a little son of a bitch, didn't he? Where'd he go? Wait. Oh, he lost him. I thought there I saw him. Your He's on your finger. Get him. Oh, man. Oh. Get him, baby. Get him. <laughs> Kill him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I squished him. Ew, his little carcass was between my fingers. I could feel him. <laughs> <laughs> Yummy. <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> Nat carcass. <laughs> okay. Okay. This one works. Nat carcass. You nat carcass, you. <laughs> oh, I'll tell ya. Okay, so this one must be the only one that's okay. So this one still has stuff. This is just clear. Okay, good. Oh. Clear. <laughs> Clear, all right. It's clear. What's this one? It used to be clear, but now I put stuff in it. Okay, so I got two. Two, two. Two, yes. Hmm. Deer eat my flowers, chipmunks to eat the seed I planted, raccoons to get into the trash. Oh, man. Okay. Uh, this one bronze. Ooh, let's try. Let's try bronze. I don't want to. Okay. Do I have one? No. Oh, okay. I can pull it apart first. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Let's try it on this. Let's. Hmm. Let's try it on a sample bead. Oh, that's not bad. Is it working? Yeah. It's no way still it gives a little bit more of a you know, or that kind of glitter gives a little bit more of a subtle than than like a larger flake glitter, like I feel like. Well, this is um uh, the Sharpie, the bronze Sharpie. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh for the edges, yeah. Yeah, it's okay. Yeah. It's okay. Yeah, I don't like that as much those as much as I do the other ones. It's flat. Yeah, it's not very brilliant. No. Hmm. See, it's just like a. Oh, that's all right. This is just a sample bead of stuff, but it's yeah, it's bronze. I think I got this originally for like writing and cards and stuff, which right. I don't ever do. But you know. <laughs> okay. Oh, I might have. Black one. Yeah, I don't think the Sharpie metallics are very nice. Mm -mm. Oh, I got two. One, two. They're both, yep, they're both bronze. Jeez. I got two of everything. <laughs> two, two, two. Two make a fist. Photo marker. American crafts. Okay, let's see if this works. Oh. Well. Do I have a scrap piece of paper anywhere? Mm. Yeah, it works. Okay. Foxes for coyotes. Bears are sneaky, though. They're here, but haven't seen them. Oh, I betcha. Betcha they're sneaking. <laughs> sneaky. Oops. Oops. This one should be dry. Dry, dry. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
you off. I don't like that. Get, get off. Good. Uh, run this one. Looks awfully light. Drink the blood. Oh, the white pit pen. I don't know it. White pit pen? Yeah. White. Yeah. I have one. Hmm. Yeah, okay. Does it work? I don't know. It works. Yeah. <laughs> it's a keeper. It's a keeper. Yes. It is. Hmm. Okay. Well, there. <laughs> now the white's gone. I like this uh, the memento, the toffee crunch. I really like that color because it's, hmm. you know, very. What color is it like a, like a, off white, like that, like a tannish. Oh yeah. 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 I like I that one. Yeah, and this one and I got a refill for uh, the sepia. Right. Yeah. Sepia, like sepia, whatever. Yeah, I like that one too. I got refills for all of these, and I have not used them. I had not had to use them yet, even the stage. I'm not using refills for my oxides at all. I only have one set. Like I don't have the full thing of refills. Like oh I don't yeah, have the set. But I've not used them either. I have some, of the, but I haven't used the oxides. <laughs> so I got to one of these days. I'll use them. Yeah, you haven't even used any of yours yet. Oh, I know, right? You haven't used the ink. I need the oxo the refills yet. <laughs> yeah. I think I need the, uh, the refill on a couple of them. I think is uh, I'm probably due to start putting some color in a couple of them. You Hopefully, I have the refills because I can't remember which ones came in the first set. Oh. That I need oh. refills for. Who knows? Yeah. Who knows? Who knows? Oh, don't you see another gnat fly around here? Oh my God. Probably. I got rid of that pumpkin, didn't I? <laughs> yes, you did. Um, I don't think that one quite yet started with gnats. I think you caught it just in time before it was going to, though. Yeah. Yeah, because it was. Yeah, he's flying around the. Well, I'm not going to smash you if you land on the light bulb. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Oh, I squished him. He still flew away. All right. Huh. <laughs> oh, gnat. He's a bionic gnat. <laughs> Can't kill him. Oh, I'll find out if you want. Gnat. Gnat, Linda. I got gnat. G gnat. Natty Nat. Rusty bucket. That's too dark. Not wood. No, that's too dark. Branch bark. No, it's too dark. Hmm. Oh, I have a toffee crunch in one of the in the little ones. <laughs> I just, I use it. Oh. And then fell out. I don't think I like this one. I don't think it likes you either. I know, that's why it fell out. Pastel pink. I don't like it because it's not. But it's pink. Color. Oh, it doesn't even work. Oh, oh. 
straight up. It is. It's straight up. What, an ink pad? Oh, man. Yeah. One of these pre or whatever they are, Prima Signo, Signo, whatever Signo. this thing is. You know, the um, distressor thing, the name on it, whatever it is. Um, I don't know. Uh, this uh, that name? Huh? Uh, Ingrid. Ing I don't know. I've never it's, heard of that person. Yeah, see? That's what this is. It's got the same name. Huh. Oh, oh. Job. She must have had a line of inks, but because I have an ink like that, but it's not that name on it. Yeah. yeah. So she must have a line of inks with whatever that company is, kind of like Tim Holtz has the Ranger stuff. Right. Yeah. See yeah. all of these. And Wrigley same. or whatever also has Ranger stuff, I think, or something. Yeah. I got a whole bunch of them. I just can't read the name. <laughs> name on it. Huh. Let me hang it up to the camera. Hmm. Hmm. All right, then don't show up. Maybe I can just. Maybe I can. <laughs> Twinkle, do you have a magnifying glass on my hand on this? He goes. Uh, okay. Get it in here, the one that I have. It's right here. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's different. It's Prima, but. Oh, maybe it does say that Prima? I mean, it does say that name, but it's so small. I would never have seen it before. See? And look at on here. It's Prima. Uh, yeah, but look at the little signature. Tiny little signature underneath looks kind of like it. See? I, sure I never would have noticed that. I I mean, I could not even make it out without putting it probably on Zoom. That's the That's only one I know. Though. I can't even uh, pronounce it, let alone. Right. Well, yeah, pronounce it. I can't even see it to, to even know what the letters are. Yeah. Oh, here it is. Is that an I? I N G. It looks like Ingrid on yours, though. That's why I was saying Ingrid something or other. Yeah. B A. I don't know who that is. That's. But it's pretty. Yeah, it's Prima. Look. It is. It's right. Prima. Right. But it's it's that person's is the designer of that ink, even though it's Prima. Do you know what I mean? Kind of like there's Prima, yeah. Prima Pinabar, and Pinabar is a. Somebody who, you know, one of their designers. Yeah. 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 But I don't know who that person is. I've Me never either. heard of it. <laughs> it's got a cool signature. I just can't read it. <laughs> yeah. I, don't I don't know, know. what was on that thing because it was so small. I would have never known if I wasn't looking for it just now. Yeah. I did. Well, I said it doesn't have that name on it. It all does, actually. <laughs> you can see the damn thing. It's so teeny tiny. <laughs> it is. It is teeny tiny. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they're hard to get. The bugging me. Plus, we had flies that hatched, little baby flies. I don't know where that other one went. The flies are coming to get you. They're gonna get me. They're gonna grow up to big, be big, big flies, and then they're gonna uh -huh. get me. And then you're gonna, then they're gonna bite you, and you're gonna become the fly. Uh huh. <laughs> Ooh, the fly. Like, where's Jeannie? There'll be this little gnat fly running, you know, <laughs> on the camera. We'll be like, Jeannie, is that you? Is that you here? Don't smash them. Make you Jeannie. <laughs> Don't smash that one. No. Unfortunately, you'll only live 24 hours. Hmm? You'll only live 24 hours. Here is it. Flies. Flies only live like 24 hours, don't they? Oh, that's it. I don't think that's necessarily true because I remember one time there was a fly in my room when I was a kid, and that damn thing was like two weeks old by the time that thing, damn thing died. But you got it? <laughs> yeah, because it slowed down as it got bigger. Oh. You know, the bigger flies are like really slow. They don't like go as fast as the little ones. That's true. They're like, mm. Yeah. <laughs> I know Linda. <laughs> Good Linda. Next time she's going to be out on the street with a cup. <laughs> well, thank you, Linda. I appreciate it. I know. It's done so well. Yeah, tomorrow we're going to go, I think, pick up the... If, well, it depends. Whenever the... 
if there's showings or whatever well regardless we're going to go pick up the, the stuff we need so i can do it myself because i'm not tired of depending on other people that say oh yeah i'll help you and then they don't so yeah do it my damn self get it done monday's gonna be such a fun day for me hmm. yeah no oh oh shoot i can't eat at or drink after midnight on monday uh oh. I know. Oh, that's right. You're getting. Yeah. Blood work. Now, see, Dwayne well, last time your cholesterol was up because whenever I go and get my blood work, I read it off to Noreen because I'll read, start reading it. She goes, No, I don't care about that. What's, you know, and she names it off. What's this, and this, and this? And, and, uh, and she goes, Those are the important ones. And she goes, I got it. And every time she's like, for your age, you have, and she calls it, she says, you have the best constitution. <laughs> I guess that means. Uh, Blood work? <laughs> yeah, like the results. Of, I don't know. Yeah. But, but last year was the first time that, well, the cholesterol was still below 200, but like it would be, you know, under 200 and normally it's like 160 and this time it was like up there a little bit too much like <laughs> i was like oh god because i know that i've been i mean hey that's catch up to you right so she's like well it's still okay my no, it's still really bad. bad is it yeah see my family that's when i found out it, well actually it used to be always bad and then it got better and now it's probably bad again who knows i don't know oh i don't know yeah because my brother and my sister both have high you know my mother did but like we said she didn't right. even eat it was in our family so it's not like you even really you know yeah it's you just in our family yeah but it wasn't see i hadn't fasted i didn't know that and i think i had eaten because she goes well when did you eat last and i think it was a couple of even like two or three hours or something she goes yeah it should be okay so i'm just wondering if last time that had anything to do with it but this time you know because i didn't i didn't know but this time i know so i won't eat so i don't know if that hey really <laughs> my bead little fat bead because i let go of it. <laughs> but um we'll see the yeah. sugar was up and the cholesterol oh triglycerides oh they weren't they were like <laughs> i was like oh man that's never happened i don't know but <laughs> Dwayne's has always been up too and it took forever for them to even say anything I'm like I don't think that's so good Dwayne he goes well the doctor said it's fine I'm like okay whatever. <laughs> well the doctor probably didn't say anything and that's well, all that's all there is but because it's it was doesn't mean it's fine I know because he's like well it has to be a blah 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 before it's really worry about it, but it's just like because there was a you know the the between these levels and it was like way above what it, you know and I thought okay well you know watch your diet watch your di well Dwayne can't watch the diet any more than he does because before he was really good about everything and that really didn't make a difference. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, some people are just naturally prone to it, like people in our family are too. Yeah, no matter what you do, it's just always going to be on the high side yeah right yeah now like his father which, which is really weird because i was like that's so weird because your dad basically he died around 70 and Dwayne, i have i even have it on the calendar our birthdays and i put him as 69 for this year november he goes right. 69 because i go wait a minute if I'm gonna be going to be 61 in October, 70. We're, yeah, we're nine years. I'm like, oh my god, why did I put? <laughs> I can't <laughs> count number one. <laughs> He's gonna be 70. I'm like, oh my god. But his dad died at 70. But he had does that make him nervous because I know no. that if I make it to 64, I'm gonna be nervous because that's the year that my mom died when she was 64. I was but nervous again, too. She died because she was a smoker, but you know mine too i quit but still yeah it's true yours did too 
Yeah. How old were you? 53. 53. Wow. Yeah. What well, did I she mean, say? Long yeah. cancer, right? Yep. Wow. And you know, I smoked a lot. Right. <laughs> but you quit. And yeah. your, your lungs do repair themselves. So it's been 20. Wait. Yeah. 33, 43, 53. 28 years? 20. Yeah, 28. Yeah, I, was 24. I, I don't think you're going to die of lung cancer. Uh, I hope not. Although Chris's grandmother had lung cancer and she stopped smoking many years ago. But yeah, I think I'm not sure this. I forget that. Like, the, I think she she only quit, wait. I can't remember if she only quit like certain amount of years ago. I don't remember. I, I'm I can't remember. But anyway, she. She ended up with lung cancer, but that's not what ended up killing her anyway. Oh, she ended really? up dying with the COVID. She had lung oh, cancer for like years and years and years and years and years and years. And it actually, they like cured it. And we don't think it was, they don't think it was lung cancer from smoking though. But oh. they don't know what it was from, you know, but whatever. Because um, it yeah. wasn't like that. Kind of lung cancer is like a fast cancer. When you get lung cancer from cigarettes, it's a very fast progressive cancer. It's yeah. not like, you know. So my her, mother, like, whatever she had was not that type. It was a very slow going. Yeah. She had it for many years. And they even like said that the, they couldn't even find the tumor after a while or something. And mm -hmm. then at one point they said it was back or they thought it might be back, but then she got COVID or something. I don't really know. I don't remember the, the whole situation, but I just know that that's not what ended up killing her anyway. And she was almost 90 years old. Wow. Yeah. I see. So it's, it's weird, rare but... that you're going to die of lung cancer after you've not been smoking for 28 years. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's a rare, that's going to be a rare occurrence that that would happen. Because my family, my oldest brother is um, 61, 71, 72, because we're 12, 73, something like that. Anyway, but he's, he's fine. But he's about, none of my family smoked except for my mother and father. That's what I did. So you now my oldest brother never did. My other brother, but they're all two years apart. My sister never did. And they're, you know, but then there's my grandmother. It's my right. mother's mother ended up being 97. And she just basically died of old age sort of thing. And she you know? smoked but, too? Uh-uh. They never did. That side of the family never did, except for like my mother. Now my huh. cousin did for a while, but I don't think they, none of them, well, I don't know the kids and all that that grew up. I don't know, but yeah. And my aunt, my mother's sister, she never smoked either, but she's in her eighties now. Fine. So I don't know. weird. But like Dwayne's father, we died at seventy. <laughs> He's diabetic. Well, he didn't take care of it though. He's still, but the, I mean, Dwayne's a little bit better, but he was overweight and um, right. he was on insulin shots too. <clears throat> and said, Dwayne, you, you should be careful. <laughs> but he's right. Mm, whatever. Him and on about it. Yeah, he's just like, oh, whatever. Huh. He's not. Like he says, I'm not afraid. I just I don't want to be sick and in the hospital. Right. I don't want to sit there and I'm like, nobody does. Well, you no. know. Hopefully, yeah. We have a duck couple. We think the nest is behind my big hydrangea garden. Oh. Little duckies. I love you. We were at our other house. It's a. It's kind of a. It's a, a through main sort of road, not like main, but it's. You go through like we travel that. We'll see our old house, but there's little the community by Peyton's elementary school. It's called Desert Harbor. It had the lake and all that. Kind of, well, a man-made, handmade, handmade, <laughs> handmade <laughs> lake. <laughs> yeah, handmade lake. <laughs> but you'd have to always stop because there's the ducks crossing the road. And be like, come on, and all these cars would be backed up. I'm like, oh my God. But some people were really speeding through and hitting the ducks. I was like, really? 
Oh, it made me so mad. It like, slowed down. Uh huh. Oh, I saw one too. And I, you know, I saw feathers flying. And I thought, and I could not forget about that stupid thing for weeks. <laughs> yeah. Oh, God. Horrible. It's up on my paper. I must have done. Okay, hide now. Oops, that one's crushed. That one's crushed. I see you burnt paper here. Yeah. blend of wildlife food one with corn oh they like corn is that what they eat like a blend with the corn in it it was so fun i put uh i took in my other yard there our house one of the great big huge um uh, terracotta pot underneath the terracotta pot but put under the the plants, you know? Yeah. And, but I got, because the ones were really heavy, so I got more of the plastic um, type, but it was really thick. And I got it at Home Depot, and it was a deep one. But, and then I set it up on those things, like you get at Hobby Lobby that hold the great big crystal ball things, you know? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I set it up there and filled it. It was so much fun. But in the summertime... I'd go and Dwayne goes, why do you do that? Because they don't care. Like, of course, it would be so hot after a while. So I'd go, I'd take ice and go out there throughout the day, and put it in there. Of course, the ice would melt pretty quickly. But you ought to see the birds coming in. And I'd watch them and they'd be splashing and taking baths. And I'm oh, like, here you go. <laughs> it was fun to watch. He goes, don't do that. And don't put food out there because you know what's going to happen. I go, don't even tell me what's going to happen because I don't care. <laughs> You know, they're gonna he's afraid of birds coming to your house. God forbid. He doesn't like the mess that they leave. Oh, no. I go, it's out in the grass. Who gives a shit? It's oh, birds. I know. And I like watching them, so leave me alone. Right. <laughs> Kind of thinks we're gonna be nesting the birds near a lake. Let it back there. Maybe they came forward. Oh, <laughs> wow. Only little birdies. What kind of birds do you have there, um, Linda, that come by? Do you have any hummingbirds and stuff? We'll put a hummingbird feeder out. We didn't get a single hummingbird. So I was like, okay, great. And we have hummingbirds around. It's just they're few and far between here. They like to be by the water. Yeah, I got a lot of hummingbirds here. I had a, kind of a um, honeysuckle type tree that I grew. It, it huh. looked like, I don't know, it's a type, but, but oh my God, they love those things. And, um, but uh, like I said, I need to put those feeders. I got a lot of feeders and I have not put them out here. We've been here almost seven years. Hmm. Pretty, he lives by the water. She said that they, and they have tons of hummingbirds. And I, always, I was like, why do you have so many hummingbirds? She's like, oh, they like the water. So that's why I always thought they just like the water. They like to be closer to the water. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> One almost flew in my hair. <laughs> they get so close to your face. And I'm like, don't do it. Don't. And then it got so close. I could hear his little wings. And I'm like, <laughs> oh, I'm like I didn't want to hit the board. Yeah. Though, but I didn't want it flying in my hair. A stupid thing. <laughs> I was like, get out. Get out. Yeah, I know, right, Linda? Ugh. Just, I don't know. Tell you, what fun. Goes again. We did see uh, the quail, though, because um, they come around this time, and then we'll, hopefully we'll see, you know. Mama, mama quail, daddy quail, and all the little, I go, oh, look, and they come out from the bushes, and all the little babies are like, mm. Oh, is that what we determined that thing was, or was it a dove? 
We said that, that that noise you were hearing with the dove, didn't we? Oh, uh, Dwayne and I. I said no. You know what? Mm -hmm. Now that you had said, and I thought no, I think they're doves because I had looked at, um looked them up one time too. And he goes, no, it's an owl. I was standing right here when that thing swooped down and went on, and that I'm like, that that that, 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 that I mean, yeah, he might have seen an owl, but at the same time, what that noise is every day is, is definitely not an owl. Yeah, and he goes, yeah, it goes. I love like will you stop? Because <laughs> he doesn't have a voice like that. He's like, I go, that doesn't sound like an owl. <laughs> he could have seen an owl, but then the noise that you're hearing early in the morning is not yeah, owls don't owl. usually make noise in the mornings. They usually make noise in the middle of the night. Yeah. They don't they're not very active as far as like vocally in the mornings. And it was typically. yeah. But I, I don't and you know the quills yeah. make up like a if you hear them like a garbly type but this this one because Dwayne's like oh my god what is that and I go it's a quail he goes it has like three or four different colors coming down I said well huh. it was either the female or the male quail but look at its beak it's got like a the little chicken thing on there like they have the I didn't know quails were that pretty they look like that like the, on their beaks huh. <laughs> yeah it's like a chicken yeah, well, this one was, and I was surprised. And I was like, I thought they were like really gray, but then right. maybe this one was just an exception. <laughs> like, whoa. Unless it wasn't a quail and it was something else. It, I think it was a quail though, because it it it's yeah. I mean it had that little look just like a quail. Hmm. Well, maybe the males are or... colorful and pretty yeah. or something. Usually a lot of species, the males are the ones that are. Oh, yeah, cool. But then I saw, I went, oh my, and I told Dwayne, I go, I saw like a little, I haven't seen one since I've been back, you know, wherever, um, <laughs> a little sparrow looking bird that had like a reddish orange chest. Hmm. And I was like, oh my God, I have not seen a colorful little bird like that in forever. I wonder where it came from. Oh, I used to love bird, uh, blue jays. Robins, yep. Back home, we have robins. Oh, finches. Oh. Hmm. Keep moving. Yeah. We have wild peacocks here, wild turkeys. We have crazy birds here. Wow. Why? I have a bunch of hawks that live in my yard. We have a, I've seen a couple here and there. No, for me, it's big. I have lots of them in my yard that literally live in the woods behind my house. Like there's all kinds of nests and everything. And oh. it always, it's always interesting when you hear them because like maybe a cat or like a something gets one of the hawks. It could be a cat, a squirrel, I don't know, whatever animals hunt them. I don't know. Like the mm. maybe gets one of them or, you know, or something or like, you know, you know, if one of them gets hurt, all of them will join in and start going arr, 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 and like coming down and it's like oh. why do you open the door and i'll see them all like you know they're protecting each other it's interesting yeah whip a will a whip a will whip a wills yeah i've heard of those it could yeah right linda me too i'm starved oh, and there'd be no way yep yeah it's just uh, Pigeons make that kind of, pigeons don't make that sound, do they? That yeah, that's a yeah. And that was more of a that we hear like a the pretty sound of you know, like a dove. <laughs> like dove. Yeah. They They're kind of like a dove a little bit, mm -hmm. yeah, know, except not not as pretty as a dove, I think. Yeah. yeah. Pigeons are kind of like they're like yeah, they're just plain wings. <laughs> plain pigeons. Hmm. Kind of scary, but fast. Nothing. Oh, that's right. I remember that, Linda. You were saying, was it at one time? Did it get a squirrel or something one time? Or I can't remember what it was last year. You were, uh, am I thinking something else? <laughs> what, the pigeon got a squirrel? I don't remember. Oh, the hawks. It wasn't it something like, the little bird, like they, they attacked the little birds. Oh, that's sad. Yeah. I've not seen that here. I think the hawks get the squirrels here, which I'm happy about because the little bastards make a mess. Yeah, right. 
go. I'm not really bad about it. They like pick them up and then, and then they dropped one like midair or something. Maybe not, but you but they do. Yeah, I don't know if somebody had said that. Mm -hmm. They take them right off the feeder. Well, that's mean. Huh? Wow. Jeez. That's why I don't see a lot of little birds in my yard. <laughs> they don't come around because of the hawks. Yeah. Oh yeah. Well, I have seen a lot of cardinals around. Oh. So I see cardinals a lot. Well, a lot of the, like the owls and stuff like that, they live in the, because our neighbor, in fact, one he had to cut down, but now it's grown again, is because I was like, I can't remember what those were called, the cypress. They're, I mean, he's got a whole row of them, you know, Ooh. and there's like 10 or something like that. And they're, they're tall. They're real tall. The cypress, long, skinny bushes. Huh. But they live in there. And like I was out there, I took the dogs out. Um, let's see, a four, three, two, like a two or something like that. And the birds are chirping away out there. Oh my god, god. you ever sleep? <laughs> you chirp, 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 chirp like that. It was like time. Hmm. Took my Ella when she lives with somebody else. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Hot. Okay. Oh. Well. They do it to break their legs. Oh my god. Yeah. Oh. Mm. Can't tell it to. <gasps> well, what happened? Yeah. It... Must have let go because now you have Ella, right? So. You drop the fish in your yard? Oh, wow. Hey, hey what? Your Ella? Wait, what? A. Wow. What's the A F A I K? What does that mean? A uh, hawk. Oh, is that what you were saying? Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. Did you catch that? Here. Your dog or what? <laughs> I know. They are kind of a. Except the one that got hurt and I, I had to. You know, get him back to help him fly away. I felt bad for him. I kept him safe. Felt bad. We he... dropped her and she flew down. We came back for her, but the owner chased it away. Oh boy. Oh. How did it get her? Well, what was she doing out in the yard anyway? <laughs> like, I go to the bathroom. The dog, right? No, um, Ella the bird. Uh, can oh, oh, okay. all right. Sorry, I'm, I'm out of the loop. Yeah, because I'm thinking it was a dog and I didn't realize who was saying it because I have my eyes on this and I'm listening to you tell it and I'm trying to like figure out. Uh, <laughs> yeah, but we were with a different owner. The hawk uh, picked it and let her drop and came back for it. And she, wow. what was she doing out where? Yeah. We could, were they like doing that bath thing with the hose or something? My dad used to do that with his, but you know, I get hawks around. Oh, just to, yeah, just to take her out and oh, with him. Wow. How dare that hawk? <laughs> I know. I'm a bastard. Wow. Yeah. Heat these up a little bit. Hmm. Mm -hmm. The nerve. The nerve. Mm hmm. A lot to clean up. You know, my dad. <laughs> And they had both of the uh, African grays and then the, the other one. <laughs> I keep wanting to say mushroom, but it's what, mustache parakeet or mushroom? Mushroom parakeet? <laughs> yeah, it was one of those. Mustache, mushroom. 
<laughs> I know I said it wrong last time. Now I can't think what I even said. See, this gold looks different than that one, which is weird to me. Yes. I mean, maybe because this is classic gold and that was a different one. I don't know. I don't think I have another one here. Yeah. No. Unless I were the mummy's mustache. Okay. <laughs> Because when I said mushroom, and I thought mustache sounded weird, but then, okay. I don't know, mustache. Okay. Yeah. The lady was very pretty, and I remember I'd bring a visit. She, her whole chest would be bald. You go, yeah, I know. She's. But then she'd come back, have pretty feathers and stuff, and then she'd be bald again. I'm like, oh my god! <laughs> I'd be pulling the feathers. I have, I have a lot of her feathers. <laughs> I go, save me those feathers. Oh god, it's quite a while ago. So happy. She's so pretty. Are they? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what, what, what? I had a pair of key. No cage. That thing chewed curtains and pooped everywhere. Oh, boy. <laughs> wow. You know what? I remember when my dad married, you know, um, my stepmother, She, they had the two. They had, in the one apartment, they had the all four because they lived they had they own these apartments in louisiana like i don't know how many but anyway they lived in one and they had the papers all spread out and then they had two huge cages so tonga and lady were out but then they they didn't like each other after all so i guess they had to separate them but um but she was forever cleaning those papers and the cages and oh god they had so many toys in there. Great. Oops. Sure. Give daddy a kiss. Give daddy a kiss. I'm like, oh my God. <laughs> oh, he said. And then they had a they had birds cussing to wear. I'm like, really? <laughs> I'm right back. Okay. Oh, uh, thing. I'm trying to deal with it. I told her to leave the door open. <laughs> oh, she did? Really? Oh, no. <laughs> I did see one, though. One time I remember, it was here. I remember seeing a really colorful, I think it was probably a pet that got out because I'm like thinking, wait a minute. That bird doesn't look quite right. <laughs> I was way up in the tree. I mean, it was, yeah. I'm sure it was somebody's pet. That was a while ago, though. Okay, why aren't you going straight? It's so funny because my dad, I mean, I know he did it just for something to do because <laughs> it wasn't for the... My, he would sit there in the mornings and he would take out her food and he'd put it out like on paper and he'd just like take all the stuff that she would maybe chew and separate or like and drop like all the sunflower seeds and all that. He'd be separating and all that and then put all back in a little pile and put some fresh in, put it back in her cage <laughs> and be like, okay. Say, so, you know, hey. No, I, I, uh, I would think they would get definitely not. You know, it's sad. But yeah, I knew he did that just like a little routine, whatever, when, when he had lady. And give her jelly bean every night. Now, your jelly bean. 
God. My sister had to buy the jelly beans when my dad died, and then she took Lady and uh, bought her the jelly beans. And, oh, my God. And then, because she used to do this with my dad. I'm not going to make the noise, but it was like a... <laughs> like, and I was like, is she doing that every time? And you're, no, because uh, when my brother-in-law, Mark would come down the steps or something, and here's Lady going, <laughs> really? <laughs> it's like, geez, that sound. <laughs> terrible. <laughs> oh, smack that bird. Okay. Really oh, I can't stand. I couldn't. I, I couldn't deal with that. No, that type of all that noise that they make. Yeah, that was that was really. We do it, you know, all the time. But it was just certain. And I thought, oh my god, my ears would be like, what? <laughs> Green birds, wow, in England. Wow, so Green birds. Wow, they escaped and then, oh, uh, that would be weird. And then my dad would, <laughs> this is terrible, but <laughs> she'd be making noise or something. And, and sometimes when she'd do that, and he, he always kept the fly swatter out. Now, my dad was not a man. He would beat the bird. He always smacked her cage. Stop it. It didn't help much. She'd be moving across the bar like whoo, and uh, and he beats it in there, and he just would get so irritated with her because she'd make that noise. He'd take the fly swatter, you know, and just on the cage. <laughs> oh, like, jeez, <laughs> poor lady. <laughs> he took care of her though. It was good. When. You find it calming when they're noisy? And huh. you're happy and I'm doing a good job. Yeah, like the I, the, the the tweet pecker 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 wecker. <laughs> the sound. But, but that other noise she makes was awful. It was like this cough, this loud shrieking, like she was upset or something, you know? <laughs> Awful. Yeah, I didn't mind when my bird was singing and stuff, but then when he would start, like my squeakers, when he would start going, rah, 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 and making all these weird right. noises, I'd be like, all right, enough. That's I'm right. Out now. <laughs> Settle down. God, I was so irritating. Come over his cage and shut him up. <laughs> well, that's a good, yeah. Okay, great morning to yeah yeah i know and that here around the you know last couple months about there at one o'clock and they're just chirping away uh -huh. like geez <laughs> you slept <laughs> you're still chirping but not as many of them <laughs> Yeah, because that would always remind me, like I'll, because they always in the morning now when it gets light, by our bed, they just so many of them, just a really nice sound, and they be chirp, 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 but it reminds me of home, like well, home parents <laughs> living at home and waking up in the morning, and it was just such a nice memory. So in the mornings. When I sit there and listen to the little birds outside the window before I get up and chirp, 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 they're all just singing away. A nice sound, not irritating. <laughs> huh. Not an irritating sound. So we got a lot of we got a lot of birdies. This doesn't open very well on that because it's not agreeing with it. So never mind. You had too much junk yesterday. Oh. Do you, Kim? Yeah, that's nice. Just just like it's springtime and all that kind of good stuff. Wind. 
That's probably why I don't have belly aches because I eat junk all the time. <laughs> so I'm used to it. <laughs> Too much junk. Hmm. My favorite type of varnish to use on paper beads was that stuff from the the Sculpey oh, stuff. The blades. Oh yeah, that stuff was amazing. Yeah, and I have some whatever the hell this is some FEMA water based gloss varnish, but I don't know. It's very liquidy. I'm not really sure mm. if that will work. I might try it on one just to see if it was similar. I don't know. Trust it. I don't know how old it is either. So who knows? Yeah, I used to use that, but then I I went to and did that water-based polyurethane gloss. It really did pretty nice too because yeah. that kind of <laughs> I thought, well, I put that in my closet. Oh, that's why this is separated because it's like separate. Oh. Yeah, it's like weird. Yeah, that's okay. why I've thrown it out. I got a critter views that it you oh. know what you just reminded me though. I think I have my uh, polyurethane thing over here. Let me see. Oh, okay. Oh, God, Linda, that sounds good. Oh, fried mushrooms. Oh, now I'm hungry. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> wow. See, that's what, um, well, it's not fried mushrooms, but then Dwayne says it will go to Go to Noreen's because my friend gave me this long list of stuff to pick, you know, to have ready for when she goes into the. I hate to keep calling it a home, the living assisted living place, and uh, then he said, then on the way home we'll pick up our pizza for lunch, <laughs> the New York style pizza, from Chicago. Why can't I think ever? Oh my God, something going on. It's a lot. So it's gotta be New York. Style pizza, right? Near South, the thin, the thin good kind. Yeah, that one. <laughs> I was like taking a roll of sauce. What are you saying, Chicago? Boy? Good. Linda. Uh, that's what we like. We secretly like all that saucy shit. Mm. <laughs> mm -hmm. I like it cheesy and greasy. Me too. Be. That's what. Yep. Like that. a piece of bread with sauce on it. Mm, I know. <laughs> Not like that. Oh God, it's Ray's is good. It's that one, you know. Wonderful. Uh -huh. stick. Now I want barbecue. Now I want the mushrooms. You want barbecue and mushrooms? Right off the Linda. Now, now she made me hungry. <laughs> See what you did, Linda. You're just thinking about getting an air fryer. Peyton loves her. Air fryers are great. Yeah, she loves hers. That and the the Insta Pot, Insta thing, whatever it is. Yeah, <laughs> I don't have an Insta Pot, but no, definitely like my air fryer. Close it. Yeah, she was telling me about it, how I go, so what makes it so special? Oh, my God. And then she started telling me about what, how quick it, I go, are you serious? It's like well, that quick. Fire? Yeah, the air fryer is quick. Yeah, I'm like, well, or quicker than the oven or even, and it's much better than the microwave because it's just like cooking it in the oven. Yeah. It's better. It's like the frozen french fries taste like they came out of oil, you know? Yeah, I still don't understand how it can work that fast. I don't know either because the air is oh. <laughs> convecting around. Yeah, she goes, I don't know, it just works. <laughs> it does it's work. Good. The ninja one. Mm. Yeah, I wanted the ninja one, but that one was a little too expensive. 
So I got one that I got on Marketplace that was a like a $60 one that was I got for 25 bucks. Oh, cool. How much are the Ninja ones like? They're like $200. Oh, yeah, that's kind of. But I guess if you were like, oh, like we, I mean, you know, but still. No, I don't have mine enough to buy the Ninja one. Yeah. because Maybe right. I would use it more if I had the Ninja. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? Yeah, stuff on the camera thing kind of stops me. Oh, boy. <laughs> Linda would come in my house and she'd turn right back around and leave. <laughs> Yeah, it's bad. <laughs> yeah. We used to keep it nice, have pretty stuff, you know. Just now, it's like okay. <laughs> oh my god, it's I don't know. I don't know what happened because I for what 30, 30 years or something like that. I never laid. <laughs> well, I guess it was. Um, I think after a while, you just kind of get annoyed with. <laughs> You're yeah. doing things like that and you give up. Mm -hmm. That's what happened. Yeah. I I felt that way when my house got like became a mess, which drove me nuts because my house mm -hmm. was always like you can eat off the floors clean. And mm -hmm. not that it was dirty. It, it never was dirty in here. It was just cluttered to the mm -hmm. point of no return with stuff that didn't belong here. I don't mind clutter if it's stuff that's mine and that I like or whatever. But right. I don't like clutter like the boxes and this and that. That was driving me nuts. And there was nothing I could do about it, really. Mm -hmm. So it felt like I just, like, was giving up. I was like, ugh. You know what I mean? Yeah. You just, you, you, you know, it's like, if you can't beat them, join them. You know, it's like, screw it. Exactly. You know, I can do. So, you know, whatever. And you just got to give up because you know, there's nothing else you can really do but give up after a while. Right. And that's what's... Yeah, when you don't have somebody who's here that you know you have somebody that lives with you, but they don't want to help you with nothing, and it's like you get discouraging, you know. Yeah, or one that wants to throw your stuff out, and get rid of sure. everything because that's always his help is, you know. And he was like, well, Right, how would you like it if like those people that came just to get the look at the doll thing and then because we took everything and was shoving it in places, and he goes, How would you like it if if, if you had you know people coming over and and or you were a hoarder? It was like, Call me, I'm like. You know what? I am not a hoarder. Oh, I mean, he's look, he watch the show. He's called, and I'm like, don't compare me with, you know. Mm. It's like, uh uh. Well, you have Chris is the same way, and he's just a jackass. Yeah, it's just, it doesn't help. It's like calling somebody fat to make them lose weight or something, you know? <laughs> but yeah, it doesn't work. Yeah. It's your slob place. <laughs> That's well, yeah. My, I mean, the one that not well, the last house that we were at that was, you know, like the retirement house that we had all fixed up beautiful the way we wanted and everything. And then we had to leave because of the neighbors, but we lived there for 17 years. So before that, we had that other house was built and it was in a neighborhood that didn't have anything. And we met the neighbors, you know when they were getting their house, we all had our houses built. And so uh, that house was when we, when Peyton came and it was just like, Dwayne would be like, you walk in the front door and you don't know where to look first because, but it was a very nice decorated, you know, it was just the first time I really, enjoyed all the little things all in the it was just so pretty and they right. never does nothing so you know but then then we got the other the house before this one and i kept it you know pretty nice but then came here and i really started getting into more crafts and stuff and then it started and got way out of hand huh mm -hmm. yeah that's what called me a hoarder yeah, and you know, I can, yeah, exactly, with the supplies and, and that. And I did that a little bit when the kids were younger, but like I said, they'd always be like, can we borrow paint? We have a project at school. Okay, we'll take this and do that. And I'd always have plenty of things and, or, you know, they'd ask for this. Yeah, they didn't seem to complain when, when they needed your stuff. Exactly. Yeah. I was like, okay. <laughs> 
And uh, yeah, he just, oh God, it's too much. They could, you know, people could be overbearing and it's just like, okay, forget it. Because I mean, yeah, I want to want it clean too. It's not that I'm just loving it this way. That's why I keep it this way. No. Please. You know, and he'd be like, so what happened? What happened? You know, I'm like, well, priorities change, I guess. That's all I can say. So, I mean, we had a clean house when those people came and got the, the dollhouse. <laughs> he said, I go, oh my God, are you doing this? He goes, well, at least I can enjoy the house really clean for a little while. And mop the floor, swept the carpet, go dusty he's, and everything. I'm like, okay. He's good. too worried about what other people think. Who gives a shit? That's exactly right. And I'm like, never going to see them again. Who cares? You do all that because for people you never see again? Yeah. I said, who cares? He goes, well, I do. I'm like, well, fine. Then go ahead. Do you think he's like a Chris? So the same yeah. thing. Don't worry about what other people think, but yet drive me nuts. Too stupid to realize that he makes what other people think, you know, <laughs> of him bad because of yeah. what he does. Yep, but you can't commit. I'm not trying. It's like, really? You don't care. You don't care. I'm like, well, maybe she'll have you, Gail. Hey, hey Gail. Gail. He needs to paint or treat or something he needs to do. Yeah, so, yeah. Right. Have you been, Gail? I haven't seen her forever. I was like, I gotta, I gotta text her to text her. And it only happens, of course. And then... Oh, yeah. Mm, mine, too. Oh, hell, i cut you up. You're having storms? Oh, shit. Hmm. You're having storms too. Hmm. Oh, people are having storms today. Not me. <laughs> well, you live in boring oh, Arizona. Boring. <laughs> weather boring, I should say. It's funny. It's hot. Hot. It's hot and that's it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, you know what Dwayne did? I was uh what? Oh. The night that I went to bed at like four o'clock, right? He, um, I left the light. I go, oh darn it, I left the light on. And he goes, storming out. Well, then he came back down the hallway. Oh my <laughs> God, the baby gate that we've had for the dogs forever, you know, to keep, keep it in the hallway there, kind of, um, you know, by the walls, because Sophia, so he stuck his toe on it. it. Oh, what? I go, what happened? He said he bumped, bumped the thing, so he hit it with his foot, then it tipped over, then he stepped on it, and then he tripped over it. Oh, oh my God. God. Yeah. And I thought, oh my God, bad. But they went walking. <laughs> it wouldn't hurt that bad. Then it hurt really bad after he got home. Hmm. More now. Help. I told him he tired work double. Three meals, more clothes, more of his crap, lay around, and he stared at me and he said, You know you're right. Oh, well yeah. good, Linda. It was a comedy. <laughs> at first I was gonna laugh. I'm like, oh <laughs> okay, okay, okay. No, nah, not I can laugh. You found all sorts of things, Gail. Yeah, that's always how it is, isn't it? I found a bunch of stuff when I packed. I was like, damn. Wow. Didn't know that was there, didn't know that was there. Did you find that scoreboard? <laughs> and he's using who? Oh, oh, Gail. That's the only thing I, I I know what it's right underneath me. I don't even use it. I'm more of the Stuart one. <laughs> 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 I don't know where anything else is, but since he retired, yeah. I think mine's just because it makes him mad. It's like that mad, like <sighs> clean up type of thing, not the helpful <laughs> kind of thing. <laughs> like, fine. Clean up, I don't care. Do it. Do it. That's what you want. Chris bitches and moans anytime he has to do anything. No, it's like, oh, 
I don't care if you bitch and moan when you're doing it. Don't insult me along the way, which is what he does. Mm. Yeah. No. It's not good. Mm. No, I'm his verbal punching bag every day. Yeah. He's not in a good mood. Well, then I'm going to get the shit for it. Mm -hmm. I can't wait to get the hell away and have him go over with his friend. Mm -hmm. Be nicer to her than he ever was to me because that's what he is. Right. Oh, she found it. Oh, yeah, you found your scoreboard? Nice. Big box with Word. canvases. I don't know why I put it there. <laughs> Something bothered us, we'd say. I know. Well, that's how it used to be, Linda. But no, not anymore. It's good. So like, don't, nope, nope, nope. Yes, yeah, mad, mad, mad. Yep. No problem. No problem. Mm -hmm. Yep. I'll start calling him Bill. It's just father. Sorry. Chris gets nasty. He gets he he doesn't he doesn't he's not a fair fighter. He starts he starts coming at me in in ways that are just not right. You know what I mean? Mm. Yeah. He'll, he'll say some nasty things to me that are just should not be said, and well, it's like, it's unnecessary, one hundred percent unnecessary. But like I said, I'm a verbal punching bag, so I'm a I'm just a bitch, and I'm a this, and I'm a that, mm. and I'm like, what is your problem? You know, I, why? Because I asked you to help me, Mister. I'll help you with anything you need. But then all of a sudden, as long as you're, as long as he's allowed to treat me like shit the entire time, that's the only way he'll help. Exactly. And it's very annoying and very taxing on my mental patience. Mm-hmm. Because then I get yeah, so pissed, yeah. I start screaming. That's why I don't, you know, can't, you know, fight because it'll always just make it, you know, always yeah. super bad, and that's what ends up. I cannot up stand a fight. Like what? There's no point. No. If we just work together and get it done, it gets done. But he has to be like insult me, say okay. the most awful things about me, just mm -hmm. you know, one thing after another, after another, after another, constantly like really horrible things. Like not, not your run of the mill. Just oh, you're a pain in the ass. No, no, no. Like the things no. he says, I don't want to repeat. Hmm. You know. Yep. Mm-hmm. He'll say things like someday somebody's gonna murder you. Like he'll say things like that. That's what he'll say. Hmm. Yeah. I think it's a couple times I'm like, well, I hope so. And then that way I won't have to suffer. <laughs> I remember once I said, I won't have to suffer anymore. Do it. Do it. But, you know, that's, <laughs> of course, it's not something you want to hear all the time. Well, Chris mm. is awful. It's just disgusting to me. I don't understand how you can say things like that sometimes. Yeah. It's, uh, yeah. And, it, but, well, Linda, it's just like, let's get too much. I know, gal. Yeah, she'd be free. <laughs> it's like free, you know? Come on, get off. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I used to be like that, Linda, and, and just, but, you know, it's like after. 30 some years just don't have any more to you know it's like you get like this numb feeling and uh, I'm just glad it didn't affect on the out outer you know for for other people the way you know I am because then that wouldn't be good. Change and be like the other person. Mm -mm. Well, I only kept, Gail, I, I brought all my paper crafting stuff into this room. because This is my temporary craft room while that's all going on. So I brought that all in here so that I'd have it. Everything else is packed up, but I, I have my paper closet still in my room. I'm, I'm not packing that up until I need to. There's no reason that, you know, it's in a closet. It doesn't matter. 
Um, yeah. They can obviously, anybody that looks at it can see that it's a closet. So, you know, it doesn't make a difference. But as far as anything else, I just have my paper crafting stuff. I have, you know, I don't have all my paints in here, but I have like a selection of paints. And so I have everything I need to craft for, you know, a month or two or whatever. You know, well, it'll only be six weeks, hopefully less than that. But I don't have to, you know, I just didn't want to have nothing. I didn't want to pack, pack it all up because then I'd be miserable. No. Not get anything, and the only way I get any peace and quiet around here is to come in here and get away from mm -hmm. you know mouth. Yeah. So, see, I couldn't decide. I would. That would be the hardest thing. I wouldn't clear my sanity. <laughs> what to keep out? What not? Well, I I kept out the most logical thing. You know what I mean? The thing that I do the most of. You know what I mean? Which is paper yeah. crafting, and the fact that my paper closet was going to be accessible to me right in the next room. I figured that was the best thing to keep out because anything this this I can get a lot more stuff out of. Like I could do the paper beads, I could do journals, I could do cards, I could do ATCs, I could do so much more paper crafting than I could anything else. Yeah. If I just left the stained glass out, well, that's all I would do the whole time is stained glass, and I'd probably get yeah. sick of it annoyed. So I just left something out that I'd have a variety to do. You know what I mean? Like there's a variety of stuff to do with paper crafting, whereas with the other stuff there really isn't. So I that, that just made most sense to me. Yeah, and, and with the fact that my paper closet was still there, I was like, "Wow, that's just gonna make more sense." Because then yeah. I can have I have all my scrap of paper in the other room, and I have everything else in here that's paper crafted, relating related most most everything. You know, I don't have all my embossing batteries. I don't have all my things. I just have a select of things. I have a good amount of stuff in here, though. Yeah, yeah. I know, Linda. I thought well, I think about that. <laughs> Uh, you know, and I think, oh my God, what? Well, you know, but I think I'm like, oh my God. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. It's worrying me. <laughs> what? Because she was saying about glad because she would miss it. And I'm like, yeah, me too. <laughs> I was kind of getting like, oh no, what if, you know. I mean, well, there will be a period of time, obviously, when, when the house sells and I'm actually, yeah, you'll have to. There will be a couple of weeks where I probably, won't be doing really any crafting um yeah. unless i can you know i'm pretty good at unpacking fast though so once i get in the house and we go you know it'll it'll be a definite it'll take like a definite week for me to um go back and forth and get the stuff because we're gonna have a truck that we're gonna make two trips with over a period of a week so that mm -hmm. week i'm sure there won't be any live streams really other than maybe like a quick Hey, you know, show you the house or whatever the case or whatever's going on. But other yeah, than that, and crafting won't happen for a little while there. Right. But once after that week, I could probably, you know, get mm -hmm. stuff together enough to do some crafting. I could probably unpack pretty quickly. I'm pretty good at unpacking. I mean, I packed this whole damn house pretty much. I mean, Chris did none of the packing. You did. I did all the packing. <laughs> All he did was carry it down the stairs when I had boxes that needed to go downstairs. But I did all the packing, and it's literally 70% of the house is packed up. And I didn't just pack my craft room. I mean, I packed in every room. Everything. Yeah. All my clothes. I only left out clothes that I knew that I wore a lot of. It's a full dresser full of clothes. But, you know, I had other things, too. But I packed all that stuff up. I packed all my shoes, except for what I definitely wear. You know, stuff like that. And... You know, all the dogs' toys pretty much are all packed except for a few things. So I, yeah. I pack like everything except we pack a lot of stuff from the kitchen, except for again, you know, the dishes and the main stuff that we use. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, I didn't pack any of my like pots and pans and baking stuff, but you know, I did pack like um, a couple appliances, like appliances I'm not using and I'm, you know, I don't plan on using. Like a toaster oven, we packed. We packed, packed up the air fryer because we don't use it that much. Mm -hmm. up, you know, stuff like that. We packed up a lot of stuff. Still have a lot to go, but. Yeah. Okay, where am I at here? I forget where this goes and where I finished off. Being abusive, then play it for him. Oh, I have it. Oh, I have. Believe me, I have recordings that like you wouldn't believe. Yeah. Plenty of recordings. I have. He don't care. They he forget. Doesn't care. He they just don't care. care. Yeah. Mm -mm. Nope. 
here. Yeah, it's, it's just, you don't care. Mm -mm. Does not care. So yeah. say, I don't care. I don't care. Yeah. Like, oh, well. Oh, well. So he goes, oh, well. Every now and again, he'll have a lucid moment, you know, when I say something like, you know, about how he treats me. And he'll go, I know, I know, you know, and he'll actually say that. But it's mm. very rare, far or few between. Yeah. And a lot of times I don't know whether he's saying it just because he wants me to shut up or not. You know what I mean? Exactly. <laughs> what you're saying. Oh, my God. I'll, you know, I'll be like, you know, you're hardly working and I'm taking care of everything and you have the balls to stand here and bitch about how the house looks. I'm like, but mm -hmm. you know what? You could be doing things around here that you're not doing and I'm doing all of it. And you're sitting there bitching about things that are, you know, have to do with my business and my work that, mm -hmm. you know, if I didn't have, you would have no food to feed your fat ass, you know? So why are you bitching? Like, I don't understand how you could sit here and bitch about things like that. Right. You don't have the right to bitch about things like that. Mm -hmm. mm -mm. I don't know. Yeah. But he really doesn't. You know, Elvin doesn't freak out. But he was a bit worried about the noise. Oh, poor Elvin. Hmm. Uh, um, I couldn't think of her name. Sophia's birthday was yesterday, Gail. She turned two. Uh -huh. <laughs> like, yay. Elvin is what, like almost three? Because you got him like a year before Sophia, right? About? Yeah, so like three or two and a half, three. You got Elvin before I got the girls, I think, right? Or no, or after? No, it's after. It was Thanks. after, okay. No. Thanks. I'll tell her. Girls in 2017. Yeah. yeah. Maybe it was after. February was two. Okay. Wow. So. Oh, okay. Okay. So, yeah. Okay. So he's, he's about the same age. Okay. Yeah. For some reason, I thought he was a bit older. I don't know why. Just time flies. Yeah, there's track of my kids. Oh, he, Linda, he don't care. He don't think of things like that. He's not like that. It doesn't, it doesn't cross his mind. <laughs> you know, like he doesn't reflect. He's not one of those. He's too narcissistic to reflect back and think, oh yeah, you know, she did so much for me. Like it doesn't, doesn't work that way with him. Yeah. You know, it just doesn't. He'll, he'll, you know, go live, go off, live with his friend and, you know, not really give a crap about any of it. So, you know, whatever, you know. Yeah. Hmm. Gail asked if he had a job. Not right now because he was working at Amazon and they cut his hours. No, he's got a job. He, I think he's going to have a job interview soon with Southwest Airlines doing something. Oh, that's yeah. That's but that right. he he gets really good health insurance if he gets that job. I told him, I said, "You screw up that job, I'll kill you." <laughs> yeah, he better get that job. Huh? He gets free airline tickets to go places. He gets health care is free. He gets all um, these perks, all this stuff, and I'm like, "You screw that up, you're a moron." Mm-hmm. Yep. This is, you know, he's not the person I knew like years ago. He's just not a totally different person than I knew. Sad. Yeah. Chris, I knew had his shit together and it was totally different. You wouldn't even know that person. I don't know this person. You know, this person is not the person I knew for years. Yeah. Hmm. 
No, she's blind to the pool, maybe. <laughs> hmm? She said, maybe you'll find a nice fellow in Illinois. I go, yeah, I want to fly into the pool. <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> uh, I'm not looking for anyone. I don't really want to. I'm just so tired of men and so tired of relationships that I I gave up dating 12 years ago. My friends all thought, oh no, because I, I, I had dated after me and Chris split up. And I just got, you know, after a couple of years of dating, I just said, you know what? I don't want to do this anymore. And so I stopped dating and they were like, oh no, you'll find somebody, you know, you just feel like that now. I'm like, no, I'm like, kind of, I'm the type of person when I make a decision, that's it. I make a decision. And yeah. it's been over 12 years and I have not dated at all. Like I stopped, I was dating and I had, you know, I would have dates, you know, three times a week, four times a week, mm -hmm. but after a while, and I just realized what shit was out there. It was all the guys that no women, none of the women wanted because, you know, they, they were cheap and pieces of shit. That's all that was left out there for people my age. And I just said, you know what? I don't need this crap. Yeah. It's just not worth the trouble. And I just don't need it. I don't want to go through it again. I'm fine by myself. I'm good. You know what uh, Peyton told Dwayne yesterday? Because he just told me this. Um, he goes, you know what Peyton said? And I said, what? And that she doesn't want to get married and she doesn't want kids. She's fine by herself. She likes doing her own thing. I'm like, really? Well, she's mm. still young yet. So she yeah. feels that way now because of that boyfriend she had. But that's, you know, most likely that's not going to be the case, you know? Yeah. She's young and she's probably exaggerated, you know, because I felt like that when I was her age, too. But, you know, I was, you know, making this decision when I was in my, you know, like late 40s. Right. Saying, you know, all right, I've had enough now. You know, I was a little older and older to and wiser to know what was going on to be just over it. You know, I was like, sure. I don't want to have another guy in my life. I don't feel like sitting there and having to stroke somebody's ego. I'm done with that. I, I did that mm. for too long to get nothing out yeah. of it but a bunch of crap. And I'm just right. over it. You know, I'm not interested in all that. Just don't care. Like when I yeah. listen to a guy talk now, I like roll my eyes the whole time. I don't care. Like, I don't want to hear your stupid crap. I don't care. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, I just sit there and I'm like, oh God, please shut up. Like, I don't mm -hmm. want to hear it because I don't give a shit. Right. You, you don't sound macho. You, you don't impress me. I'm not interested. You sound like a moron. That's it. When I hear men talk, because they yeah. talk about the stupidest crap that I'm not interested in. And, you know, somebody could say, oh, well, they might not be interested in your shit. I'm like, good. That's why I'm not dating because I don't need, I don't, I'm not asking them to be interested because I don't care. Right. Yep. But they want you to be interested in every little damn stupid shit they say. Mm -hmm. And they expect you to do this and expect you to do that. They expect you to, yeah. you know, like, I, I don't, I'm not into that. I'm a well, very independent person and it's hard to yeah. find a guy that can appreciate that. Most men want to want a woman that's going to do whatever they want them to do. And I'm just not that. Well, I think that's why she's kind of, cause she's got, you know, that, that chance if the job, you know, happens and she's getting more like, like up there and doing her thing. And, right, and then but she's not school. nowhere near independent. So, well, yeah, I know. Not that. if mommy and daddy are still paying her car insurance, her phone, her yeah. this, or that. You know what I mean? Taking care of every little thing for her. She, no, yeah. she'll find somebody else. Yeah, she's too young. She's too young to, to claim she wants to be independent because she's not yeah. independent yet. They'll just come around when, you know, someday maybe when she's it. older and has a little more experience. But she's had zero experience in life, really. Right. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like she's done nothing and, and she hasn't had to fend for herself. Daddy's mm -hmm. always been there to take care of her and pick her up when she falls down. So, I mean, the second she needs them, he runs. When that mm -hmm. ends, that's when her independence will start because then she'll go, shit, now I got to figure this out for myself. That and you know, for a long time. <laughs> yeah, it may not happen for a long time. Exactly. Mm -hmm. But, you know, yeah. whatever, it'll sure. happen eventually. Obviously it has to, but, yeah. you know, at that point, then she'll start realizing what independence really is and being resourceful really is. Yeah, that's what I say. Like I've had to be independent and resourceful for a very, very, very long time. And yeah. I know that I can, I can give a shit about living with a man. Mm -hmm. I don't want to hear their stories. I don't care. I don't want to hear about their trucks, their friends, their sports. I don't care. I'll just look at them and go, I don't give a shit about any of that. Don't tell me about it. 
Like that's yeah. the attitude I have towards it, which is not good, which is not good. I know that, which is why I don't want anybody because I just don't give a shit. I do. I miss sex. Nope. Not even a little bit. Mm -mm. So don't need it. That's all that, you know, there's nothing from them that I want or, you know, as far as love goes, I don't need it. I got my dogs. I have people, you know, my friends or whatever. I don't care. I, it, Cause it never really was. It was never like men, you know, like it was never a, a thing where it was like, I always felt like I was on, it was never, I never felt like I was in a loving relationship with anybody. I always felt right. like I was teetering on the brink of disaster. Anybody mm -hmm. I was with. And I hated that feeling. Because yeah. they were always just shit bags. You know what I mean? Like most of them. Mm -hmm. There was always something that was like, oh, why? You know, and I never was, you know, I just, it was always aggravation. Every ounce of it was always so aggravating that then when I started living alone and by myself and wasn't dating, I was like, oh, this is actually so nice. You know, I don't have to like listen to anybody else's crap. I don't have to pretend I give a shit about what they're doing with their friends or their stupid crap i don't have to worry mm -hmm. about it and i don't have to you know say anything to them where they just stand there and it glosses over everything i say like you know like and they act like they give a shit either you know i don't have to deal with it it's just nice <laughs> yeah i mean if i was younger now you know there are more you know Guys are being brought up a little better now. Not all of them, but they are now being brought up to respect women a little more, which I am happy about. Mm -hmm. So, you know, people like Peyton have a better chance of finding somebody who isn't a dirtbag. But unfortunately, so, there's still enough of them out there, you know, for, yeah. but but there's a lot less of the dirtbags out there than there was because women are raising their kids to be more respectful. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. not be, you know womenizing and all that garbage yeah yeah because it's like you know you can't miss something that you really never had right the way i it's sad right. um, i don't know it's very sad <laughs> but Well, it doesn't matter. There's there's not that much out there anyway. There really isn't. It's it's you know if you didn't find somebody when you're younger and and have somebody that you click with from you know it's hard to find somebody in your adult age that's oh, yeah. really like that because a lot of them there's a reason why they're single and they're usually single because they're jackasses. Right. And the pick of the litter is not there. You know, it's just not oh, right. Exactly. I dated a lot when I was, you know, single because I thought, you know, oh, okay, I'll, you know, my friends pushed me. I, I took like a good, you know, eight months to a year from, you know, because I didn't, wasn't ready to date when we split up and all this stuff. And then my friends started pressuring me and I finally started going out on dates. And then I started to see really fast. I was like, I was like, man, I'm like the pick of men out there is horrible. And it wasn't like that when I was a little younger. And, and and I realized that it wasn't, it was like that. It's just, I was younger. And when you're young, you pretty much date anybody that you think mm -hmm. is, cool. you know what I mean? Like you're willing to do a lot more stupid crap and put up with more stupid crap when you're younger. But when you get older, you know, like, cause I got back out in the dating, you know, game. I mean, I was in my twenties when me and Chris were, you know, like officially together and whatever, even though we had known each other and, you know, since we were 16 and, you know, whatever, but you know, he, so I didn't start dating again until I was in my thirties, you know, my mm -hmm. late thirties. And it was like, <laughs> holy crap. You know, it was very wow. different because I learned a lot over the years that it's much different to date. It's not, you know, it's not easy to, to find anybody. Yeah. And then when you do find somebody, you know, they have an ex and they have kids and they have baggage mm -hmm. and they, stuff which i mean i don't really consider kids baggage but you know what i mean right, like, right. and i don't have that stuff so then i'm here having to deal with that and i have to wonder mm -hmm. is this guy wanting me because he's thinking oh when i have my kids every other weekend good i'll have somebody that can watch them while he goes off you know what i'm saying like mm -hmm. i don't want to be the babysitter i'm not going to babysit your damn kids they're not my kids no. you know what i mean like i'm this it's not why i'm not dating you for them you know like <laughs> 
yeah you know what i mean like i'm not going to date you and then sit there and, and i'm not going to be your kid's mommy i said that's not going to happen mm -mm. that's not why i'm here you know that's just not going to happen i'm too That'd old for that shit. you know what i mean <laughs> yeah forget that Yeah, right. Yeah, Karen, that's that's yeah, I don't need that. It's like, nope, go away. I don't need you to take care of me. Mm -mm. Yeah, I just don't, I don't really like men very much. I don't, I just don't. I don't like, I'm no. not saying I'm, I'm not like, I'm not going after women either. I just don't like, no, I, <laughs> I'm not, too. I'm like not interested in, I'm not interested in it. <laughs> I, I, when I look at men, I just, I sh like shudder. I'm just like, no, 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 no. Because I see it right. I can see right through them. You know what I mean? I see right through yeah. the bullshit. And I hate that I can do that be because it makes it hard for me to even like, I can't even have a conversation with a man without just like wanting to come out and be like, oh, shut up. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I, I don't want to listen to you. <laughs> mm hmm. Hmm. Yeah, Linda. Linda. That's the problem. <laughs> one of one of us is like constantly. <laughs> that's it. No room for two. <laughs> so, like I told one of my friends, you know, who was not happy with her relationship, but it wasn't because her husband was mean to her or anyway, and he didn't cheat on her, he didn't hit her. It wasn't like that. You know, she just wasn't in love with them, blah, blah, blah. I tried, I explained to her because she was my age. I said, look, I said, you can say that to, you know, till the cows come home and think that, oh, you're not in love with them. So I guess you should go find somebody else. Hmm. And I said to her, I said, then here's the problem. You could do that. I said, but I guarantee you, you're going to end up with somebody worse. Yeah. I said, you're not going to end up with somebody better. I said, the hmm. odds of that are slim to none. I said, yeah. so you might want to go to counseling and try to work on your marriage. Oops. You know, yeah. I, I, if he was abusive in any way, verbally or physically, I, you know, I would completely mm -hmm. say get the hell away. You know what I mean? If he was, you know, a bum and wouldn't work and made you, you know, work and, and wouldn't help with nothing. And he was just like a lazy piece of shit. I'd say get away. But if yeah. he's just somebody you're tired of and, you know, whatever. And, you know, if she was just complaining that she wasn't mm -hmm. in love with him. I'm like, find find out why you're not in love with him and figure that out. Before yeah. you go and jump ship, because trust me, the grass is not greener on the other side. Right. Because the men mm -hmm. out there at our age are crap. Yeah. But, you know, but she's thinking in her head, you know, it'll be as easy as when she was in high school, because that's when she met him and blah, blah, blah. And they have kids together and, you know, whatever. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, plus, you know, you have kids with them, you know, before you go jumping all down that, you know, make sure that's what you really want, because it's not fun out there. Right. Yeah. It's not fun and games out there. Exactly. Oh, really, Gail? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I mean, sometimes you have to. <laughs> and I, I'm sure I would, too, if it wasn't, you know, if I was in that situation and you get to a point where you don't, you know, Because people change and they, you know, you want somebody that you're once in love with, you know, you, you can easily become out of love with them very, you know, over the years. Not mm -hmm. not hard to do. Right. But at the same time, you know, like I used to be a big proponent of, you know, like this was back when I was in my 20s or whatever. I'd tell people, you know, friend, I would say the opposite to them. Oh, you don't love them anymore? Oh, just get, get away. You'll find somebody you love. You know, it's such bullshit. That's such bullshit. It's such bullshit. You know, yeah. the odds of finding somebody better. That's why people that get divorced from their first marriage end up getting divorced again from their second marriage and yeah. divorced again until they're, you know what I'm saying? Like, this is why divorce keeps happening because, you know, you get bored of somebody, you get, you know, or, or you marry, you, you leave somebody that you're just not in love with anymore. They're not like a terrible person, but you're just not in love with them or you fall out of love with them. And then you end up with somebody who's, who really is terrible mm -hmm. because you don't 
because you're so desperate to get, fall in love with somebody and feel that that you end up falling in love with the first person that comes along and they end up being a shit bag and then you're stuck and then you divorce them to do it you know what i mean like and it, it's that's the type of stuff that ends up happening and that's why like either swear off relationships altogether or stay with who you're with unless they're you know unless they're completely intolerable for whatever reason mm -hmm. it's not yeah. worth it it's not worth going through the trouble that's that's right hmm. <laughs> those channels it's women dress the cookers channels <laughs> What channels are they? Put another coat on. I like the men white. This stuff dries quicker. Politics are the boot. <laughs> I don't believe in love anymore. I believe that, you know, there's lust and there's you know, people, you know, and then there's tolerance. Mm -hmm. Just tolerate somebody. <laughs> no. But I'm not I'm just not in the mood. I don't need to. You know, I'll find a way to make it without, you know. That was my biggest thing. Like I would, you know, I, I spent my life, you know, in my twenties jumping before me and Chris got together, jumping from like relationship to relationship. You know, yeah, they would last a few years, each of my relationships, but you know, I'd live with them and whatever. And you know, and it's like you you don't realize you know, you don't know when you're in your 20s, you know, like late teens and early 20s, you don't know what you're doing, you're figuring it out, you know, and you don't know that it's harder to tell that somebody's an asshole, it, you know, it take or or just confidence wise, because, you know, keep in mind, you know, my parents, I, I was raised by my parents who, you know, my dad was the, you know, the rule, the king of the king of the nest and he you know my mm -hmm. mom did everything for him and you know oh. and, and i was absolutely utterly opposed to this like this was like foreign language to me i was the only kid out of all five of us that was like the black sheep i thought it was disgusting the way my father you know like expected everything and the way my mom would say things to me like you know when i was with you know living with somebody or whatever she would say don't you don't you have you know like i you know like a, a lot of i had different hours working wise than, than some of them or whatever so i'd go stop by my mom's house or whatever and she'd say don't you have to go home and put some makeup on and cook dinner and i'm like oh i'm like please i'm like don't i'm like this is that i'm like gross mom come on like this yeah. is what you want for your daughter that's really what you think i should go home and do <laughs> you know what i mean like to me that was just foul that was just, yep. you know, I just could, I was like, no, I was like, they should go home and cook me food. I work longer hours than them. Screw that. Like, no, you know, and coming from the family that I came from that, you know, like that, it should have been the opposite thing because, you know, that's not how I was raised, but because it always disgusted me mm -hmm. to be subservient to a man always disgusted me always. Yeah. Ever since I was a young, young child, I always used to think it was disgusting. And nobody ever taught me that. I just always thought it was disgusting. I'm like, no, I'm not letting anybody tell me that I should sit here and just, you know, do what, do what they think I should do. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know it. And so, you know, when I would end up with somebody because I was stupid and didn't realize they were like that. And then they kind of started acting like that. Well, that just caused a lot of problems, you know, for me, I'm like, who did you, what did you just say to me? You know, like, yeah, <laughs> yeah, I get it. That it was, totally. I get it. It was a different generation, but you know, like, I don't know. It just, but you know, so when me and Chris got together, he was not like that. There, you know, there was none of that with him. You know, it was a very equal relationship. He did not treat me that way. I did not treat you know him that way. If anything, you know, like he, you know, I gave him a list of things to do and I had a list of things to do. And every day, because we had animals, we had cats, we had dogs, whatever. I, you know, every day we came, both came home and we both did our fair share of chores and all that stuff. And, yeah. you know, it was just kind of a given that that's what we did. And, you know, no, he couldn't cook. So anytime there was, had you know, I, I always cooked food because he didn't know how and, 
you know, whatever. And I just didn't want to teach him because, you know, he wasn't going to learn and that whatever. I didn't care about that. You know, mm -hmm. I would rather eat food that I cooked anyway. Right. But, you know, but I mean, but as far as like anything else, you know, there was no like, it wasn't that type of relationship where, you know, it was anything like my, you know, my mom and dad, which is what I, I was happier about that, you know, but I was with, oh, yeah. I was with other people before him that were, you know, that were not like that, you know, didn't, would never treat me like, you know, like, and, but the few people that I did end up that I was with for short periods of time that did treat me like that, you know, once I saw those true colors, I was like, get the hell out of here. I'm like, you're out of your mind. You know, that's when it became quickly, like my first marriage the guy that I got married to first. I didn't think he was like that, but then as soon as we got married, that it was all of a sudden, you know, he wanted me to go to bed when he went to bed because I was his wife and that type of thing, like cook dinner and have it ready when I, you know, and I was just like, mm, this ain't working. So the fighting started because I was like, what do you think? I'm just going to start doing this now because we're married. And he really thought that, that was the case. And I was like, you are out of your mind. And I never did. Like, I wasn't like somebody who went jumping around and like, I never cheated. I wasn't like, that. I was very loyal and in every way. So it wasn't a matter of, oh, that, you know, I was out gallivanting around and doing this, that I never, you know, and I was always the type of person that if like, if I was ever out of work for a period of time, I did everything in the house. You know, mm -hmm. I did the typical housewife stuff because that was the right thing to do. If they're working all day, it's right for me to do all the stuff at home. You know what I mean? That's just how I feel. And, mm -hmm. and that has nothing to do with, it has nothing to do with them, you know, telling me that I should be a housewife or to do that. That's just what you do. You know, it had nothing to do with anything other than that's just what you do. And, you know, so it wasn't anything weird. It was just, he was just an asshole. And yeah. when I realized it, I was like, okay, see ya. And that had to end that relationship because he also got very abusive as well. And I just was like, no, 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 no. This ain't, this ain't happening. Yeah. I've had my share of abusive guys, whether it be physical or verbal. Mostly, mostly if they were abusive, a lot of times they were physically abusive in some way. Not maybe all the time, but enough where it was like, uh, no. Right. Other times it was, they were cheaters, you know, they cheated and I was like, okay, not dealing with that. Bye. Lord. You know, mm -hmm. I didn't deal with a cheater. Mm -mm. I didn't tolerate that shit either. No way. But, I mean, it's just stuff like that. You know, I, I just don't, mm -hmm. I don't know. I, I, it's Met weird. <laughs> yeah, I can use some of that. There's Laura. <laughs> <laughs> weird that the, you know considering my parents i'm surprised i didn't grow up more like my parents you know oh, right being in that household and my mom loved my dad you know there wasn't like you know but she did also didn't know any better because she was 13 when she you know started dating him and then they got married mm -hmm. when she was 15, so she never knew nothing but him you know exactly. so you yeah. know it doesn't know any any better so yep. she didn't know any better, and that was that. When you don't know any better, you know, but I was definitely the black sheep because my sister was, you know, both my sisters, you know, married. I mean, my one sister was more, a little bit more like me, like when it came to her marriage and stuff. She was not going to let anybody tell her what to do for sure. Mm -hmm. But she was definitely more, more liberal in that way. But my other sister, forget it she was the same like my mom in a sense you know and still is or still was until her husband died but you know and whatever that's yeah. what think that love is about whatever have fun mm -hmm. <laughs> her husband was an asshole yeah he's the one they're the ones that lived in you know in uh phoenix when I went out to visit, one of the first oh. things her husband, her husband was an asshole and one of the first mm -hmm. things he says to me when he met me and I turned around and was walking through the house and he was kind of showing me around and, you know, and he was kind of behind me at one point. And he goes, oh, he goes in the morning. I hope I, I hope I don't mistakenly grab your ass thinking it's your sister's. And I looked at him and I said, you touch my ass and your dick is going to be in the garbage can along with the knife that I cut it off with. And he just looked at me. I was like, you don't even think about it. Don't even, don't even utter the words. Oh yeah. He, he, gave, he gave a look and, and that was about it at that point. He looked like, oh, you know, he thought I was being funny. And I just looked at him and I'm like, I'm not being funny. That's right. Just try it. You'll find oh, out. You think about that. You'd be a dead man. 
Mm. Ha, ha, ha. Male chauvinism is so funny. Mm, yeah, yeah, right? Ugh. I don't yeah. tolerate that either. We'll see. We'll try see. it. Yeah. You don't, you know. I said to him, I said, go ahead. Your dick will be right in that garbage can with a knife right next to it, and I don't care. Mm -hmm. He said, I wouldn't do that if I were you. Mm -mm. You know, I warned you. <laughs> don't do it. Yeah. Sure. You know, it's like this is I would never tolerate that from somebody I was married to. If somebody I was mm -hmm. married to said that, that would be an instant divorce right there. I'd be like, Are you out of your mind? Yeah. Are you gonna say such a thing mm -hmm. <laughs> to my little sister? You're like, you know, what M met me for five seconds, and that's like one of the first things he said to me. And I was like, You have got to be kidding me that my sister thought that this guy was a good idea. Joy. Uh-uh. <laughs> uh -uh. <laughs> Yeah, where'd that come from? <laughs> no. <laughs> he's, picking, he's picking the wrong sister to say that to, that's for sure. Yeah. If I overhear a person, a stranger, if I overhear a strange man saying something nasty and chauvinistic to his wife, not even I'm like, not even, it's not even none of my business. But if I hear that in public, I usually will come out and open my mouth. And I have. Mm -hmm. I usually have said something like, like it, it can range anywhere from, oh, that's disgusting and walk away to full out. Why would you say that to her? You're a nasty pig. You know, mm -hmm. like I've said things like that because I just, that's how bad I hate mm -hmm. men like that. Yeah, I cannot stand it. Ooh. It disgusts me more than anything. Yeah, yeah, it is disgusting. It really is. Here, like, you know. like I've heard guys say things, you know, ugh, that have just rubbed me the wrong way. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hey, get back here. Like, where'd you come from? What the yeah. heck? Yeah. You know, <laughs> stupid people. Yeah. Darlene was like that. <laughs> oh, really? Her yeah. husband was like that? No, well, she would she would hear stuff from people and oh, and she would say something. Oh, okay, I thought you were saying and her husband was like that. I'd be like, oh no, oops. I go, oh no, because <laughs> I'd uh, be like, I go, well, here comes. <laughs> oh yeah. Very my friends nice. know, know that about me. I'm not afraid to open my mouth. Like when Chris cheated on me, well, he obviously cheated on me with a guy. He was a friend of ours and I knew where he worked. So my other friends were moving and they wanted to go out to dinner for the last night that they were here. And so one of them suggested to go to this restaurant where I knew the guy worked. Now I didn't suggest it. She suggested it. Didn't realize it was the restaurant the guy worked in that Chris had cheated on me with. I said, really? I said, oh, that's where so-and-so, you know, the guy's name was Jimmy. I said, that's where Jimmy works. Mm -hmm. And my friend was like, oh boy. And I said, oh good. I'll get the chance to have a conversation with him. And she was like joking around and she didn't know me well enough to know that I would do something like that. But I said to her, I said, are you sure you want to go there with me? I said, because if he's there, I'm going to make comments. There's going to be a scene sort of. I said, so are you sure about that? I think she thought I was kidding. And it was mm -hmm. her and her boyfriend. And I think they both thought I was joking. So we get to the restaurant and we sit down and within two minutes, I see him. And, and he walks right by me and we were in like a booth and I put my leg out and stop him. And I just ripped him a new asshole. And they were like, oh my God, her boyfriend had to get up and leave because she could, he could not believe it. He could not believe that I, that I did that. Wow. He wasn't mad that I did it. He just couldn't believe that I was that, you know, I said to him, I said, I said, when I tell you something, believe it. I said, because yeah. I'm not joking. If I tell you that I will tell somebody off in public, believe it. I will do it. If need be, I won't, you know, it's not, I don't do it all the time, but yeah, right, you right. bring me to a place where my, my husband just got done screwing some guy that I had to find that out. Yeah. What do you think I'm going to do? You think I'm going to sit there and not say anything? If yeah, given right. the opportunity, hell no. Oh, I made him feel like shit. <laughs> well, I, I, I embarrassed the crap out of him in front of a whole bunch of people. <laughs> oh. Because he was supposed to be my friend too, which which makes it worse. It wasn't like he was an innocent bystander in this. Okay. He knew what he was doing. 
to me. So I made him feel like shit. <laughs> I did not feel bad about it at all. I mean, well, you screw over your friends so that you could sleep with their husband. Um, yeah, I'm not going to be nice to you. God, imagine that. I don't think so. Mm -mm. I don't make a habit of going around saying, you know, things to people. I really don't. But if it's a, no. it's on a few occasions that I've had to, I have no problem with it whatsoever if I have to. Right. Yeah, you know when you're gonna Sometimes you gotta stand up for yourself. I'm sorry. Yeah. The more you sit around and let people walk all over you, the more you get walked on. Yeah. Sometimes you just need to start a ruckus. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, you know when when you have to do something, when you do and you don't, yeah. you leave something go. Or and I get it that a lot of people are non-confrontational and they would have just, you know, either not gone to the restaurant or just not said anything. But see, you know, I, uh -uh. I don't let opportunities like that pass me by. What the hell? <laughs> I was going to say. <laughs> That's, That's too entertaining. <laughs> too satisfying to let that go. <laughs> you know, I wouldn't know, you know certain situations i wouldn't have done that you know like if if he had kids and his kid was sitting like i'm not gonna do oh, that yeah you know like but i knew he was a single piece of shit mm -hmm. that worked there and you know <laughs> and, and it needed to be so I, it was just him and i was like no oh, you want to go to that restaurant okay <laughs> no problem mm -hmm. and i warned my friend i said i'm you know if he's there i'm gonna say something Oh, ha, 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 yeah, you should. And then, like, they really didn't think I was going to, to the, to the point where they both afterwards was like, I really didn't think you were that serious. And I'm like, well, I guess you learned I a know. lesson. Because <laughs> like, I was very serious. Oh, well, yeah. You should have known. Because I think everybody, at least once in their life, has to stand up and, you know, be bold enough to say something to somebody that really, really deserves it. I yeah. think that's important yeah. in everybody's life. Because otherwise, you know, you don't ever, you know, you get a lot of like, I don't know, it's just there's something about that doing something that's, that somebody actually deserves. It's not a matter of being revengeful. It's a matter of just what they deserve. <laughs> You know, right. like, it's just sometimes you just need to do it. Yep. You can't always be nice and you can't always be, you know, take the, you know, take the the quiet. I'm just going to sit back and whatever or whatever. Just let it go. It's, it, it eats at you your mm -hmm. whole life. If you don't sometimes open your mouth and say, hey, that's messed up and you're an asshole and you shouldn't have done that. And you're a little piss ant, you know, just to let them know that what they do has consequences because clearly right. sometimes they don't realize that and they don't care. Exactly. Let them feel a little bit of the pain they're doing to other people right. and for and whatever. Like said, yeah. And like I said, you know, it's, I have people that I don't, that I, you know, have, you know, in my life that I've had issues with, and everything. And I would never do anything like that because, you know, mm -hmm. if I have a private issue with somebody and it's just something stupid and or we, or we don't get along or whatever, I don't say nothing to nobody. And I don't, you know, I don't go around. I don't try to do things to anybody ever. That's not mm -hmm. how I do things. But in certain cases, when somebody ruins your entire life mm -hmm. and, you know, no, was Chris, you know, of course, Chris was guilty too, but that guy knew what he was mm -hmm. doing because he was my friend and he knew that what he was doing was breaking up a marriage and getting involved in something that wasn't his business. He deserved a hundred percent of what he got for mm -hmm. that because he shouldn't have done that. He should have stayed out of it and said, well, you know, I'm not going to step in the middle of this. Right. If, you know, 
Exactly. But instead, he did. Mm. Yeah. Sounds like he did deserve what he got. Yeah. It's not like it was that big of a deal. I just told him off in front of people that he worked with and people in the restaurant. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm sure he got over it, but it made me feel better. At least I felt like I stood up for myself in that situation. Right. Yeah. Let him know that it wasn't a victimless crime or whatever you call it, a victimless mm -hmm. situation that he could just keep going and doing stuff like that. Exactly. I told him think twice before you screw up somebody else's marriage because you're because mm -hmm. you're penis is hard for somebody and you just want to do something. I uh, know. So, you know, they don't you know. even think twice. That. Yeah. Because you don't, I said, because you don't know the next person could have a knife and want to kill your ass. That's right. <laughs> no. I made him cry though. Did you really? Mm hmm Did he still work there after? Not for long. No? <laughs> no. He didn't work there very long after that. I don't really know why. Mm -hmm. I, don't, I, don't, I don't, I'm not, I'm pretty sure it had nothing to do with me, but maybe it did. I don't know. No. But he didn't, for some reason, he worked there for a long time. And then all of a sudden, like uh, two months later, he, uh, well, the last I had heard after that, you know, a couple months after that, I heard he was gone. And I was like, really? I'm like, huh. Mm -hmm. I'm like, I wonder if his boss didn't like the fact that I was calling him a homewrecker and standing there saying that he slept with my husband. True. In a nice restaurant. It wasn't like a shitty restaurant. It was like a, a, a semi-fancy restaurant. Yeah. That he worked at, so. No. How did him? Oh, no, he was out. He was pretty out. I didn't out him. He was out. <laughs> But I wish I would. I wish he wouldn't have been. Yeah. That would have been even more fun. <laughs> I don't know. He was very out to everybody. Hmm. He's the one that outed my husband. Hmm. You know, at the time that you know. So he basically outed me in a way. You know what I mean? In, oh, yeah. which in a way fine but you know i was already figuring i was in the process of figuring this out when that happened and i just didn't expect that he would do such a thing because he was supposed to be my friend and that's when right. i started to realize you know that's when i for a short period of time when me and chris split up i had a massive hatred for gay men because not just one but two of my friends you know slept with chris after claiming they would never do that and it made me disgusted for a while because I thought, do they? Is there any kind of like uh, loyalty to friends here, or is it just always going to be, you know, they're going to tell you whatever you want to hear and then still do whatever they want? So I was pissed off for a while at every right. gay man, you know, like, you know what I mean? Like, and that, you know, was that right? No, of course not. I mean, I didn't say nothing to nobody. It wasn't like I was going around saying you're gay, you're an asshole. Like I wasn't doing that, but right. I was, you know, I had like a a bad taste in my mouth for gay mm -hmm. men because it just reminded me too much sure. for a while. And then I had, you know, then of course I, you know, like for probably six months to a year, maybe I felt like that. I didn't want to go anywhere near anybody who was, you know, like any of my friends who had gay friends, I just didn't want to deal with them. I didn't want to be around them. I would just be like, nah, I'm not coming over. You know, my one friend had a gay roommate and I was like, nah, I'm not coming over to hang out. You know, like I just didn't want to deal with it. And I didn't say mm -hmm. nothing. I just felt like I didn't want to deal with it. You know, I didn't want to, didn't want to be around it for a while. And then I got over that because, you know, I've always been, you know, I've never been against anybody who's gay, you know, and I wasn't against what? anybody that I wasn't really against anybody who was gay. I just didn't want to deal with anybody that was gay at the time. Right. Exactly. It was one of those things where I just couldn't, you know, it's just kind of like when you, you know, when you're cheated on by a man, maybe for a while, you don't want to be around men. And all men piss you off. You know what I mean? It's like a similar thing, except this, it was specifically just, you know, yeah. gay men. <laughs> just, nope, can't do it right now. Okay. Well, look at that. Well, happy birthday. Karen's birthday is the 23rd. Oh. She's going to go to a convention. She goes every year. That's cool. Nice. 
Nice. Memorial. Okay. Oh, gotcha. Huh. Oh, wow. So, Karen, you're only going to be younger than me for just a little while. <laughs> you did. <laughs> hmm. Why? Then she'll be my age. Oh, will she? Oh, you're yeah. going to be 60, Karen? Huh? She's going to be 60? Wait, how, how old are you, Karen? Yeah, she'll be... I keep thinking I keep thinking she's in her early fifties for some reason. Yeah. Forget. She'll be yeah, so she'll be sixty. Oh. So yep. Neither you or her look like you're you know, could be in your even remotely sixty. Well thanks. I don't think she does. <laughs> no, she doesn't. And you don't either. No. I always am surprised. No. Hmm. This is one of those. Yeah. Yeah, right, Karen. It's mm. and I was sixty one, born in sixty one. The one that I was just put it on. <laughs> Sheldon. Oh, really? Oh, there you go. I'm the, I'm the other way. Penny. Penny. <laughs> wow. <laughs> In fact, I know <laughs> I'm because in the other way. Sorry, it just jeez. You know, pe people don't have to be half dead when they're. <laughs> so, I right. get on a rant here, <laughs> better not. <laughs> mm, yikes. That's a good thing, Karen. And gaming, they went to a local convention and loved it. Now the go and it's really big one. Oh, that's neat, Linda. Don't think but I'm obsessed with quirks. This memory. Oh, that's nice. This place is really pop. I think it has decreased. We should be. <laughs> yeah, I hear you. Go on. <laughs> I don't know. Ladies are wondering sometimes. Yep. <laughs> never, never super important to me ever. Thank goodness, because I get it, it that some people, when it's really important to get, that's it gets you know difficult and whatever. Me, it was never that important. Yeah, that's. I never had like a super high sex drive in my life. Hmm. Thank goodness, because it just made makes things easier. Yeah. Right. Well, that's cool, Karen. <laughs> oh my God! <laughs> I mean, that's 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 a good thing in a lot of ways, Gail. But yeah, that's I don't know what happened. A bit same kind of well, sort of same kind of thing here. <laughs> <laughs> gave up one, I don't know. <laughs> no. 
no, no, no mention, no mention of anything. Nope, not not spoke of. <laughs> Zip, not in this house. Don't know, no idea. Hmm. Sounds good to me, Karen. <laughs> well, I have it. Younger. Don't use it. You'll lose it. You didn't lose that. No, you didn't. Yeah. I, I have no. I don't. I don't even know what what happened. <laughs> Seriously, but you know. Very strange, very strange. <laughs> yeah, I think some habits are just, I don't know. Habit. Oh, really? Do you even consider going to a doctor? Huh. For the autism or for... Hmm. Yeah. For lack of sex drive? Well, I think it's just the... Oh. Oh, yeah. I, I, and if, if that even was the problem, which I don't think so, nah. Because that's not the... It's just much easier, you know. <laughs> you need an extra hand and some fingers? I don't know. <laughs> it's just the preferred <laughs> the, pre the preferred way I don't get it I do not get it and never will but yeah I'll just be blamed so there's no use there's just no use Well, maybe if you were this or that or, you know, not here, not there. Nah, I don't think so. Mm -mm. Don't think so. <laughs> yeah, right, Gail. Uh, yeah, it just kicks me off, though really does but there's it, it's no use you know because it's like okay well deal with it or get out yeah. mm. Mm, yeah Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it absolutely it does, you know. Yep, yep. People have different types of sex drives and different, you know, things with sex is all over the spectrum when it comes to what it means to people and how it, you know, what kind of what kind of relationship they have and what how it defines the relationship, you know. There's all kinds of different things. Um, not one way is right or wrong, it's just, you know. Yeah. No, 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 Karen. <laughs> nope. Uh oh. Nope. That ain't, that's, that, yeah, that's not even, not, mm -mm. don't care. I mean, not me, but. Uh, mm -mm. Nope. 
so weird. This is too weird. I don't know. Hmm. Yeah, because it can't. It it should be a you know a deal breaker, really. I mean, because it's not. It's not right. It's not right. No. But you know, I guess it's me too. Whatever. <laughs> so sad. So sad. Mm. Oh yeah, right. Yeah, Gail. <laughs> Not so much fun. But they just so much fun. Mm hmm. No, it would work. No, it works for me. That <laughs> works for me, Karen, but not not when, you know, it's like, you know, the other one's like, go away. Nice. Thanks. Appreciate that. <laughs> mm -mm. Yeah. Mm, yeah. <laughs> yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and see, that's a good thing, Linda. That's well, exactly, and but that's you know, sometimes that'll go too, which is sad. You know, because that should not. That should not. Nope. That's good morning, Martha. Martha. How are you doing? Is that cardboard? What? Are you with the... It's a box. It's like a... A little box. Oh, okay. Oh, cool. <laughs> that's the only thing I had laying around was this little box. Yeah, that's a good idea. You know, does it? Nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yep. That ain't. That's not there either, <laughs> Linda. <laughs> no. No. Nothing. No. Zilch, zilch, zilch. Oh, you have a good day, Gail. I'm glad you came Hi, in. Gail. I'm glad you came in. See, now what I'll do is when, let's see, 5, 30, 6, 30. Oh, well, it'll be a couple hours. <laughs> so he, could, he gets up and then go right over to, to Noreen to get get that over with you know yeah get her stuff and then that way i get done and so, so, there's no there's nobody over there <laughs> you know yeah. oh here her uh um her nephew i mean they're selling their big home and they're gonna buy a condo she said they're going to buy a condo in scottsdale and california i'm like oh, okay wow. uh, but he's going to bring a lot of his boxes and everything over to her place just to get it out of the way so the house will look better when they and i'm thinking yeah but if you go home say in you know three months or whatever this stuff can't be in your way. You'll be tripping right. all over the yeah, place. Exactly where she was. I know. I'm like, what? And she goes, well, 
So I'll have to tell him to I'm like, yeah, well, good luck. She won't. Hmm. I cannot believe that. And she says, well, you know. Jeez. So scary. Oh, his belly's wonky too. Tony Junk. <laughs> yeah, unless you're used to it. I was going to say, me, I'm used to that stuff. But when you're not, sure. <laughs> Maybe I should move to California. <laughs> Better way of life. Well, I have friends that are in open marriages and stuff here. Yeah, see, it's. I mean, but <laughs> like you know, you know, the problem with open marriage type of things, you have to be very, very strong in order to deal with it. I would yeah. never want to deal with that because they usually don't work out. I've known several yeah, people yeah. in open marriages, and they don't ever, they don't end up working out so well. Yeah. <laughs> They they seem like a good idea, but you know, there's very few people. There are people that can pull it off, but mm -hmm. at some point, it ends up causing issues. Yeah. Well, that's she can't. That's Hi, great. Hi, Nikki. No. Yeah. Oh, hey, when you can, you both agree. That's great. <laughs> How are you doing, Nikki? No, it's not about one person as licensed cheating. It's both of them. Like, would have either bring a third person in that they just have sex with, or they both are allowed to go out and, you know, they have their nights where they're allowed to go out and do what they want, type of thing. You know what I mean? Like, that's what I mean. You know, that type mm -hmm. of situation. Not, no, it's not a thing. Open marriage means open for both, not open for just one. A true open ma a marriage is one that's open for both partners to do what you know do certain they have ground rules and all that stuff but still even with that most of the time they don't work out they might for a year or so and you know just ends up being a problem yeah right There's very yeah. few people that can really pull that off very few and you gotta think human beings human beings by nature are monogamous you know they're not you know it's it's not normal for humans to have other people you know, this one and that one and whatever. So that's, you know, it's not normal. It's just not in our DNA to do that. So that's why it's very difficult for that type of stuff to work because, you know. No. Hmm. Look at all these. What's on these? Oh, got some over here too. <laughs> got a lot of these plain ones too i have to do you make a lot of fake paper beads nikki my words look at that um tyvek one that one turned out pretty i like the oh yeah i love that one that one came out good Isn't it cool what the heck there's sparkle on that one <laughs> Then the, I still, I have to, I have set these all on here, but, and I wanted to, no, they're set. They're solid. Huh. That one is so sparkly. Yeah. Well, it's more sparkly in person, but. Cool. Uh, you do just have anything. I've made a, you know, I've used them for charms, like, you know, like, or like on the spine of a journal or. You know, I've made little pieces of jewelry here and there with them, but it's just fun to make them, and they're pretty. <laughs> mm -hmm. And I made all these, but some of them are doubled up, but they're still Those dry. turned out pretty. Wow. Stupid camera won't focus very well. Really turned out nice. Pretty. They're still drying. They turned out really shiny too. I mean, yeah, they yeah. probably may need another coat. Yeah. 
I like to put three or four coats on, but that's only the second coat, I think. No, third coat. I think I put two coats of the that other stuff I was using, and then two coats. No, four coats. So, yeah, two coats of the, the min wax stuff. Hi, Debbie. Wow. Hi, Debbie. See, the colored ones that I have, that's what, like this one is already done. That's what I'm, I got to roll my fingers. Like, the, you know, I'm hoping to have them, you know, with the words and the colored ones and also yeah. just plain. I like the flat one. Yeah. I'm making flat ones tonight. I need to make some flat, like some, you know, just regular tube like that. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I make that and get that far. <laughs> A lot of a lot of tube ones, but um, some like this, like the music, and then I with the sheet, um, yeah, all the way around, and then I won't put it. Definitely won't put a word on, but once it's glazed over and stuff like that, thanks. It'll be it'll be good. Well, because it's so much different when they're glazed and, and or whatever, and the edges are done. Now these, like I put the edge as far as just colors you know of that goes but and of course these will have the words and whatever on them yeah thank you they're all so different i'm good that's what yeah um the tyvek Oh, secure. Wait, um, are you talking the Tyvek, the heat security envelopes, or just for just paper? Security envelopes are the. Is that the? I think are different than Tyvek. Oh, okay. Yeah. I'm not sure. Oh no, maybe, maybe, maybe I am. Maybe they they are talking about Tyvek. No. Um. Mm -mm. Kim. <laughs> I'm not. With the pa oh, with the patterns. Okay, yeah. That'd be like oh, I, yeah. What you're talking about? Yeah. So the paper envelope, the paper envelopes with the little pattern on the inside. Yeah. Like you would get a bill or something in. Yeah, you can make them. It's kind of nice because you, out of anything, you know, and. That's the that's the fun of it, you know. Mm -hmm. I think I'll pass this time, Kim, because I don't have like, you know, things ready. But you know, it's kind of a noise. <laughs> hear random noises. One of the times where it's it's kind of hectic, you know, here with the. everything going on and and plus i've been well too with you know my friend and helping her and and my my whole place being a disaster you know stuff like that <laughs> the little things thanks kim yeah it's not like i have a few huh <laughs> hundreds what is that anyway kim I hear people t keep, you know, they're talking about it here and there, but no, not told. June fifth. Yeah, well, it's, it's coming up. Oh, yeah, kind of like the uh, market thing that, I mean, I'm, it, I'm sure it's not like I'm yelled like she does, but like all the time, but you know what I'm saying?
Yeah, yeah. You seem to be just more and more. Do you think, uh, do you think Chris will really like go and like load up and bring stuff once and you know, you think he'll keep that? Oh yeah. yeah. I mean, he'll torture me the whole time, but he'll do it. <laughs> he won't have a choice if he wants to get out of there because otherwise, you know, we, we have no choice. He knows that. No, I mean, yeah. like, when you move, and then you said it, sometimes he'll go in, to the creative reuse, and then... Oh, uh, he, you mean, like, go to the creative reuse, right? Yeah, I think he would. I mean, I don't know if he'll do it, you know, that often. I think he'll do it every couple of months, maybe. Uh-huh. You know, but I don't think he'll do it, you know, as often as he claims he would do it for me, but I think, right. he'll, do it. I think he'll do it once in a while. Yeah. But he's not going to get very much because he doesn't have that big of a car, so it doesn't matter anyway. Oh, I'm not counting on it, but it doesn't matter because I'll have other things going on. Yeah. Oh, it's going to be her. Okay. This part was <laughs> the time I heard her talking about it. Because, <laughs> you know, I listen in on stuff and, you know, just, <laughs> I, I guess I like to hear her talk. <laughs> the other lady is just. I don't know who that is. I'm actually available and love driving mm -hmm. and road trips. Would you rather have someone else help? No, you? I mean, no, because the second time, you know, we go there and back, we, we're going to have to get the dogs and all that. So it would be, you know, it wouldn't make sense to have, you know what I mean? Like, because we're going to have to get the dogs and I'll have the dogs in my car and Chris will be driving the van. So it'll be fine. No, that's yeah. not going to be an issue. That's not the problem. The problem that we have is, you know, hiring somebody to unload the truck. That's where we have the biggest problem. Right, but, but I'll find people to do it because you know, I'll you know have, I won't have a choice really. Yeah, I'll find some teenagers or something that want to make you know a hundred and something bucks a day for a couple of days of unloading or whatever mm -hmm. it is, and then loading too. I mean, we'll oh. figure it out. We always do. We'll you know we we'll really have a choice but to figure it out. Nikki said she's on the border of Iowa, Illinois, border of Iowa, Illinois. Illinois. Iowa. Oh, you are? Hmm. You're, but you're north. That, that's north, right? I'm so bad at directions. <laughs> I'm what? I don't know. Where. Well, yeah, right, Karen? <laughs> that's where we... Darlene, we'd go in, you know, a lot of people there. Hmm. Hmm. Eastern Iowa. But you're, you know, Karen, if you want to come after he's gone and I got stuff in my house, you're more than welcome to come visit if you, uh, I just dropped my damn beat again. Well, you know, when I'm there for like the first week, you know, you're more than welcome to come hang out. If you want to keep me company while I'm unpacking and doing all that stuff, you can certainly do that. You don't have to do nothing, but, you know, if you if you don't have nothing to do, then you could do that. But I don't, I'm not telling you I have to do anything, though. But north of where you're moving. So Nikki's eastern Iowa, but north of where you're moving. Hmm. Oh, I got you. Hmm. 
Right, there you go. She said, not sure where you're moving, though. Uh, I'm moving to Southern Illinois. It's only about four hours from where I'm at now in Tennessee. Hmm. Make it a three cornered trip. <laughs> hmm. Hey, Andrea. Yeah. Good morning. Andrea. Putting the gold on after it's been glazed is better. It shows up better. See, putting it on before it just kind of went into the paper. Yeah. Yeah, it looks prettier. So, yeah, it definitely looks better. Nikki said she'd be north of you. Yeah. California to Illinois to Kansas City to oh. California would be totally doable. <laughs> it is. <laughs> <a hell. laughs> hmm. There you go. I don't know what kind of beds I'll have set up by then, but I should have at least one of the bedrooms set up with a bed in it. So I sleep on the couch, so you can have the bed in the bedroom. I'll have my bed in there. I'm going to teach you man to make toast. We can go explore what the hell's around that area. Go see the, the lake area that they've got and some other weird stuff. Yeah. Around there. There's not much around there, but I don't really care because I don't go anywhere. Hmm. Yeah, I'm totally cool with the sofa, bed, comfy armchair. I can't sleep on the on the floor. Oh, come hey, on. Bring your bathing suit because there's a pool. <laughs> That's right. Hmm? So good idea. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, floor is a little, you know. But I don't have a sofa bed. I'll have a bed set up, like an actual my actual bed will be set up. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. <laughs> I know. Get down on the floor and then I have to get back up. Yep. Dwayne actually gets down on the floor with Sophia. I'll lay with you. He gets down there and they'll fall asleep. And then he can't. Oh, he's like, I can't get up. I'm like, oh, well. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I didn't do that. I think I did. I did it twice now. Did you already go away? Oh, sofa, comma, bed, comma, chair. Okay. <laughs> you know, the first week I'll be looking for a contractor to come out for sure to look at that garage and see how much it would cost to get it renovated into a room. Yeah. I'll do one of the first things I'm doing because I want that done and over with because I ain't waiting around on that. Yeah. Yep. No blame you. And you will get that out of the way and 
But I am going to get some patio furniture for my deck outside. Mm -hmm. I'll find some on Marketplace or something. Yeah. It'll be nice to have a patio that I can actually use. As much mm -hmm. as I have a deck here, it's not really very usable because it's like, it's not in the backyard. It's mm -hmm. not a, a very wide deck. So it's, you can't put a table and chairs on it. So, it, you know, you, you can't even really barbecue on it. So it's kind of boring and stupid. And, you, you know, like you can't do a lot with it, in my opinion. So I never, we never utilized it much because of that. It was not, and I don't know. It yeah. was not an ideal thing for me. But there I have a nice little deck out the pool, off the pool room um, that's much more usable. Right. To get like a grill and stuff like that, which I'll be happy about. That would be nice. Couldn't really have that here. Yep. We used to grill a lot in the house that we lived in. The last house we lived in when we had a pool, we used to always grill out and stuff. Here, it was just too much of an inconvenience to do it. Yeah. It just never happened. Yeah, that would be nice to, I know, that's fun to grill out and then, you know, the right place. Because when you don't, then <laughs> it is more inconvenience so yeah I'm grow out. I used to love growing out I know there's a bead where'd it go I don't know we grill but it's not like that <laughs> it's like here take this out and then you're gonna grill the hamburgers and the steaks bring them in and that's it now I mean <laughs> huh. that is it Get on there, fool. My sister has an indoor pool in her walkout basement. Her house is built on a slope. Oh, I remember the picture of that. That's right. It's one of those. A brown can... pool or in the indoor pool? It was an indoor. She had a picture of it in a group. Hmm. And she went to visit last time, I think. Oh, an indoor pool in her walk up is now gotcha. Oh, that's cool. I bet she mm -hmm. loves that. It looks nice. Her house costs about the same as mine, but she's in Kansas. I'm in California. Oh, okay. So I have a tiny two bedroom house built on that I used as a third person bedroom, and she has a mansion with a pool. <laughs> oh, God. One egg and a muffin. Hey. It sounds good to me too. I don't have any eggs, so 
I am muff I have muffins. <laughs> Got out of the muffin kick after twenty <laughs> bought all the English muffins stocked up in the freezer, and then I get out of the <laughs> English muffin kick and, and just toast. You start eating the muffins up. <laughs> Six four. Oh yeah, it's not even a snack. California and she's stuck in Kansas. So everything has a balance attack. Yeah, right. Hmm. Yeah, I'm sure you probably need like triple that amount, Kim. <laughs> Except for you, I think my husband <laughs> eats much either because I'm very thin, but oh God, put the food away for sure. No fast metabolism. <laughs> Always has been. It's like his mother did. I hate people like that. I know, right? <laughs> Me too. Not right. Too damn expensive in California. They are. I'd love to live in California, but I'd have to give up too much to live there. Yeah, sometimes yeah. it's not worth it. Mm -mm. I'm not an outdoors person enough to care about the fact that the weather is nice. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Housing prices, it's just ridiculous. <laughs> yeah, I know it. It's cuckoo. It is cuckoo. Too cuckoo for me. <laughs> I was saying about our, uh, the gas prices because I was saying it about what you said, and then I didn't think, um, I thought the gas was a little bit lower here and he goes yeah in the past week he goes it went up another 20 cents lower than here oh no we have one of the like the states right around here you know uh mississippi alabama tennessee we have the lowest gas prices in the country luckily yeah that's the only thing we got going for us right now how much was it again 
It was like four nineteen the other day. Four nineteen. Wow. Everybody else has, you know, six dollars, five dollars. It's like five twenty, five thirty, something like that now. Uh, but <laughs> I go, God, can you imagine going up each week that much? <laughs> That'd be it's real. And then, wow, California's. Forget it. Neck. <laughs> little big old stretch. Mm -hmm. He stretches so hard he puts his neck way up and he's like, ooh. I do that too. Yeah. Funny. <laughs> Hi. Hi. What you doing? What you doing? Oh, did you get stretch? <laughs> now he's doing his. <laughs> Morning tap dancing. <laughs> morning tap dancing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there he goes. I'm going to wake up Chloe. Jeez, man. It's funny when Sophia does it because she's got such short little back legs and she's like, <laughs> I'm like, she's so funny. <laughs> short fuzzy legs. Mm -hmm. oh, goofy. Goofy girl. <sighs> Well, I better get off here and go to bed because um, okay. I sleep for very little hours and then I'm going to have to be up anyway. Oh, yeah, because you don't know what's going to. Yeah. Saturday is. Yeah. Hopefully going to be. Two hours and then be up. Not even. It's 8 o'clock. I'll probably sleep for an hour and be up. God. <laughs> or maybe I, I won't even sleep at all. Depends. That's okay. Oh. Well, yeah. Right. Well, some action. I had fun. I'll be all right. Too. I had lots of fun. Got some stuff done. <laughs> right? Yeah. Oh my goodness. Fun beads made. Yeah. Oh, good night, Laura. Kim. Karen. Y'all oh, have a good day. And wish yeah. me luck, guys. A lot of people come look at the house today. I know. <gasps> I know. Keep our fingers and crawl our toes. <laughs> Cross. Yeah. Them. I mean, he said he would have liked to have pushed it for a few, you know, a few more days, but he says he definitely can see that there'll be at least a few showings, I'm sure. Oh, oh my yeah. God, so because, you know, but yeah, I understand it's not going to be as much because, you know, we only had two days before it went live, two days, you know, not even a day ago it went live, actually. Right. You know, it wasn't even 24 hours ago that it went live, so I understand that it, you know, that makes it more difficult, but... Starting, you know, if not tomorrow, definitely all week. I'm sure. Oh, yeah. It's gonna be quick. I mean, yeah. But you know, as long as it goes the right way, <laughs> yeah, exactly. done, you know, first offer that comes in, in the mm. price I need it, I'm done. Right. Sitting I'm around <laughs> because I get the hell out of this house and be done with it, so I don't lose on that other house. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Laura. You can go see this. She's CP tired. CP tired. All oh. right, guys. Thanks for oh. hanging out. Yeah, you try to get a little rest anyway, and good luck with everything. And I will. Thanks. 
Yeah. You too. Good luck tomorrow getting all her stuff from that she wants. Today. Um, today. Yeah. <laughs> yep. <laughs> He gets up about an hour. He'll be glad to get it all, you know. Yeah. Oh, it's a long list, but I think it'll be pretty easy. She's <laughs> yeah. Be pretty tidy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. All right, guys. I'll see you guys later. Bye. Bye. See you later. Bye.